Here at Hobbymaker, we love seeing what you've been making, and it's our job to keep you inspired. So how does a £100 credit to your Hobbymaker account sound? Every month, we're going to be giving away a £100 credit to one lucky Hobbymaker's account. And all you have to do to enter is simply send a photo of your crafty makes to studio at hobbymaker.co.uk. We will be picking one winner each month at random and we'll announce the lucky winner on air in the 5pm show on the last Saturday of every month. So what are you waiting for? Get crafting, get motivated and get inspired with Hobbymaker. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. Hello my lovelies, welcome to Hobbymaker. Hello. Hello. Uh, we have got, uh, do you know what, I, 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 I got home last night, listen to me. I get excited, I don't even have a stutter, I got home and my poor dad, after the show yesterday, and I was like, Dad, it was like, blah, 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 and it was this, and we did this, and we made this, and, we're blah. and my, my dad said, you're that excited because you made a box. I went, yeah. <laughs> Just, and isn't it lovely, crafting, and if you find the craft or crafts that you, that, that really tickles your fancy, it just, tra it can transform your life, can't it? And just make, it's like the best craft gives you the best beam. It's just, oh, it's just lovely. Um, anyway, this afternoon we are being spoilt and we're going to spoil you because three hours of the five hour show this afternoon is going to be filled with the beautiful Corinne from Crafter's Companion. We have got so much on the show, haven't we, Corinne? We have. It's absolutely jam packed and we've yeah. got two. Item, well, two lots of things that are launching today as well. So never been seen on TV before. And exclusive, exclusive hobby maker. Exclusive hobby maker, yes, absolutely. So only us, only us lot can yep. get it. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. The, we have got Christmas things, non-Christmas things. Yeah, glitter, glitter oh, 3D glue. Yep. Oh, I've never heard of that before. Blew your mind, that, oh, didn't did, it? Blew her mind. Blue, do need to put the specs on? Do we know? <laughs> um, just to mention as well, in between our lovely shows with Corinne, at two o'clock, we we've got a clearance show. £10 and or under. So you can just... Once you, Because the thing is, you want post and packaging. Once you're done, you may as well shoehorn and cram everything in, Martin. You make the most of it. That's the one I'm thinking. And honestly, there's that many... What I will say, though, is that in the two o'clock and the five o'clock, when we're doing these clearance hours, there's going to be such a mixture of treats for different crafts and things, or possibly jewellery making, or whatever it is that you love, whatever floats your boat. So, the, but they'll be limited, so you've got to grab it quick. OK, there's no replenishing. We can't ring up and say, oh, can we have some more? Or, no, that's it. So if you see it, you like it, grab it, check it out, you're done. OK. Now then... We've got a very shimmering spotlight we deal today have. to kickstart the show, we haven't we? We have. And this lovely lady is going to be doing a demo with the Christmas uh, treats that are coming up, the bundles, with this spotlight deal. So here you go. Oh, <laughs> they've just oh, they've just said any moment. Should we do that again? <laughs> are you ready yet? <laughs> that that that's when they say right, throw to a VT, and you go oh, and here it is, and then they go hey, it's not ready. <laughs> Right, you ready to try it again? Yeah. Here's the spotlight deal. <laughs> so smooth, wasn't it? It's a good job you're not easily thrown, isn't it? Easily thrown or easily offended, because I don't mind looking daft. I'm used to it. <laughs> right then, lovely yeah. lady. Wait till you see. I'm going to pick one up. It's a mess. I just said it's like a. It's a. It's a, a wad. It's a brick of cards. It is, isn't yes. it? No, look. You, straight away, you're going to see this and go, oh, I can use that in everything. Yeah. Ready? Do you know what? I love the amount of shimmer. It's, it's going to give your project a lift, if you want to use it behind, to lift it. But it's not too much. It's not too that, in your face. It's not too in your face that you're not going to look at what's at the front of your project. So I'm going to use it now, and it's just going to give that shimmer. But it's not going to distract from the from the sentiments I'm going to put at the front. It's that it's that subdued subtleness, sophistication, sophisticated shimmer. There we go. Aye. 
I like they should that. have have us right in the packaging. They shouldn't they? should. You would have to have a chat, you know, at Crafters Companion. Just say, look, you know, we're coming up with all these lovely ideas. They'll be like, oh yeah, try doing it all the time. <laughs> So this is your Centura Pearl range. It's it's, it's really our Centura popular. Pearl, yes. Yeah. So this is the um, it's the Snow White oh. Silver. So you can see if you look at it, it is white. It's not it, you know it's a shade of white, so it's your Snow White. But the the, the pearl has got that hint of silver because we yes. also do a hint of gold. So oh, this is you? the one with a hint of silver Lovely. in it. Lovely. So just so that people know, it's got that more of a grey hint rather than a yellow hint yeah. to it. Just so that you know. I which understand. Way, yeah. yeah. But it's got this it's got this lovely gentleness to it, hasn't it? It's just yeah. Just that, almost that little kiss of shimmer. Yeah, it is. Now, it's yeah. 310 GSM, so positive. that is a good construction weight. You were saying about making your boxes box yesterday? Perfect. Absolutely oh. brilliant. Card bases, they're not going to fall over no. with it. But so won't they perfect. make lovely box lids? Yes. To corresponding colours? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, because we've got the other cuts to pearl on. So maybe you want to do um, a lovely, I don't know, turquoise blue base yeah. with the Centura pearl um, white lid. Or the other way around. That exactly. might be your base, and then you'd have the coloured lid. It's up to you. And that's the thing, because, you know, when you've got this sonic colour, it, it goes with absolutely every one of the wonderful colours that we've got coming yeah. up. And we've got some right cheeky deals on the uh, Centura Pearl. You know, like how Crafters Companion like to give you a buy so many, and then you actually don't pay for them all. You're like, oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Um, so, with 12 99 there are 50 sheets. Now, when you actually see that laid down, I, I stood there before, because pick that up. I don't reckon you could go into any post office, any any courier company, and actually get all of that. Listen to this, right? I don't really want to drop your card, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Ready? That is a wad. Yeah. You see it shake the... Sorry, I shut the camera then as well, didn't I? Sorry, everybody. You, you all there going... <laughs> it wasn't a... <laughs> Sorry. There's nobody outside with one of them, you know. Um, that three ninety five. that's with everything else that we've got on the show yeah. today. You only pay that once. Yeah. And I bet you've done it already. Bet you've done it. Uh, and the good news is, not only do you only get that post and packaging just the once, you know that twelve ninety nine for fifty of this lovely quality mm -hmm. at three hundred and ten GSM. You wait till you see this. This is what's a spotlight deal. We're going all in. Are you ready? S Six ninety nine. Oh wow! We're wow! Yeah. That that that. See, we like to. We don't always tell our amazing guests just how naughty we're going. Thirty five sheet. Sorry. Thirty five p a sheet. Thirty five. Did you just? How did you do that that quick? How did I work that out? Because if it was if it was seven pounds, yeah, if seven pounds and it was a hundred sheets, it'd be seventy. I see half it. Yeah. Oh my goodness, me. You're good. It's not, is it? It's three and a half p a sheet. Three and a half p a sheet. Three and a half p a sheet. Yeah, sheet. I, I overcharged just then. There you three go. Three and a half p a sheet. So we'd have to round it up because we don't have half p's anymore, we do we? Sadly, so it'd so be it's less four than, pence. less than four pence a less sheet. Less than four p a sheet. Four p. Four. No, even if even if. You cut you, you cut all of those or trimmed all of those, folded them over, just for tags, mm. birthday tags, yes. wedding tags, gift tags, yes. just just for that even. Yeah. The amount of things you're going to be able to make out of those yeah. is amazing. And it's, you're not getting the full effect through the through the through the um, through the screen through the camera because it's 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 so subtle when you get this. Oh my goodness me. I would multi-buy at that deal. <laughs> I think we have got a few people that are. You can tell the people that are crafters, they're buying yeah. multiples. Because at that... you got well, to, basically, you? it's... Is it half price? Nearly. It's not far off, is it? It's not within 50p of half price. Yeah. Within, like, 20... You know, yeah. Another 50p, it'd be half price. So that is amazing. So you may as well... Well, we've covered your post and packaging, haven't we? We've already done. Um, we've also got a lot of new customers coming in today. Oh, my goodness me, have you chosen the right day to kickstart <laughs> your, uh, your lovely, wonderful relationship with Hobby Maker. Yeah. Because that's what it's going to be. <laughs> it's not one of these flash-in-the-pan no. moments. You're the now committed for life. You're in. No divorce options. <laughs> You're in. <laughs> um, right then, my lovelies, as well. So that is 50. There aren't a huge amount. So I would grab them while you can. All right, my lovely. Now, also, if you're looking at that thinking, well, I'm new to this. I don't know how to use it. Do not worry. That's why we've got this amazing lady here. And uh, a quarter of, the, of this has... Uh, this has gone already, nearly. Nearly a quarter of the available... Oh, you're quick. You've got to be there, haven't you, in this game? So, Corinne is going to, from Crafter's Companion, is going to actually demonstrate and include this in her demo mm -hmm. so you get to see it in action. 
because it's nice to see it visually. We all like to see it being worked with, don't we? So that's coming up. Norma's just grabbed four. Now that's great, good for you, Norma. But the thing is, if people <coughs> are having twos and fours as you are, and there's quite a few twosies there, um, the stock will Ooh, go. Oh, look really at quick. that one. There's a seven. Oh, there's a seven. I think that's seven new crafters. Yeah. Oh, is that seven new yeah. crafters? It wasn't bids, was it? Well, I don't know. She can have seven, or he she or she, seven. or Mikey B's in. Hello, Mikey B. Now, we've got some Milliput coming up in the show at two o'clock. Mikey B is an absolute wizard, Milliput. He's brilliant, that man there. I'll take your word for it. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. I'll have to watch. Yeah, or oh, Milliput's. You'd like Milliput. Um, right then, so um, nearly half has gone already. Okay, so good luck, good luck, good luck. Now then, should we do these amazing... I know, they're beautiful, aren't they? I almost think we need to have a whole new range of vocabulary and superlatives for the beauty of your bundles. Yeah. I really do. I know, I do, I am conscious that we do use the same superlatives over and over again and they become a little bit meaningless, but I just run out of words sometimes. No, I know what you mean. I know exactly what you mean, but these, the, and it's, and, and again, we've got to come up with a new word for us crafters for quality because it's quality, quality, quality. So I'm just going to pop, there's still a few of those available, but I'll pop them over here. Now, these are all interchangeable, aren't they? They certainly are. So, where are we starting? We're starting with Holly at the end. Holly. Bows and Holly. Right. Bows and Holly. Right. Yeah. Here. Got right. it, got it, got it, got it. Now, I think the best one you can show for that yes, lovely. was the, the, the one that, the shaped one there, because that shows... This it, oh, one. No, the, this, this one. one. Yeah, that one. Sorry. It's all right. So, what you've got is you've got dies that are going to... Cut out the outline shape so you can make a card like that. But we're not you don't have to just make them shaped cards. They can be on your projects, on your boxes, yep. cut into your box lids, however you want to use them. Just like up oh, up oh, the way up. Oh, oh, here's one I made earlier. That was for the Australian viewers. And then what you've also got is you've got the decoupage that fits with the letter O. So when you look through this, we've got four different ones, yeah. all featuring the letter O within them. So we've created the decoupage to work with the O. So if you look at the first one you showed, it's with the candle light yep so the o fits in the bottom uh-huh but the second one that you've got with the holly is actually we're selling it with the noel exactly. but you can then but you can if you buy multiples you can swap the decoupage around because they've all got the letter so o in clever. so they're not specific we've had to pair them up yep but you can unlink them and swap them around if you want so got to. like no noel and holly, holly joy, joy and snow, snow and yeah, bow and do you see where we're going yeah 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 so, yeah, you've got those beautiful shapes, so you can cut them in and then, like, your next one. Yeah, let me show you here. I want to show you all of oh. these because they're fabulous. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? So, again, you can see we've not used the candle one on that. We've used the other one that comes with the... Oh, sorry. That one came with the Noel. I can't remember. I think it, it is the Noel. I think I've be. seen it, yeah. Yeah. It came with a different one anyway. So, but, you know, you can mix and match them around as much as you want. They are absolutely They beautiful. are. And look at this. I mean, oh, could I mention as well, this is the big deal about this. You can only get these here. Today. World launch. You're the first people to see it. First people to get your hands on it. And you can't get it anywhere else. So we're in that, like, that exclusive little crafter's yeah. companion gang, yeah. aren't we? Um, so if I show you this here as well. And you know that as well, £42.96, what we do here, in case you're new to this channel, is we tease you where they should be priced. Well, that's because you've got you've got your die for your ship name. Yep. You've got your dies for your decoupage. Uh -huh. You've got your stamps for your decoupage, and you've got your decoupage pad. So, if you were to buy all of those, those four elements, that's your forty-two ninety-six. And it adds up. So that's yeah. not some random price no. that we pluck out of the air. You can see it there. Look, that's where all that comes from. And we'll talk about each component part. Absolutely. When you go through it. Yeah. And I just so we drop the price, and this here's the thing: even if you check out when it's higher, doesn't matter. Every single person gets charged this price, the lowest price that we go down to, you all get it. Wow, that's a heck wow. of a saving. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? 31.99. Wow. I'll tell you what, shall I, should we show you everything yeah. that you get? Okay. I think that's key. Isn't I think it? I said the wrong one. It isn't the cat, it is it is the it is the bow. That's the one that you've got in your hand that goes with the holly, so you can see, oh, yes. Yeah. Right, okay. In that bundle. Sorry, okay. I've got it the wrong so we're going to go through the whole of this bundle if I can grab it. Yeah, so that was the holly. No, that was, that's. 
Yeah, that's your holly bundle. Yeah. That's the holly bundle. Right. right. Okay. So, so you get the dies that cut out the word. Yeah. So you get the outline die and the internal die, and also the die that will cut out the whole, the aperture within the O if you want it. Right. So it's separate. If you want an aperture, you can. If you want it solid, you can also leave it solid. Ah, it's options. We were okay. talking about this yesterday, wasn't it? About yeah. having options. Absolutely. So you get your holly. Okay, so you get that. That's lovely. And then there. here... Oh, oh, oh. This is your, all about your decoupage. So this is the Bose decoupage. So you are getting the dies, as you can see at the bottom. Yep. It's going to create all of your decoupage elements. Mm -hmm. So you get all five um, dies there. Now, to create those, you're also going to get the... Um, pads, which you can see, the orange pad, put the top. Oh, this orange. one here? Yep. So you're going to get 48 sheets in your pad. 48? Yeah. And they're all the same for each combination. Right. So they will be 48 identical sheets, but you lay your dies directly over there, cut them out, and that's your decoupage. Okay. But if you use those all up, or perhaps you don't want them as red bows, perhaps you're doing it as a blue bow or yeah. a purple bow, whatever. How about using the stamps? The stamps. Stamp them out colour them yourself and then use the dies to cut them out because the dies will then work with the stamps as well. See, again, lots and lots and lots of creative options. Yeah. Can I just ask you a favour? If there's anybody watching now thinking, OK, what's what's decoupage? Because not everybody... Yeah. What is decoupage? So I can show you on here. So what you get is you get your sheet here and it will, and it's the images. Yes. And as you can see, that's my Met full image. Uh -huh. Then layer two is a slightly less. Can right. you see a little oh, bit I less? See, right. Layer three is a little bit less again uh -huh. and then four and five oh well, this one's even got six go a bit yeah but so when you cut them out right you will get all the images can yeah. you see and they're flat okay totally flat so you've got those so good if we do those from above can we lay them down there so you can see but if you then stick those together with our 3D decoupage glue, Which can you remember we show? were talking yep. about? Uh -huh. And if you look in here, we can see, hopefully we'll be able to see that. You can see the glue is in there perfectly. Ah. You then get your 3D... Oh, that is beautiful. Um, like little corsage -y piece. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Swag, really corsage, lovely. whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. So you've gone from a flat sheet... Yep. Through the all the separate page pieces. Oh, that's to, wonderful, isn't to it? That, which is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely isn't it? lovely. Now yeah. that's this one is the Noel, yep. but they all work in the same way. Okay. Yeah. Now um, also this is your um, they're all. Um, oh, I'm just just checking on the. Oh yeah, sorry, just making sure I got the right one there. Um, so all the individual components are available on the hobbymaker.co.uk website. So you can go for individuals, okay? They're all there on the website. All you do is log on to hobbymaker.co.uk, click on watch live, and you scroll down the page slightly and you'll see all the individual items individually, funnily enough. Okay, so yeah, just there's a watch live button, click on that, scroll down, and all the items are there. there yeah. Yeah. So again, you pick and choose what suits you and your budget, okay? So if we go down, look, Okay, so as you go down, you'll start to see all the individual things there for you, look. Okay? So maybe if you're buying a bundle, you might decide to add in extra decoupage pads if they're separate as well. Yeah. 48 is going to last you a long time, but mm -hmm. you might decide you want more. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, right then, now, oh, what's the flower, that we, the potted plant that we all think about... At Christmas time. Oh, it's got to be your poinsettia, isn't it? It's a poinsettia, it? absolutely. So is that one here with Noel? I oh, think. thank you, lovely. You're so fat. You're like glamorous, gorgeous assistant. You're well, wonderful. We've got to try and help. You're lovely. So, should we show some should of the. Take those ones away. First. They're holly. Yeah. These ones away. Yeah, so we've got. And that one will take and that away. One's that got one's perfect. Yeah, thank gorgeous. you. Gorgeous. There you so go. we've yep, got. You've yep. got it right there. Right, lovely. So, if I show you an example first. Now, that one has been stamped. Because the charisma, um, which is what I was just showing you a minute ago, because yeah. I was showing you, is red. Yeah. Maybe you want it in the blue. Oh, that's lovely. Isn't what that a lovely absolutely difference? gorgeous. Yeah. Because I didn't realise until we chatted the other day that poinsettia, you always, a lot of you, you know, we all think red, comes in lots of different yeah. colours, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah. I've seen a cream one. And I've seen a pink. So I've not seen the pink, but it mm, just shows that you can, yeah. you can have yeah. all different ones. Um, so, and again... And then I love this one that you're about I to do. show, where we split the word Noel. That should open up. That's it. Yeah. 
there you go there you go absolutely gorgeous so just a little bit of trimming and the by moving the 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 swag to the other side you can't actually see where we've cut it off no Isn't we've that covered clever? up we've covered up the cut marks but as, as well corinne that detail that you've actually got in that poinsettia there is absolutely spot on isn't it, is, it? Isn't it? yeah i think that one's um stamped as well I'm yeah covered. yeah it's Beautiful. so clever this collection it really is yeah so no. again in this bundle uh -huh. you're going to get the word noel you're going to get the decoupage stamp uh, dies the decoupage pad or 48 sheets and the decoupage stamps right so this time it is um, noel and poinsettia okay so if i just show you what you actually get so you can see the stamps and the dies and all those oh you go there you go so 48 of this one in it, it so there's yep. 48 of those designs in every single yeah yep. okay so 48 and then these gorgeous stuff but the decoupage i've never done decoupage oh you'll be hooked it's lovely bit of 3d glue and a pair of tweezers and you'll be away oh so now i love my tweezers I, I wouldn't think of doing decoupage without tweezers oh my no, fingers get in the way yeah yeah it's just easier isn't yeah. it yeah so so we've got we've done the um so we've got that side, done the holly we've done the noel or Noel, if you know somebody called Noel, you know. Um, right then, my lovely. So, should we do the winter roses? Right next to you, I do like this oh. one. It's pretty. Winter roses and snow. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Now, I love how you can make them as shape cards or you can put them on your cards. You Absolutely. You can put them on your boxes. You could do it as home decor. Yeah, of course you know, you could, yes. work all, all the different ways. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, my God. Oh, you've got me. What do you call that? Shake really? card. We're going to shake. Actually, I picked the snow to do as a shaker card, so if we get yeah. chance. Yeah. So that card there, look, look, look. I mean, I know, I know all of you seasoned, amazing crafters in the card industry will all <laughs> be sort of, oh, she's generally getting that excited. I've never seen these things. That, I love the ombre effect. Yeah, look at these. Go shaky, shaky. Oh, the, oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, ombre as well. And then here we go again. Oh, they're just glorious. And are these all made by your design team? They are. So can yes. we just say, a how big is your design team that makes all these? I don't know. Big. Oh, okay. big, big. It's got to be, hasn't yeah. it? Can we just yeah. say thank you? I don't think we give you enough credit, but thank you ever so much, because this gives all of us the inspiration to see visually yeah. how to use all yeah. the elements. So thank you ever so much. We, do, we are grateful. Um, so that's some of the elements there for you as well. Now, let me show you. You've got the uh, snow again. And that O. Oh, yeah. I think every reason, or we could have it as an ooh, because that's what <laughs> people are going to do when they get your cards, aren't they? So there you go, that's your snow. And shall I show you these roses? Oh, I think this is going to be super popular. I really do. Look at these roses. So pretty, aren't they? Oh, aren't the they? The colours are just beautiful. They are. They're so delicate. So gentle, aren't mm. they? Yeah. I'm just thinking with that shimmering, beautiful, mm -hmm. uh, snowy... Centura white. Pearl. Yeah, that Centura yeah. Pearl spotlight deal we've just done. That would be divine with this, wouldn't it? Yeah. Thirty one ninety nine. You've got the price saving on every single one of these, but it's all exclusive to, Haw uh, to Hobby Maker. All launched today. You're the first ones, and nobody, nobody else in the world yep. can have these. Isn't that lovely? Especially if you if you are selling and, and, and on craft stores and things. Mm. That's a big statement, isn't yeah. it? You know. So our final one is candle lit Christmas and joy. I know. Another another um, shaker card there for you. Oh yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Oh yeah. Oh, I see in there, look. Mm. Oh, what have they got in there? Can I have a look? Oh, it's like all little ooh, all little drops, all little bits. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Like snow, look. Can you see that? If I tip it up, look, and then I put it back down, you ready? Whee! It's like it's snow. Yeah. <laughs> That's so lovely. Um beautiful with a box. Gift tag. Yeah, with a gift tag look. Look at that there. And they've used the stamps from the bow to decorate the box. Yeah. That's clever, isn't it? Look, oh, absolutely beautiful. And we've also got, that's um, for yeah, that's, yep, there the you joy. go. So if I show you the Joy, now I don't know about you, but my friend's wife is called Joy. Mm. And I bet there's a lot of you out there. And if you, if you are out there and you're called Joy. My next door neighbour's called Joy. Your next door neighbour's mm. called Joy. Yeah. Well, there you go. Or Joe. Or Oi, thank you for that. Thank you for that, in the, honestly. Was that Adam or Alex? <laughs> so but yes yeah, so i bet there's a lot if, if you are watching and you call joy will you message us in and this has got your name all over it hasn't it literally 
But then a candle light. I know. Who doesn't Beautiful. love a candle? But just remember, and I had a couple of cards to show you. I think there's a couple that you can actually take the decoupage away from the letters if you don't want to. Oh, okay. So I think there's one Is just there, there. Look, inside, tucked inside in the in the roses inside the underneath. Oh, come in I'm around. so come in sorry. Come Coming out, me lovely. Look here, go those oh, two. I put them there, ready to show bless you. you. If I can hide and, it. If, oh, and then there's that one as well. Oh, bless you. Thank you, Corinne. There we go. So, just oh, see, so you don't have to use them with the words if you don't want to. They are absolutely beautiful crafting oh. elements to use in their own right. So many ways you can yeah. make it, as in the shape, the way they stand up, yeah. the way they fold, the way they shake, the way they step. They've got boxes in them. Who knew? I love this white one I put down by Yeah, this side. one here. Look at this. This is so elegant. So if you are thinking, well, I'm, you know, I didn't, I'm, I'm not very good at colouring, just heat emboss it with yeah. your embossing powder. We're talking about heat embossing we powder. Were, weren't we? Yeah. We? Heat emboss it with your embossing powder and away you go. Yeah. So beautiful, isn't it? So just remember, you're getting a huge saving on every single one of these. They're all a world launch today. You can't get them anywhere else. So that's so exciting. I think what would help for any of us that don't know how this works, if we ask our amazing Corrie of Crafters Companion, if you could possibly, possibly show us. Now, you're going to work with the uh, Noel, with Noel, aren't if you, we my can, lovely? Yeah. If we yeah. can, yeah, if that's okay with yes, everybody. Yes, please. Right, right. So now this is really clever. So these have been designed to make card bases if you want them to. Okay. So when you look, we've got our cutting blade all the way around there. But then just at the top, just up here, hopefully you can see just there, the blade stops. Oh. So there's no blade oh. just there. Right. So that means that if we take a piece of our Centura Pearl, yeah. we fold it in half, yeah. and then we take this and we put that gap on the top fold, it will that will be our fold in our card and it won't cut through. Oh. Now, if that was a solid letter, yes. it would cut straight through. Oh, and okay. then we'd end up with two two pieces it, yeah. that we'd have to put together, wouldn't okay. we? So, you know, we can do this this way so it will work perfectly. Mm -hmm. So all I need to do is I just need to take that down. So I'm just going to pop that on to that fold, put a piece of tape. Always trying to put my tape on my waist, but actually with Centura Pearl, you've got a lot more forgiveness so it doesn't doesn't pull the top cover out you know if you've got some card stuff yeah it just takes it straight, straight off doesn't it yeah so straight through on my die cutting machine okay so some of these are definitely going to go through on your gemini junior your smaller plates okay i think they all would to yeah i'm sure they all would yeah I think, i'm pretty certain they would um but i'm using my large plates because it was just easier to bring that one in for everything okay. i've got today uh -huh. so let's just grab that through there and then when we've got that, and then I take this off here. There we go. Let's just pop that off. Oh, there we go. I'm just taking the tape. It's just the tape's holding it tight. Okay. And then just that. Now, I've just not gone right to the edge. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to snip and... Oops, there we go. And snip. And then that now stands... Yeah. perfectly as my card base if I wanted to now what I also had was I also had the center so when we're going on the next layer we're going to yeah. cut the same thing out but this time we're going to actually release it from the card so if I take my green layer uh -huh. and put this one on here and then let me take that down again there we are just like that now I need to put my center in but I don't know where to put my center because yeah. it's going to be quite difficult just a minute my tape I just took the end of my tape let me see if I can find the end to my tape I must have twang twanged it there we go there it is right so I because I've got the I want to put that in and I don't know exactly where it should go right. to make it fit for the next layer what you want to do is use your next die as a guide so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the uh, matte layer out mm -hmm. Get this off. there we are there we are and I'm going to pop that in just for a second Oh, so you just can locate there. it. So then I can locate that one. I can tape it down because I can see that's in the centre. Uh -huh. Tape that down, making sure that the tape doesn't go on the other bit and then lift that one up before we cut. Does that make total sense? And then we can run that one through. While that does that, can I just quickly mention, you know the uh, Centura Pearl um, that um, we've just been talking about the spotlight deal, the, the, the Snow White it was called, wasn't yeah. it? Um, we took it down from 12 99 to 6 99 for 50 sheets. I'll just give you a little, if I've got it here, oh, I could flash it. Here we go. Um, this here, there's only 
Less than half the availability left now. Okay, 50 at three, was it 300? Yeah, 310 GSM. So great for your box making as well. Base and lid, it's got that strength. And it's down to 6.99. That is a six pound saving. Can you put, pop that towards one of these lovely new world, mm. world, uh, world launches today, couldn't you? Okay, so this is now cut and I'm just doing the next layer in the gold while you were talking. So what this has done is, because I'm no, I want to do the matte layer, this is single, you know, single thickness, all I need to do is just then, just round that off. Ooh, ooh, my fault, my fault. I'll, I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it. Uh, it needs it, to put a little table there in case yeah. that happens. Look like a little right. hammock. So we can get that. So what we need to do then is all I've just done is I've just released that from there. But now can you see, because I use that one in here, when I put that onto here, it's got the same, but I've got the ah, solid bit brilliant. behind. So the bit that was just f jumped out of the machine was my matte layer. And I can put that on oh, wow. here. So you can see how that fits. Uh -huh. Now, just for speeding time, because we can see us speeding through, what I would do is I would pop that on with foam pads. And that is what I've done there. So you can just about see, look, can you see oh, foam yeah. pads in there? Just to give it a little bit of a lift. Uh -huh. All right. Let me just get rid of some of these because I feel like I'm just getting a lot of stuff on here. So that's the first bit. So what we would then do is we uh -huh. would take this and we would attach that bit on to uh, there. So we can okay. attach that on to our card base. Now you can either attach it on straight or you could attach it on with a drop shadow. It's entirely up to you. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do first. Yeah. I've actually got another piece of Centura Pearl. So let's see, this is three and a quarter inches and I've scored at two, just, just shy of two and yeah, just shy of two and then the last little bit. So we can then fold that over mm -hmm. and that's going to make like a little stepper. And what I'm going to do now okay. is I'm going to attach, get this the right way round, that's going to go that way round, there we are. Uh -huh. And then I can, that way, pop this one yeah. onto there and then, if I can show you that way, can you see we've got a stepper card? One two steps oh, so it'll yeah. stand up oh that's yeah. clever isn't it quite clever that isn't yeah. it yeah so all i need to do is i just need to i'm going to do it with my tape pen and i'm just going to come all the way down the bottom solid tape pen because we want that I ask you that, that yep. stick just pop that down there just that thin bit and then we can pop that on to Brilliant. there and that's my card base so i've got a lovely oh, stepper lovely. Shaped and those steps are the, are the spotlight deal at six ninety nine for the fifty. Yep, aren't they? all of yep. that. That bit there is just out of that spotlight deal. So what we can then do is we can then take our Noel. So like I say, it's up to you whether you put it on solid or whether you put it on with a little bit of a uh, stagger. Uh -huh. So I think I might do it a little bit stagger. So I'm going to use my tacky glue. Right. So tacky glue is water based. We were talking about this glue we school. Were, we? Water based, and it's brilliant for your coated car. So because this has got a coating, mm -hmm. I'm not going to use my all purpose, my silicon based um, all purpose glue because that would lift it. Right. It would damage it. So I don't okay. want to do that. So I'm going to pop that with a little bit of a drop shadow just on there, like that. And I can pop that because it just takes a minute to go off as the tacky glue. Uh -huh. so I put that on there while we're going to create the decoupage. So as you can see now, we've got our stepped card yeah. with our sentiment on the front. Lovely. That's Come absolutely together. gorgeous. Could I just, I know we're all watching our lovely Corinne, but can I just, there's a huge, big list. even people like Barbara are trying to buy three of this Poinsettia Delight and Noel uh, bundle. Make the most of that saving today, please. Get those baskets checked out and then you can delight yourself with the poinsettia and the Noel, just as our lovely Corinne is doing mm. now. It's gorgeous. Right, now we've talked about the decoupage and yes. this is absolutely brilliant. So you're gonna get, look at this thick pad full of 48 sheets. Now they are, each pad, all 48 sheets are the same. The same, yeah. So that you, you know, you buy them with the, the dies. So what you also are going to get, if you buy the big bundle, is you're going to get the dies and you're going to get the stamps as well. So the stamps give you the layers and a bit of decoupage, not quite as much, but just a few, and some lovely sentiments to go with them. And those match the dies, but we're going to use, let me get my cards, my plates. Oops, While you do that lovely, just to mention, all of these items are available individually. So like Corinne was saying earlier, if you delight in decoupage, then you could buy those pads individually as well and just stock up. Mm -hmm. Okay, but the biggest saving is to get the bundle, but again, you might want your favourite add-ons just in a little bit more of them. Okay, yes. So that's on our website for you. Okay, right, now, um, oh, I know what I meant to say. The stamps are polymer stamps, and they're the most 
the, the most detailed stamps. Oh. They're the highest quality stamps. But I'm going to let you into a secret. Go on. Our supplier actually charged us for acrylic stamps. So if oh. these sell out, properly sell out, big sell out, and have to come back, they'll be more expensive. Oh. And that's, yeah. And, that, and that's, I know that, that sometimes mistakes are in our favour. Mm. So sorry for your lovely supplier that did that slightly faux pas error there, but you make the most of it. It yeah. benefits you, benefits us, doesn't it? So it does. while it's that, while it's that, we'll know it'll go up in price. Things are going up yeah. in price, and that's the reason why. So grab it, grab yes. it. Yes. Okay. So just to show you, you've got all your elements on here, and you've got your little your dies as well. Now each die has got like a little tag on, and you can see. I don't know how much we say. There is a number one just etched into there. Oh. Hopefully you can just, oh, yeah. can just see that there, look. So if you look at the image, there's a one at the side of the image. So what you do is you pop that on and that one has been placed in such a way that if you cover that, if you line that up perfectly, oh. then the whole thing is lined up and then I can tape it down. There's no, guess, there's no guessing, no guessing. there at all. No, oh. then I'm going to look for number two. Get that off here. There we go. Oops, it's just a bit stuck. There we go. Two, number two, number two. And that's going to just go on there, just like that. Just take a second. It's worth just taking the extra moment to do that. Then we've got three and four. Then I've got, oh, come on, come off. God, it's a good take. Five and six. So we can line those up. Let me get a piece of tape here. Just get that going. So we can put three on just there. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not quite lined up. Number three. And and then, oh, then we could just line that one up. Uh -huh. Number four. Take a, oh, just quickly as well. I've just been told by my lovely producer that this is, at the moment, the most popular. Uh, I think it's... It, it, People recognise it as such a lovely Christmas sentiment, don't yeah. they? So yeah. And you've got floral and then Noel as well, haven't you? Yeah. So those and we all of the we all end up getting the points set here, don't we? I would imagine. So all of you on the right hand side of my screen here waiting to check out. Don't mess out, will you? No, not at all. Right, so I've got them all on there. Okay. So again, and I mean this would easily, as you know, fit through your smaller machines. Uh -huh. So we can line that up and then I can run that through that's going to go through there i mean there's so much in your bundle isn't there by the time you've done say, your, yeah. your sentiment die then your stamps yeah. your decoupage dies your decoupage pad it's a good bundle i mean but for christmas as well you've got the stamps that are forever you've got the die because as long as you look after them obviously they're yeah. the only things you're going to get through obviously is your pad and, or your decoupage yeah. and you could have extras of that and your glue obviously so you know yeah. you've, you've got a lot of long-standing elements here so you can see this. these have just cut straight out and oh. what they've also done is they've cut in detail in during there. So that's textured now. So that's going to add to that the way it bends and shapes oh, and, you know, let's just pop those ones out as well. And then these are so easy to put together. Now you can put them, if you are, everybody does decoupage slightly different. So it's entirely up to you um, how you got how you're going to do them. I'm going to bring in my um, foam pad and also my um, ball tool as well to use. But I think for the first one, I'm just going to leave it just like that. So this is your 3D glue gel. Ooh. So this is what we we're talking about. It, when you get it, you get your glue and you also get your syringe. And I think you get a key as well to go on your to twist it. Oh, to roll it to get, get it all get, out. Yeah, yeah, oh. I haven't got mine on mine. So you get those in there. So what this does is it's. Um, it's, uh, let me get the, how does it, it says, it's transparent and odour, so I was trying to get the right words. Um, but what it does is it holds its shape. So if I get my second layer, uh -huh. and I'm just going to add a little bit of shape to this behind here. There we go. And then I can pop my tweezers behind there. So then, where did I just put the glue? Can you see? Oh, it's there, right there in front is. of me. Whew. So much on here. So you... I find it easier with the syringe. You can go straight from the tube if you want, but if you look at that, so what you can do is when you put the glue behind that, it holds its shape. Can you see I'm making little, oh, like, little yeah. you're doing your meringues. So then when you layer this down, it will then hold at that 
angle. Now, what we say for... Oh, so it doesn't sink down. That's doesn't the sink three... down. Oh, if I wanted nice. to press it, I could get it... It would sort of self-level. I always call it a self-leveling glue because you can actually um, level it out. But I think it's the best glue for doing decoupage because you can... Yes, you can shape with a foam pad, but you can't get the same level of shaping as you can with um, 3D glue gel at all. So, because I pressed that one down here, this one's come up, so I'm going to put an extra peak of glue there, oh, an extra it. bit of there and there. It's and so then good. when we put that on here, because I put a little bit of glue under this bit here, that will never go down now. So it'll oh, stay wow. where I want it to be. So let's get the final one. Can I ask so, what that is you're using there? What, this? This yeah. is a ball tool. Oh, okay. For shaping. Ah. And you'll find them on, I'm sure there'll be some here on the website or on Crafters um, Companion website if oh, you okay. wanted to have a look on there. So then those, let me get this the right way round, will fit just pop I'm just working the right way around there we go that way round just on there and then I've got all the other little bits now I was just about to say um 3d glue gel is sort of touch dry in 30 minutes oh okay I would leave it don't then try and put it in um an envelope or a box for 24 hours Leave, leave, it. It for, leave it for 24 hours to properly cure before you try posting it oh okay but what I would be suggesting is is Cut out a load of these and maybe have a session of making these up and just have a box full oh, of idea. the, you know, the embellishments yeah. and then just have those. And then the next thing you, then you can then make your cards and then you've got a choice. Am I going to put these on the Noel that it came with or am I going to put it on Holly? Am I going to put it on Snow? Them, can't you? Yeah, you can do. So just make up a whole yeah. sort of a batch of the, um, of the, let, of the, of the flowers yeah. and then just leave them to dry. And then they're ready to go. Then you're not, you know, you're not messing with them. And that, you know, when I'm prepping, that's how I always work. I always yeah. sort of, like, one day we'll make all of my um, my decoupage up, and then I'll come back the next day and I'll sort of finish off my my demos once that's dry. But how? I mean, I have done that completely from scratch, and now look at how that is amazing. You see how dimensional that is now I'm going to actually just swap it round for this one because this one's nice and dry and what I've also done is just gone over it with can you remember those shimmer pens we were using the other Ooh, day yeah. to paint with I've just added a little bit of shimmer to a couple of little bits oh, on there yeah. so let's bring back our Noel so what we can now do is we can then put this where oh. so now if you remember some of them some of them sort of sit that way mm -hmm. now you, I wouldn't put that on here because we're going to lose a lot of our Noel yeah but you can put it that way mm -hmm. or you could put it that way could you put it at the top of the O? yeah yeah that would look nice oh that oh, almost like cascade yeah like, I quite um, like that like a mantelpiece yeah one. like a yeah that is pretty. Oh, like Actually, that. I'm going to do that oh. because I'm going to put the stepper on and I think I'm going to be able to see more of this. So there we go. And again, a little bit of glue gel on there. Let's put a little bit down here just to hold it. Again, if you're a foam pad person, then go with the foam pads. That's uh -huh. entirely up to you. And the next bit I've got is... Uh, now, this is the... We didn't say this is the Christmas green Centura Pearl in yes. the 5-4 that we've oh, got we've today. Got, is that three o'clock we've got that, isn't it? That's now, isn't it? Oh, is it we doing that now? Oh, even better. Yeah. Oh, fab. That's that's now. Excellent. Put that one. Ah, ha, ha, ha. There we go. Uh -huh. And then the last little bit I'm going to do is, if I can see them, I'm losing everything on here. I should have some gems. <laughs> There's too much in the bundle. <laughs> There's so much in there. I'm going to just pull that apart. I'm going to look for my gems. I'm going to put those on while you show everybody yep, this. Wonderful. Shenshira Pearl. So... It's all of these here. Right, hang on a second. Oh, there's that green you were just using. So, all of this variety of colour, you can choose any one of those colours. Uh, well, any, any five, actually. So, what we're going to do uh, is offer you five packs, and there's ten sheets of A4 in each of the Centura Pearl. Um, you, you pay for four, you get five so what you need to do now, this can all, because I don't know about you, I struggle with technology. So if you go to the hobbymaker.co.uk website, click on, um, you'll see the, um, the, the, the deal. Okay, you'll see all the colours there. Now, can you see where it says ivory? Now, if you click on that, that 
a little arrow next to it, it will drop down and you just scroll down on the right on that gray bar and you choose all of the different colors. Now we've got ivory, dark chocolate, turquoise, Christmas red, that beautiful Christmas green that uh, Corinne's just working on. There's black, there's pumpkin, there's deep purple, there's platinum, not the band, there's platinum, there's cherry, there's lilac, there's lavender, there's mint, and then there's baby blue and baby pink. You might want to be doing baby reveal cards and boxes and all things like that if you want to go traditional. Um, again, limited number of stock, but let's face it, you're paying for 40 sheets and you're getting 50. I know, it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. And it's, it's, you're getting something that you're actually going to use. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you'll get yeah. through, won't you? You will. You really will. I love them. Now, I love the chocolate. The chocolate is a really lovely colour. Um, it goes so well with the cream. Um, I don't know if we've got, we haven't got mink. Have we got mink? Did you say mink? Oh, that pumpkin's nice as this well. This pumpkin here, because pumpkin you think really bright, don't you? But it's this gorgeous. It's like a, oh, it's just delicious, isn't it? Yeah, like the inside of a pumpkin when you've lit it up and, and sort of, yeah, you know, stuck it all out and put a face on it. <laughs> yeah. So remember as well, it's your post and packaging is only once a day. So for me, the way I work it out when I'm at home, right, and you just think, right, okay, so I've done my post and packaging, I've only got to do that once. Okay, I'm saving all this money. Do you know what I do? Oh, this is a good idea. Have you ever done this, right? Every time there's a deal and you've made a saving, like these bundles down to the price that we've just done, Add it up, write it down on a note, get a post, you know, get a note or a notebook or whatever. Jot down all your savings. And then in my mind, I've got that to spend the next day. <laughs> That's the way I justify it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a crafter's way. It's a crafty way of shopping, isn't it? And that's what we, you know, that's what we've got to do. Uh, but th I mean, even at their individual prices, three pound ninety nine is phenomenal. But who doesn't want a free pack of ten? Nobody. Okay. Sorry about that. Right, Lovely. so Let's I have that finished in. that. Let me show you that. I was just trying to tidy up. So that is what we have created. We've created our gorgeous Noel like that Aww. isn't that absolutely... now what i was planning to do so you yeah. can see that looks so pretty doesn't it what we were planning to do was that oh, with lovely. a little tweak we've just done a little bit of a change let me move these out of the way so you can see yeah there we go can you see how a little change so we've got it coming around the edge here or over the top just it looks completely yeah completely different it's isn't entirely it? up to you but that's what it's all about having that control isn't it i've got a question go on you know where the Noel is and the hot and the and the, and the, and the ooh, yeah. we're going to call yeah. it. How do you do the shaker? You know, like if you want to put. Do you want me to in? do it on my next demo? Oh, yeah. Go on then. Is that okay? Yeah, that was. Oh. I've got that as a demo, so I can do that on my next one. Yeah, because I want to know how you do the shaky shaky. It's easy. Shaky shaky. Is it easy? Yeah. Is it easy to shake? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to do snow. The snow. Okay. Okay, right, um, I better get cracking, get yeah, ready. Yeah, so I'm going to show you the snow again, just to give you some examples. I'll just pop that out there, my lovelies. You know that saving we've done on these brand... And bear in mind, these, look, these are all brand new launches today, exclusive to Hobby Maker from Crafters Companion. You can't get them anywhere else. That £31.99 is a 20% saving today. 20%. And in it, you get each of the words. If you get the snow, you get uh, this one here with the ooh. So you get this in, and then you also get the dies. You get that pad with the, the decoupage. You get the stamps. So there's, and you know, that's forever. And then again, if you go for these, if I pop these here, well, hang on, if I go that way, that's the pad of 48 that you get, but you can add extras to that. Those are your forever stamps and those are your forever dies. So there's a lot of you know, this is forever Christmas, and there's only certain, only one element in there. If I'm, if I'm correct, you know, and yeah, Christmas is every year. If you, isn't mm. it? there's no taking that away, but that you can add extra ones of those. Oh, another, how many of the snow have gone? Nearly three quarters already. It, do you know it's a sixty-three piece collection? I know, amazing, isn't <laughs> it? <laughs> Winter roses and snow. Could be anything more perfect, could it? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so three quarters of this almost have almost sold out. So, again, you've only got um, a few, but the detail in those stamps is phenomenal. Oh, now, just, to, just, while, just while we're just um, our lovely Corinne setting up, particularly with, this, with the snow and the, and, the, and the winter roses, this spotlight deal that we had earlier, look at that, look at that for our watch. 
Now this should set you back 12 99 This is what's brilliant about Hobby Maker. Our amazing, amazing uh, crafting companions and different companies that we work with look after you with savings. So this saves you six pounds, doesn't it? Now you know those, those packs we've just shown you, they were 3 99 So you've got one and a half of those for free if you get this effectively, because you've saved six pounds, haven't you? Now this is this beautiful snow white, subtle shimmering silver. You can see the pearlescence across it, and that's because it's Crafters Companion Centura Pearl range. And it's 50 sheets, it's 310 GSM, so it will do your bases and your lids of your boxes. And this is the steps that Colin's just made with those. And you can see how, how easily it stood up, mm. didn't it? Yeah, we're going to use it again in this demo, so oh, you brilliant. can really see. Fabulous. Okay, now, because we've only got 10 minutes, I want to show you. I'm going to actually jump through a lot of steps. I'm going to just sort of do the construction and show you how yes. it's done. Okay. Right, so what we've done is I've taken my snow, and what I've done is I've cut my snow out of this gorgeous encapsulated um, pink glitter card. Mm -hmm. Really, really pretty because I thought it worked really, really well. So you can see, I've just cut that out of there. Then out of the gorgeous winter white, we've cut the outline. So remember, that's the one that you can make the card base out of. Yeah. So all we've done is I've just rounded off the top. Now what I've done here is I've gone round with my glue pen just around the edges and added glitter. But doesn't that make, can you see that glitter oh. there? So when we put our snow onto here, can oh, you wow. see? Yeah. It really, really pops. Doesn't that make such a phenomenal yeah. difference? Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. Now, I wanted another layer, but I've only got two dies. So all I did was I took my largest die, and when you look at a die, the blade isn't on the outside edge. It's just inside very slightly. So your metal always protrudes just beyond your wow. die blade. So all I did was I laid my die on the back of my card and I drew round. So straight away, that line is already bigger than the previous oh. layer because I've done it. But then I used my scissors to cut just proud of that as well. Do you see? Okay, so, yeah, so, yeah, I've done, yeah. so I've now created another, let me put that out of the way, another matte layer. Can you see how that fits? Clever, Absolutely it? perfectly. Just by using the die as yeah. a template. Okay. So I can actually stick that on to there. We can do that bit. So we're going to do this as we go. So you can see, put that. And again, I'm using my tacky glue. We're not using our all purpose because we're sticking on to pearlescent card and it would take the, oh, um, right, the coating okay. off. Right, there we are. You could use your tape pens if you wanted to, but my tacky glue means I can move it around and get it in exactly the right place. So just the heat of my hand then will just stick that down. Make sure it's all nicely stuck. Now, I want to stick my snow onto there, but I want to make that into a shaker. Oh, yes. So all I've done is I just put a piece of acetate behind there and drew around it so I could cut. Can you see I've got a piece of acetate just okay. there? Mm -hmm. And I put red liner tape on one side. So I'm going to take that off here. You see, we talked about this is another one of our tapes, red liner. Red. And I didn't need to seal that. It has gone all the way around, but that's just going to sit perfectly on to there like that can you right. see so that's yeah. gone there uh -huh. now what i've done is i've then put foam tape on now this is the key bit this foam tape has to be make a perfect seal because well, if there's any yeah. gaps everything that i put in there is going to fall out, out. Yeah. but the other thing i've done is i don't tend to put the start and finish at the bottom because then if there is that's where it's going to sit yeah Got yeah so i've i've started on the side that's a good tip yeah just just adds. Um, I also then cut the snow again out of this beautiful backing paper, just this little piece, because I wanted a backing. So that's going to sit on there eventually, and this is going to go over like that. Can you see? But now we need to fill this up. So all I'm going to do is I'm not going to take the backing off. I've got some of my Sarah Signature, look at that chunky glitter. Oh, chunky. You did, you did it like that. This is how the glitter comes. <gasps> This is, yeah, we sell this on Crafters Companion. So I've actually, I'd already put some in a bag ready to bring. Oh, lovely. Now, don't, you've got to get your, you need enough, but not too much. You want it to be able to see. So I'm going to put that in there. And also I've got a couple, I've got some silver sequins just to add a oh, little bit more. Too much. There we go. <laughs> going to put those in there. Don't they look lovely? Now you'll see, I haven't taken the backing off my foam because if I did, 
it's almost like static and it just almost just it, yeah it just attracts everything so all i'm going to do now is i'm going to take this off and hopefully it'll come off in a couple of pieces it's one piece of foam yeah but hopefully i can get the backing off and then oh, well you done. can see i think it might snap off there just wait went around the corner but can you see there's no gaps in that foam yeah and that's that's the key to making your shaker work and then i can just oh, put that over the top to seal i wouldn't be the first demonstrator to do that shake it up and everything falls out now look can you see <laughs> oh that's fantastic and that is, yeah isn't it, isn't it pretty isn't it? now because i've got foam under under there i've had to put the same foam on the back of here so that that effectively lies flat got you yeah so we mm -hmm. can then put that on here so i know i don't need any more height behind here uh -huh. because i've used the same foam tape and i need to make sure it stays the same so what i would do just there is just put a little bit of wet glue behind there just to hold that onto my card base nothing more because like i say anything else with height is going to distort it oh i see right. yeah yeah so that now will fit on to here oh my God. just like that that was just lifting up a bit let's press it back down again there we go so we've got our shaker and then we've got minutes so all i've done decoupage out of here so we can then pop that on there and i'm going to stick that on with some glue let's put that on here and that's your 3d glue that's my it? 3d right, glue okay Arch yeah let's put that like that mm -hmm. so i can still see all of my letters yep and then i've got a card base so it's just literally a card base that mm -hmm. i've done at seven and three quarters by six and a half folded over the front this is our um, frosty and bright and I'll, i'm going to stick all this down after the show and then i'll let you have it for the next show to show you okay. so again that's that turquoise in Ooh, the bundle yeah. isn't it beautiful our frosty and bright we had on the show the other day so i've got two pieces just there and then i'm going to stick this one just oh. coming across there so that this then opens out just oh, like that wonderful. and then a little sentiment on a tag just there oh there we go. i'll stick that down for you and then you can have a look at that when i come back in at what time do i come back in i come back in at three, three o'clock there you yeah there we go thank you so much my pleasure we've got carol sandra karen crafters june sherry sarah and when i say crafters it's because you haven't put your name you don't have to if you want us to shout your name out then just when you look when you register give us your name it doesn't have to need to be yours uh stephen there's all sorts of you trying to check out there my lovelies good luck good luck good luck that saving is a brand new saving today and a launch now after the break i'll be with you with clearance <laughs> Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobby Maker. I almost forgot. We've got a brand new show starting on Hobby Maker, Monday to Friday from 6 a.m. until 8 a.m., featuring loads of new things. The Early Bird Special, a special offer only available during the Wake Up to Hobby Maker show. Who the Hobby Maker are you? A slightly extended interview with our guest designers. Help Me Hobby Maker, encouraging you to email in with all of your crafting queries and a sneak peek. The final 20 minutes of the show, letting you know what's coming up later on in the day. So don't forget to join us. Set your alarms 6am until 8am on Hobby Maker. Think I'll get five more Zs in. When you purchase anything on Hobby Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee meaning that you can shop with confidence. Happy shopping with Hobby Maker. Here at Hobby Maker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, 
size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one p and Shopping made simple with Hobby Maker. Hobby Maker are live from 1pm to 6pm every day on Sky Channel 670, FreeSat Channel 807 and Freeview Channel 73. You can also watch on YouTube via some smart TVs, your computer and phone. It couldn't be easier to watch Hobby Maker. You can join us on Sky, Freeview, on our website or on YouTube. So you can watch at home or on the go. Here at Hobby Maker, we love seeing what you've been making and it's our job to keep you inspired. So how does a £100 credit to your Hobby Maker account sound? Every month we're going to be giving away a £100 credit to one lucky Hobby Maker's account. And all you have to do to enter is simply send a photo of your crafty makes to studio at hobbymaker.co.uk. We will be picking one winner each month at random and we'll announce the lucky winner on air in the 5pm show on the last Saturday of every month. So what are you waiting for? Get crafting, get motivated and get inspired with Hobby Maker. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. I'm on my own. On my own. I'm Zena, my loveliest boss. I'm not on my own because I've got my amazing team around me. Jimmy's throwing things at me. Steve's on lovely cameras. We've got Alex uh, producing and we've got the lovely Adam and Dan directing. There they are. Oh, and that's the big wig. That's the big cheese in the gallery. And he's coming on the telly later. He's coming on with me. I'm getting right spoiled. My first time on air with Andy Love, our salesman. Very excited. Right then, my lovelies. Now, we have got so many treats for you today. We're going to be dipping in and out of different crafts and different, um, different. we're going into Christmas. We've got cutes. We've got, foil, we've got MDF storage. We've got little books. We've got embossing powders. You name it. We've got its stencils all going to clearance price. Now, what we're not doing here is, you know, sometimes when you go to a shop, you're not quite sure or online, you know, when they do these, you know, like Black Fridays or different days, and you think you have to research whether it is actually clearance. And they're not just like, no, everything today is priced to clear because we need more room for all these lovely new craft mediums that we're doing. So what we've got here is we've got some MDF. Now, we've got a jewellery stand and we've got this storage box here. Now, if any of you are into seed beading, or you, in fact, if I turn that round for you, my oh, excuse me, that was the, there you go. Okay, so the storage box here is made out of MDF. Okay, it has, and it just, everything, if I show you here, look, it slots. Okay, so it, oh, can you see, sorry, I've not got that lined up into the camera for you, have I? But it slots, there you go, it slots into position. So it all just connects. There's no sort of tools needed whatsoever. Super simple to build. Okay, you don't need, all, you do get instructions actually. Um, if I think up, yeah, here we go, look. So what you get, you get this little storage and it's designed by Debbie Balford, who was previously a guest designer on our Jewelry Maker channel. Oh, she, has Debbie been on Hobby Maker? Oh, has she, Debbie? Well, this is Deb. If you've seen Debbie Balford, and you can go back and watch our shows, okay, as well, on, on either YouTube or through our website. Debbie's been on Hobby Maker. Now she's designed this specifically in mind for seed beaders, okay? But again, you could have tubes of sequins and, and your embossing powders and all the things that Corrin's just use and glues and things. But you get a slotted back panel. You get three upright supports to make it stand. You get three large shelves and then these three small shelves on the top. So it, you describe how it goes into, she describes how it goes into position. It's all handmade in the UK out of MDF. Um, the, they, these are quite, they're specifically made, so they, when they slot in, they're nice and tight. So you might have to just wiggle them in because you want sturdiness, robustness. 
And the great thing about what Debbie's thought about here is whatever you put in, if it's clear, like these seed bead tubes here, you'll immediately be able to see what colour your seed beads are. So what I would do, what about you, I'd put them this way up. Now, I'd put them like that. So at the base of the tube, immediately you can see what you've got. Okay, so if you do that like that, look, whoops a daisy. If I put that there, you can either have them that way or that way, and either way, or you can stand them up. The lovely thing is the choice is yours, but with seed bees, they tend to have this label on. So personally, I'd do it so you can see the colour, okay? And you'd get a lot in there, wouldn't you? You'd get a, you'd get a lot of seed bees. And the lovely thing is that, because the thing with seed beads, if you're not aware of what they are, can I show you this, right? Trouble with seed bead tubes sometimes, and I don't know if you're clumsy like me, but when they're up like that, I don't know about you, they're like dominoes. If you have them all together, you've only got to knock one and they all go. Yeah, we've only got a few of these left, my lovelies. When you see things today, it's last of stock. So they could be on and they could be gone quite quickly. So, um, but you saw how they fell over. But the thing is, if they're in there, they've got nowhere to go. They've got nowhere to go. There's no falling over. There's no problem. Nice and tidy. Um, now, if you look at the back, there aren't currently holes to wall mount, but I'm sure you could easily make that sortable. In fact, you could, couldn't you just sort of glue on like a, a, a or, or add it, put like a picture hook? You could, couldn't you? You could put a, you know, the ones that have got the two, because that won't be that heavy, but you can get, oh, Velcro. Oh, you know that really strong Velcro? And you get the sticky hooks. It's all sort of, you could even drill through, I would have thought, no problem, and if my dad had wanted to do that properly. Oh, I'll tell you what, this would be good for as well. Imagine having that. Now, I don't know whether I should say this, but like in your garage. Because you know, like, I don't know about you, the other half, or it might be you, might be your dad, your granddad, third of the sock's gone already. How My dad, every screw and washer that comes through my door, my dad's like, you've got to keep that. What for? Well, you never know. Never know what? You just, you know, but you think, you know, things like if, you, if you've got fuses, if you've got safety pins, if you've got uh, pins or, or uh, not needles, but you know what I mean. Um, there's so many things, nails, you could put your, you could put your, um, gosh, all your little ribbons in there, your seed beads, your, 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 oh, all the lads are giving me all the DIY, oh, spice rack. And I tell you what you could do, you know, we had Sandra on the show from Santangle yesterday. You could Santangle onto there, couldn't you? Couldn't you? Also, oh, do you know what we've got coming up later? Have you ever hot fixed? You know, right, if you've never, we've got a hot fix starter kit. Okay, um, just to, I'm sorry, I'm jumping in and out here. I'm, it's a bit, they get a bit flustery, these uh, clear, clearance ones, because they're fast and furious. Um, but uh, we'll do the jewelry display stand next. That's nearly sold out. You could hot fix that with sparkly rhinestone crystal elements. We're doing that later as well. So nearly gone. You can put in there whatever you want, basically doesn't have to be for seed beads, $7.99. Now this here, obviously we've got our sister channel jewellery maker from eight in the morning till one in the afternoon that precedes ho hobby maker. This here is an MDF Lazy Susan style rotating jewellery display stand. So, the, so it's got a cutout set. Let me show you how that works actually. So, if I hold that up, look, it's all, everything's done for you. Debbie's done all the work. It's all designed by Debbie. So you've got all the elements. Okay, again, full instructions. There you go from Debbie on exactly how to set it up. Okay, so dead easy. Honestly, they're so quick to build. They're 25 by 27 centimetres, the stand is. All the information on there. Everything's cut out. There's the little cutout section for the cross to go in. And then it will rotate like a lazy Susan. So if you pop, oh, in fact, that's already cut out, that one there. And then what it does is when it goes in, it will, I think it might need that one as well, but it rotates. Okay, so it will rotate round that one there. And can you see there as well, you've got all different styles that you could actually put in. So I'm just going to see if she's actually popped it on here, if she tells you how many it actually does tell you. But Oh, you get the sachet of glue as well. Oh, she's thought of everything. Because you don't even need your, most of you've got your own glue, but you don't even need your own glue. So you could have in there, you could have earrings, you could have your bracelets, your necklaces. Again, you could paint it, you could colour it, you could santangle it, you could hot fix it. And you could really make that your own. In fact, wouldn't that make a nice 
I, I think it, which I was going to do, I think it, I was going to say, I think it's upside down. Cause there you go. Jimmy. <laughs> it's okay. But yeah, so you could, you could really make that your own. And wouldn't that be a lovely thing to do as a, as a, as a gift that then that person, you can personalize it. That's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Um, was that six, was that, how much was that? Six ninety nine. Was that six ninety nine we just went to? Was it six ninety nine? Sorry, I can't remember what that was. Then it's gone. Oh yes, it, um, nine ninety nine. Do apologise. Nine ninety nine for all of that MDF rotating uh, display. Great idea, isn't it? Yeah. Um, now we've got more MDF. So I was just talking then. You might um, about different Debbie. Bulford does so many different MDF designs. She's brilliant. Um, so if I show... Oh, gosh, there's a drinking one. I'm going to have to go for that straight away, aren't I? <laughs> Give yourself a right bad image here. So in these MDF, obviously, you've got wine bottles. You've got lovely carafes for your sangria. You've got sort of milk bottles, wine bottles. You know it, you've got it. And then you've got your sort of uh, lovely sort of sangria cocktail glass there. And you've got your balloon gin glass, if that's what you have it for as well. And the, this is your wine elements, okay? So, we, you know, it, not quite a few of us like a little tipple, but these days, I've got some in my cupboard, actually. If you're going through or I'm not drinking any alcohol, you can get these sort of clean gins and things, can't you, and vodka. So that if you fancy a gin and tonic but you don't want the alcohol, you can have the... So this isn't just for people that drink alcohol and wine. You can have non-alcoholic versions now, can't you? And all of these, if you can see here, look, they just push out. Shall I do one? Yeah, shall I? So that there, look, that's how easy that is. Now, won't they make lovely tags? Oh, you know, if you made like lovely um, wine bottle gift bags, you know, like out of that lovely Centura Pearl that we just had in the Snow White, made that into a wine box or bag, and then you could do one of these, a little tag, and personalise it, couldn't you? Well, that's a nice idea. Or if you're hot fix, and, and put crystal elements onto the gin glass. You buy a sort of a cheap gin balloon glass from the supermarket. You could then put somebody's name, my, my friend does this, and then hot fix onto the, um, all their initials onto the balloon glass and have that as your tag. That'd be good, wouldn't it, as well? Oh, I'm off now. So then, wine elements, gin elements, 4 99 Now there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bottles and two glasses. Ten, yeah, ten brown bottles. That makes, if you divide that by 12, by 5, is that 60? It's not 60p, is it? <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm trying to divide that by 12. I'm normally quite good and I feel bad because... 45p. You can't get a paper tag for that, can you, in a shop? That's MDF wood that you can sand tangle. I'd I tell you what, I'd love to give one of these to Sandra, wouldn't you? $4.99 on all of those. So you've got the all MDF um, embellishments. You've got wine. I've got all sorts coming up. Yeah. You're all fancying a little tipple, aren't you? Little tipple this afternoon. Um, now, yesterday we had the wonderful... Oh, she's so lovely. Anne-Marie from Hunky Dory. Got all different things coming up as well. One for the gentlemen. There's top hats and moustaches and, um, well... Yep, yeah, all the MDF pieces are on the website as well. Are they all priced four ninety nine in the clearance? Okay, great. So, hunky dory. Um, are these all separate books we're doing? Oh, these are great. I'll come into the celebrations, please. In the um, the cute, the cutest. It's so cute, yeah. Look, look, little book of cutest here. Look at these designs. This is. One of the little books from Hunky Dory, that, and we had some of their uh, uh, little books on the show yesterday. Six um, sheets, so there's six of each, but there's 24 different designs. So 144 sheets in total. If I hold that, oh, look. So there you go. You might be, oh, bunting. I love me bunting. Birds, pandas, bikes, flowers. What's, so there's six designs. So there's six sheets there, okay, but there's 24 designs. So there'll be six of those. You could, oh, you could decoupage these, couldn't you? Because you get repeats of each design. That's great. So anybody into cats, right? Oh, it's a little troll. Ah, 
Ah, a little troll there. I went under a bridge today. That's where trolls live, isn't it? I did. I went under a bridge today. Ah. Uh, Oh, Lord. Oh, look. My brother's just had a, a, a little boy called Freddie. And he's not a monkey. He didn't have a monkey. Mind you, he has got quite big ears, me brother. Um, but anyway, um, bless him. He'll kill me for that. Uh, a little elephant then. But the elephant's the nursery design he's got. Now, Mark, uh, I know that uh, Mark Smith, our guest designer on Jewelry Maker, he's obsessed with hunky jewelry cards. He loves um, giraffes. Loves giraffes. So he's got a giraffe there. So we've kept, we've kept him. Uh, oh, you know, lots of... Oh, you can tell us about giraffes later then. Do giraffes have blue tongues? You could tell that because isn't there a restaurant down south somewhere where um, giraffes come through the window while you're having your afternoon tea and they kiss you? That's giraffe man. Oh, it's in Nairobi. Oh, I thought it was... You've been there. Have you had your face... This is my sales manager. He can tell us. Have you had your face licked by a giraffe? He has. He has. He'll tell us later. <laughs> He's had breakfast with them. Uh, uh, again, do you know anybody that likes flying aeroplanes? Yeah? I do actually have a few friends that my cousin flies aeroplanes, doesn't he? Oh, I did my scooter um, test last year. I did, and I passed, but then I went on a road and I can't get above 28 miles, and I kept having lo loads of cars behind, so, I, so I, I binned it. I was like, no, I'm too scared. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm selling my moped. I just insured it, lost loads of money, but I was too scared. <laughs> oh, bless you. Oh, a little King Charles, isn't it? That'd be, oh, a, li a little Cocker Spaniel, a little King Charles. Oh, oh that's, that'd be nice for a little christening as well, wouldn't it? Uh, oh, here we go, back to the alcohol. Yeah, so you've got your champagne, somebody getting engaged, Christmas, you name it, Valentine's. So as you can see there, you've got 144 designs. There's so, uh, sorry, 144 sheets, unicorns as well. You've got everything in there. 24 different designs, six of each. Great for your decoupage as well. So, right, we've got... We've got here rose quartz. Okay, now you think of rose quartz, it's the gift of love. If you're thinking about gemstones and whatnot... In here, we have got some of the most elegant, delightful images. Honky Dory again. 144 again across six, uh, 24 designs and six of each. But again, you don't have to use these as one, do you? You could, you know, like Corinne just did that beautiful design. In cars, you can just have that as the base or the side or the top or... Don't, and look at that dress there, look. Isn't that gorgeous? You get six of those. Going to give you as many as I can. Swans and butterflies. Four, four, gosh, I nearly said something. Four ninety nine, and they're one hundred and fifty. How much should these be? They've got to be nine ninety nine. These are half price. These are half price. They're nine ninety nine. We had some on the show. Yes, these are half price. So basically, if you think about it, you're getting seventy two of these in each book for free. Yeah. And again, if you paid your post and packaging, you're already done. There's no more to put. That's gorgeous, isn't it? That lovely design, your roses, your butterflies. I'm just going to flick through. Spread your wings and fly. Rose quartz. I'm guessing the reason Hunky Dory have gone for rose quartz. One of the biggest, most well-known uh, gemstones in the crystal healing world, if you believe in all that kind of thing. Again, it's a choice thing. Uh, rose quartz is known as the gift of, gift of love. Okay, so... Um, and it's a delicate pink. It's beautiful. You probably might have some. Um, look at that if somebody's leaving the nest and going to university. Or leaving home. Spread your wings and fly. Or, or emigrating. You know, or masquerade. Or, um, you know, if, if, if you don't like how you look in the morning. Sorted. Mind you, my dad thought that. Like, honestly, you shouldn't look like that. Or downstairs is one of my dad's eyes. He went, oh, all right. <laughs> That was a long day yesterday, Dad. Uh, swans again, delightful, beautiful imagery. Absolutely, because they make for life. Great for map weddings, because swans make for life, don't they? Yeah. Uh, oh, this is brilliant. This is, this is for Corinne today. Today's your day to be fabulous. Oh, look at the detail in the surround. So I'm just going to show you a few more stunning flowers. Uh, as I said, 20... Oh, hello. 24 different designs. Oh, I missed one there. Look, more flowers. Uh, beautiful uh, shoes, stilettos, butterflies, and the pa pages. Oh, that's nice. £4.99 for all of them. They just tear out. 
See, look, beautiful flowers, half price, that is, four ninety nine. Beautiful. Wow. Oh, you know the storage unit that we had to store whatever you fancy from Debbie Bulford in the MDF? You've had all of those, so they've gone. There is some of the um, Lazy Susan... I always feel bad for Susan, do you? The rotator... I do, though. I mean, poor Susan. What if your name's Susan? You're a lazy Susan. It's not very nice, is it? Anyway, I think it should be called, help, called Helpful Susan because she's passing you everything. You know, ro you know, it is a rotating Susan, but poor. And that should be a Helpful Susan. Um, right, now we've got another book of Hunky Dory. I should give you some more of those. This is our butterflies, flight of the butterflies. A, oh, I meant to say, sorry. Um, the, oh, well, this one's A6. I think the celebrations was A6, wasn't it? Yeah, this is A6 again. This is what? That, oh, it's got, oh, it's mirrored. Ooh. So these, oh, these are the Miri magic. We had some uh, of the Miri, uh, Miri, uh, Miri pads on the, on the cards on the show yesterday. Miri magic. So these, so, and, the, uh, and you, oh, no, this is slightly different. I'm going to explain to you in a minute. That, is that going to be the buy price? Or are we dropping it? We're going to drop it, right. A6 size Miri magic pads. I'm looking over there because I've got my information. There are 36 in here because they're, they're thicker. They're 300 GSM. Okay, you get, uh, you get two of each. Okay, so you get two of each design. So that's 18 different designs. Oh, wow. We've just dropped it to a never before seen, I believe. £6.99, two of every single design. Beautiful butterflies. And again, nice sentiment for people leaving the nest, isn't it? Flying away. And there you go again. Or you can spot the Red Admiral straight away, can't you? Nice way to teach kids about butterflies as well, isn't it? You could make a lovely card. Oh, in fact, you could just frame these and have these. If you, because you can, there's a, we've got a butterfly um, farm near here where we're based in Stratford-upon-Avon. And it's amazing. I'm just thinking if you went there for the day, you could have one of these, couldn't you? Oh, have we got a Susan? Oh, is she all right? She said, hi, Azina, my name is Susan. I hate it. Ah. I wish I had time to be lazy. Honestly, lots of... Exactly, Susan. Helpful, Susan. No more lazy, Susan. Susan, we think you're lovely. I know, I wouldn't like that, being called a lazy Susan. And lots of love. Oh, that's really sweet of you. Yeah, we all wish we had a bit of time to be lazy, don't we? Um, but it sounds to be a fine thing. Uh, again, great way to teach the kids about butterflies. Great way to teach yourself about butterflies, because I think I only know a cabbage one and a red admiral. Do we know any other butterflies? Yeah? I know Red Admiral and Cabbage. I don't think I know. And do you know what the collective name for um, a group of butterflies? A kaleidoscope? Because it would be a kaleidoscope of colour, wouldn't it? I know the one for owls. Parliament. For crows. Pardon? What is it? Is it a murder? Oh, it is a murder. Oh, that's not very nice. Is it a murder of crows? Good. I hope your name's not Crow. <laughs> Mind you, we've got Gemma Crow on, the sh on Jewelry Maker. So anyway, look, beautiful designs, landscape, portrait, uh, and this mirror. Can you see the mirror coming through the camera? Look, look at that. I th I'll just frame these and have them on the wall. I think they'd look lovely. Yeah. Okay, so um, we've got some gorgeous embossing um, Oh, no, we've got these. Oh, no, we've got to do these from Hunky Dory because they'll go with it. Uh-huh. You've got to have, if you've just, you haven't got to, but Miri Magic that we've just had before. Now, these, I will show you, are perforated. So they're the finishing touches. Okay, so they're the topper collection. So, you know, you know, like with the, um, the lovely decoupage that uh, Corinne's just done, Obviously, when, you, when she said about putting the little finishing touches and the toppers, and again, if I'm getting anything wrong because I'm new to this world, will you let me know? Because you might go, oh, well, you can use it for that, but it's actually for... The, will you let me know? Because honestly, help me, would you? Because it's all new to me. Four ninety nine. I would imagine almost all of you... Well, in fact, all of you will be more, more experienced in the, in the crafting world, but certainly when it comes to cards and toppers, so I'd appreciate your help if you wouldn't mind. So let me show you one of these sheets. 
Now, you can't necessarily see everything that works here, but let me let me talk you around, okay? So if you because if you look at the back, it's a bit clearer. You can see that so these um you've got it's classed as vintage moments as well. You've got the frames. So all of these strips uh, perforated and come out, or you can use it as a frame. And then all of these push out as well. So do these, all, all your sentiments. And so how many could you make then? Per sheet, add your own cardstock. And we've had, yeah, add your own cardstock. Surely you could make at least three cards, are we, oh, do you think? Conservatively, that, oh, you make my heart flutter. Oh, distance means so little when someone means so much. Oh, aren't these lovely? You've got birthday in there. Four ninety nine. Four, And it's the mirror magic. That's brilliant. These sentiments as well, especially for you. Oh, but a Jason Donovan, we could send it to him, to someone special. Because of you, I laugh a little. Oh, I'm gone. What's that say? Oh, that doesn't sound quite right, does it? I, I, I laugh a little and cry a little and smile a lot. Oh, I thought there was something going on there. I thought somebody was in trouble, but no, it's really nice. I was thinking, <laughs> I don't know what I got it. Do you imagine sending cards saying every time I look at you, I laugh? <laughs> oh, thanks. Well, it's a positive, isn't it? Because of you, I laugh a little harder. Sorry, everybody. I cry a little less and I smile a lot more. I've got that completely. <laughs> you all imagine what I thought it was. <laughs> Anyway, it's actually really nice. It's just me. I've obviously got, not got a good mind. Um, so, yes, yeah, so you've got... Oh, oh, don't think it's just that one, by the way. Here we go. Beautiful blues, okay? Gorgeous colours in that lo lovely, lovely blues there. That, all of these are going lovely with that um, Creatura Pearlescent uh, earlier as well. Um, so there we go. There's your blues. Ooh. Is that like a... That's like a... Almost like a sage green, isn't it? Oh, that's delicious. Lovely shape. That's what I love about Honky Dory as well. Look at all the different styles and different shapes. It's not just, you know, it's not just round or heart or square or really lovely. There's your Red Admiral again. If you know any of the butterflies on there, because I obviously keep saying, oh, there's your Red Admiral, because it's the only one I have. Oh, what? Can I have a look at that at the bottom? Oh, so it's initials, look. Ah, because you've looked, look, you've got believe, love, hope, dream, joy. Oh, that's lovely. It's not your standard QWERTY typewriter and keyboard, in case you're all thinking, oh, hang on, where, where's QWERTY? Oh, that's great, because you could just initial, uh, uh, initials if you wanted to, but I like the fact that it spells that out. You can stick those on your fridge and keep giving each other messages. <laughs> nice messages. Not, I look at you and I laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm terrible, aren't I? But they're absolutely, yeah, I've got to be, because of you, I laugh a little harder. Yeah, cry a little less and uh, smile a lot more. So it's actually really nice. 4 99 for all of those as well. Little, we're having a little break, are we? A little teeny, little, just a little break. Then we'll be back with even more clearance and then we'll have the wonderful Corinne of Crafters Companion back with more goodies, more demos in half an hour. See you in a moment. <laughs> Forgot. We've got a brand new show starting on Hobby Maker, Monday to Friday from 6am until 8am, featuring loads of new things. The Early Bird Special, a special offer only available during the Wake Up to Hobby Maker show, Who the Hobby Maker Are You, a slightly extended interview with our guest designers, Help Me Hobby Maker, encouraging you to email in with all of your crafting queries, and a sneak peek the final 20 minutes of the show, letting you know what's coming up later on in the day. So don't forget to join us. Set your alarms 6am until 8am on Hobby Maker. I think we'll get five more Zs in. Here at Hobby Maker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size, or quantity of your order, or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one P&P. 
Shopping made simple with Hobby Maker. Hello, my lovelies. Could I just introduce you to something else? Because you know we've just had all those uh, those lovely butterfly collections um, from Hunky Dory. I didn't spot that we've got the parchment as well. So it all goes together in clearance again. Okay, so you've got it's all the Flight of the Butterflies collection range. This is your printed parchment. There are 112 GSM on your printed parchment sheets. Now, can I ask a question? Because obviously it's only my third show here. With the parchment, do you use that as, as, as your inserts inside the card? Is that what, yeah. Okay, I'm just looking at, it's not just that one design. Okay, but again, I would imagine you could, you could cut around these and have these as little tags as well, couldn't you? I would have thought, but let me know. Anyway, so that's, that's, that's one of the designs. They're so beautiful. Let me see now, you get two designs there. Oh, okay, so I think it's two of each. Yeah, two of each design. Oh, so these are the inserts. Oh, yeah, because here's the part. Oh, I picked up the, that's my fault. I, so, so I am learning. That is the insert. See, I, say what you see. I thought they were inserts. That's your parchment. My fault. Sorry, lovelies. We will go back to the parchment. That's me not knowing what parchment actually is. Uh, these are your inserts. That's why it looks like an insert then. There you go. Oh, cause that, oh there you go. <laughs> Every day's a school day. It definitely is on Hobby Maker. So there's your insert. So these go. Okay, so it's three each. There we go. So these are 140 GSM. So they're, they're, they're slightly thicker. Uh, 36 of your A4 sheets in total, all coordinated. And they are your card inserts. So shall I flick a few down for you so you can see? Look. I think I've just missed one, but I think it's three of each. They, oh, oh yeah, lovely. They're, they will complement beautifully what we've just had, won't they? This is uh, your inserts. Let me just make sure I don't miss any there for you, lovely. Gosh, aren't people imaginative with all these different designs? You know, somebody's had to sit and design all these. It's incredible work, isn't it? And it's all done for you. So, and the parchment sheets, I bet you were all at home then going, Zena, that's not, that's, that, that's not parchment, love. Yeah. Okay, so $7.99 for all of those. My goodness, we've got the whole flight of butterflies collection. It's good to have all that in clearance, isn't it? Now, here they are. So can somebody tell me, why, what, could somebody help me and message in through the uh, Hobby Maker website? When do we use parchment? Ooh, so it gives you like a decorative illusion if you sort of wrap around the card, does it? Ooh. And you can parch onto the actual butterfly as well, can you? Ooh. Do, oh, we got... Oh, apparently Sandra Rushton's bringing some parchment tools. Ooh, I'm going to have to learn that, aren't I? Look at these. Look at... The, could you... Ah, so if I get that and get one of the inserts, should we do that? Oh, let's have a look then, see how it works then. So that would go... Oh, it gives you a background look. Oh, that's clever, isn't it? Oh, you know, like when you have... A, when you, so when you buy a card and you have that sort of loose bit, don't you? Is that when you use parchment as well? And you put a parchment on the front. This is brilliant. I suppose you could just like fussy cut those and cut them out as well. And just have them. Oh, and it. Do you? Have we got any electronic? Because oh, this is honestly, I love this world. Oh, my. Oh, and I hang on. Hang on. Anybody that's a musician, we've got notes. Because it's the flight of the butterflies, isn't it? Yeah. Look, so you've got all musical notes as well. Oh, that's gorgeous. You could play it, couldn't you? you could actually, I'm going to take that. I've got a piano in, at my house. I might just take that out and see if it... Yeah, I can read music. Yeah, yeah. Grade six on the, on the piano. Yeah. Used to be a, a singer with me, Mum, and in a, in a pop band. You wouldn't think it, would you? We were called Red Sun. We were residents at Skegness at the Holiday Park in the nightclub. Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah, and this is lovely. Look at these. I do like these parchments. They're lovely, aren't they? Do you know what? They're, you're probably going to say now, Zine, you really shouldn't do this, but I think that would be lovely to actually wrap something. Do you know what I mean? To actually wrap something with some tissue inside. Yeah, for jewellery I'm thinking as well. Or I'm just thinking, if you've got like a really plain gift bag or you've made a box or whatnot, you could just cut these out and, and have them on the top like a really subtle little, couldn't you? These are beautiful. £7.99 for your parchment sheets, Fly to the Butterflies, all printed, and you get 16 in total across all those different designs. Is this... This beautiful, is it, I, all I can see is this. I don't know what that is, but that is well lovely. Ooh. I tell you what, let me show you this. It matches with the butterflies. That's what, ah, it's got, what I tell you what, why is all this gorgeous butterfly collection in the, uh, in, in, in this naughty slot? It's, yeah, butterflies are so popular, aren't they? Ah, oh, hang on. Can I go to the bottom of the pile? That's what the queen does with the red box. There's acetate as well, look. So that's the acetate that, that well, the different forms of acetate that uh, Corinne was just using um, when she did the shaker card, didn't she? She put acetate on. Wow, extra special deal here because we've got 16 sheets of not just acetate but as you can see foiled acetate 8.99 wow now let me have a little look so you've got one two three four i'm just trying to see how many designs you've got oh it isn't is it oh you're joking oh so you get gold one side and silver the other oh isn't that clever oh i didn't know oh, oh hang on you've got all my top behind there that's not helpful is it <laughs> oh, actually, you know those parchment sheets we've just had? The, the inserts. What do you think? Ah, oh yeah, can you see behind, look? Can you see? In fact, let's do the other one. You can see a bit better. Come here. There you go. Ooh, oh my goodness me, they really do go well together, look. Oh, that's stunning. Oh, I do a lot. You see, I'd, I think I'd want to do almost, it feels like I want to do acetate with every card. Oh, oh, you wait. Till... Yesterday, can't wait for my days off next week. Yesterday, my, this amazing team here and the lovely Anne Marie of Hunky Dory gave me a box like this full of Hunky Dory goodies. And I'm talking all sorts because I said, I really want to start. And I don't know which area I'm going to go because it's, it's all too much stuff at the moment. So the team and Andy and everybody and Jimmy and everyone put together with Anne Marie from Hunky Dory this lovely, um, this lovely big box of goodies and I cannot wait to start getting ideas and, and watching all of you and all your share your makes. Please keep those coming in because on the share your makes, what happens is if you, because we launched a competition yesterday with Sandra of Santangle as well on the, on the mug coasters, didn't we? Um, but if you take a photograph of anything you've made across any of our Hunky Dory range, email it in, to a photograph, to studio at jewelrymaker.com. Uh, sorry, studio at hobbymaker.co.uk. I do apologise, that's just, <laughs> that, that, that's a habit. Um, put your name on, and on the th as long as it's in before the 30th of July, because that's when we're announcing it, you could be winning £100 credit to your Hobby Maker account. And hopefully, where we can, we'll get your makes on air so that we all get to have a look as well and appreciate it. Okay, so... There you go, that's once a month. So $8.99, just to give you some of these gorgeous designs. Absolutely beautiful. Let's give you some more here. This could, oh, hang on, look at this. Look, look at this, ready? Look at those. Could use those individually as well, couldn't you? Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. Little hearts look up surrounding the butterfly. They lovely, absolutely gorgeous. Luxury acetate, because they're all foiled. Absolutely stunning. Now, have you got very many of those, lovelies? Please, no. So you're gonna have to be quick before they fly out the door. 
<laughs> Sorry. My jokes don't get any better. Oh, now Mikey B, are you still watching? Mikey B is one of our, uh, was a guest designer on Jewelry Maker, one of our amazing um, customers of Jewelry Maker as well. And a lot of our guest designers and different customers of Jewelry Maker love Milliput. Now you might be thinking, it's a funny name, Milliput. You hear Milliput, I've just speaking to Corinne, and it's like Milliput. You know. So, I think it is Norwegian, I think, isn't it? So, it's a, and I think all of the Milliput that we do here at, Jewel at um, Jewelry Maker in the morning, and now obviously you can get your hands on it as well here at Hobby Maker, is the super fine white, okay? And it's an epoxy putty, your milliput. Now this is, um, it's a super fine white. It's 113.4 grams, okay? And can I just, if I turn this over, look, because if you're thinking, because I think milliput started out as like a, a DIY sort of, um, you know, like to seal plumbing and things. So it's really yeah, sprung leaks and things like that. It dries really hard, but you can also put all, lots of different things into milliput. So shall I just give you some ideas? Have a look at this. The box will tell you just how many crafts you can use this on. Modeling, sculpting, wood turning, restoration of porcelain, other ceramics suitable for repairs to UPVC and for chips in your bath and sinks and tiles, but also jewelry as well. Because, as I say, it's got this soft um, epoxy putty and, and then you just add in all the little... I'm trying to think what it is that Mikey B puts into Milliput. Yeah. So, uh, Mikey B, anybody that uses Milliput, this is the day to get hold of it. Now, 6 99 is our already wickedly good price point. Okay. Now, you will be, you will be put out to get it, Millie Put. Hey, yeah. Have we got an image of, I, I want to show you some Millie Put jewellery, because in case you don't know what we're talking about here, if you type into your search engine, Millie Put, so Millie Put Craft or Millie Put Jewellery or anything like that, I just want to give you an idea of how amazing Millie Put is. Again, we have had some demonstrations of Milliput on our Jewelry Maker channel as well, so you will be able to see what people make. You can make rings, you can make pendants, you can make... Okay, now again, if any of... Oh, there you go, I can see my Milliputters coming in already. Gary's just had four, Crafter's just had three, Natalie, everybody's multi -buying. Hello, Wenda. This is our lovely... Well, uh, Oxfordshire, hello, gorgeous. Uh, you can do earrings, you can do pendants, you can do... And you pop in your milliput, you can insert into the milliput and it'll dry and contain what it's got. Um, you can do gemstone pendants. You can do so much. And if you, oh, Josephine, she's had six. She's like two ninety nine. That's better than half price. So that's buy one, get one free and a saving, isn't it? Buy one, get one free. Um, and you're saving 99, well, a pound on top. So that's not bad going at all. I'm going to get it out of the box just so you can see what it's like. It's a two-part epoxy putty. Let me try saying that. Okay. So it's two parts. Oh, have you got something to show you? Because just in case you're thinking, hang on, I can't work out what... There you go. So that's... Um, so that's polymer clay, though, isn't it? Yeah, that's polymer clay. Slightly different. Um, but, but again, type in milliput ring. Again, if you've made something... So if you've made something, will you just message, just show us in? Because it, it, um, it's a two, you have to mix the two parts, hence why it's a two-part epoxy putty, okay? And you mix the two parts in equal measure. And I'm just trying to see if it's got, oh, here we go. On the back, my lovelies, it'll tell you exactly what to do. So it's a two-part, you have to mix the two. And if you look here, mix equal quantity of the two sticks by rolling and kneading so as if you're making a dough, you know, with your bread, for at least seven minutes. It takes a while. Uh, it's the most important part when you're mixing super fine white milliput as the sticks are the same colour. So the milliput becomes rock hard in three to four hours, and that's normal room tape temperature. So again, when it gets hotter, it's different when it's cooler. But again, if you go to www. In fact, we could do that. So www.milliput... Is it .com? Yeah, milliput.com. 
you can then understand just how brilliant Milliput is and what you can actually do with it. So £2.99, I have got people buying, last three people have bought three each. Pat said, now there's a lot of jewellery makers coming in here, a lot of crafters coming in here. A crafter in Cheshire has just bought five. My lovely friend Margot up in five, she's just bought one as well. Congratulations, everybody. £2.99 on your milliput. It's the super fine white. And again, a lot of people, it did start out in the, um, in the, in the plumbing world. White domestic appliances you can work on, jewellery making, typical appliances down there. Look, if you go back on that where we were, go back where we were. I'm just going to tell you, sorry, I'm talking to the team here. They're desperately trying to help you have a look. On that Milliput website, there was um, the super fine. It's the one in the middle. You click, you click on it. And if you go, to, this is what we're going to show you. So typical applications for Milliput. Um, aside from all the picture rest uh, restoration, picture frames, so you can restore your picture frames. Uh, get this right. Modelling, jewellery making, we know, because we've done that on our jewellery making um, uh, show. Uh, if you're lucky enough to have a swimming pool, you've probably got a tube of milliput already. Um, now then, you know when you get imperfections in your bath or your shower or your sink, yeah? Little cracks and things, milliput, you'll be amazed. It's one of those things that you don't know how you... You know, like when you have that secret in thing of, of WD-40 and other different things are available... They've got a secret, that's been going years, hasn't it? Secret, special in formula. They won't tell anybody, but it does so much. Milliput's the same. So it's not just jewellery making or modelling, or, or, but you can fix so many things with Milliput. At that price, do you know what I'd do? I'd get it and think, I've got a clue what I do with Milliput. And uh, get it, have a look at the milliput.com website, and then you'll go, oh my goodness me, that I wish I'd bought two. I wish I'd bought three, two ninety nine. Okay. I mean, most of you, I don't know, what, Josephine, should, can, we, can we get to the call screen? Because I don't want you to think, because if I was at home, I'd be truthful. I'd be sitting when the presenters go, oh, somebody's had 10, I think. No, they haven't. No, they haven't. Who'd buy 10? Josephine would. Josephine, sorry. Uh, I don't know if it's Gian or Jeannie. She's just bought four. Crafter's just bought three. Elaine's just bought four. Natalie's just bought three. So this is what, what, what you do. Now, you can use gloves or you can... Um, oh, screen, I'm sorry. I'm back with the milliput then. I do apologise. I thought just... Oh, right, that screen there. Did you see where it says W? That's, that's people that are bought online. So Margaret just bought online, Elaine, Patsy. The brackets is how many they've bought. I hope you don't mind us telling on you. Yeah, so Crafter there in Cheshire's just bought five. Can you do me a favour? If you have just bought, and there's any of you thinking, well, hang on, I don't know what to do. What do you use it for? What do, you know, because there's people there buying ten. Yeah? Now, all of you on the right-hand side thinking, oh, I'm not sure, it's 2 99 it's a bit of a no brain It's not even a sandwich price, is it? Well, you certainly wouldn't get, well, you know, might get cheese. You might get spam if you're lucky. Oh, dear. Now, off he went out the office yesterday, our sales manager. He went to a craft fair and he bought a sandwich. How much? £4.50 for a sandwich. You know, you can't eat Milliput, obviously. You're not allowed to. It'd be dangerous, but you know what I mean. Um, so, Milliput, uh, as we've said, fixing, modelling, sculptures, picture frames, cracks in showers, in baths, jewellery. I want you to see some of our jewellery making. Uh, in fact, if you go to our jewellery maker um, company as well, and on YouTube, when you're watching Hobby Maker back, you can do the same thing with that. And you'll be, if you just put it into YouTube, jewellery maker Milliput, you'll see demonstrations from our guest designers because we've done Milliput a few times. There you go. Um, right then, my lovelies, lots and lots of people should be 6 99 and you're getting it for better than half price. You might as well chuck another one in. Um, right, we've got some stencils. These are brilliant. Should we go the big one? We've got the big and the small. You saw that, yeah, when we put things into a show, uh, our um, schedulers and our producers and our sales managers and Liam and the team and everyone, we get what's called an image of a thumbnail. So you think, you look at your thumbnail, that's the size of the image that we get to see. So we don't know how big things are. When we think of a stencil, I don't think anybody will think of this. That's a whopper. 
Now you don't just get this one. These are, now you might recognize this as the mandala, uh, as, as the, uh, yeah, mandala. I always get mandala and mala mixed up. The mandala symbol, okay? Also, mandala. Now that's your circles, okay? Um, now Sandra was saying, obviously, how difficult circles are. You know, a full, to, ha to freehand a, a circle, well, it's so difficult. Now this shape here, what you class that as? It's like, it's, no, but the shape, it's like a, it's got like a, it's like a square circle. A squid, a squircle, a squircle, I like it. But it's a mandala again, and there's so many different sizes. But do you know what you could do? Now, I saw somebody do this on one of those, um, you know, uh, do, do up your house things like your DIY, SOS, and change your room and all that. If you've got one of those, and you, you know when you do a feature wall and you just want to freshen it up a bit, if you then had, so let's, say, let's say you had a white wall, and then above your two bedside cabinets, yeah, you wanted to have like a his and hers, or just a hers, or just a his, or who, whatever. You could then... Put that, take that stencil to the wall, paint a different colour, like a nice cerise pink or blue or whatever, and then take that stencil away and you'd have that beautiful image painted onto your wall, wouldn't you? That'd be lovely, that, wouldn't it? Oh, I love that idea. You might, now don't worry if you think that's a bit big because we've got smaller ones. Now, half the stock is available. I hope you can see through. Ooh. Now, I'm playing, I'm playing here. I don't know whether you, could you do things like that? Is that, can you see that through there? Ooh. Oh yeah, you couldn't, oh Zena, have a chat with yourself. Can't reuse the stencil then, can you? Could stencil onto the acetate, but everybody's got Zena. Could you put that, this is gonna sell out by the way, and you, oh, do you wanna see the little one so you can see the, that meant you want to see the comparison. <laughs> Looked like him off the office, didn't it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> right, just to give you an idea of the difference of the sizes. So we've got these coming up. They're the same design, but smaller. But they're still big, big stencils when it, when it comes to stencils, aren't they? So again. Now one of the, now apparently, if you're a regular of buying stencils, you would expect to pay for each of those. What? You might get that one for $9.99. Could I just bet, you know these two uh, that we've got 20 by 20 centimetres, they're now £2.50 and £2.49 a piece. For both of them. Now, the other ones have nearly gone, so if you do want the large and the small, you need to pop this in your basket. Remember, it's one post and packaging all day long. And for most of us, uh, sort of, you know, on the main bit of the United Kingdom, it's £3.95. OK? 0800 001 is our free phone number to our UK-based call centre. In fact, they're sat on our red up there. 24 hours a day. Now, I used to work late, right? So by the time I got home and like had a hot chocolate or a, you know, whatever, I'd normally ring and place my orders about two, three o'clock in the morning because I used to present a late show on one of the other channels. And do you know, I have never, ever spoken to any member of our call team over 10 years and never got a grumpy one. I was, even, even at two o'clock in the morning, hello, can I? And I'm thinking, it's two o'clock in the morning, what are you doing? You think you would expect somebody at that time to go, mm, hello, yeah, what do you want, what do you want? No, I'm like, gosh. So we just, they are really lovely and they care. And you can tell that when a call centre cares. You can tell. You can tell when they can't as well, can't you? And there's none of that automated, you know, when you've got literally got to give your bra size and your measurements and who your dad is and your mum's maiden name to get through a call line. None of that. Just straight through. £4.99 for both. Well, I've got a question. Could you, you know, the embossing powder that we've got, could you, could you... Could you do that through, through stenciling? Corinne's just walked past from Crafter's Companion. I'll do it. going to do an impression of her. Can you? She walked behind the camera. She went. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just thought that. I mean, thank you, Corinne. In through it. In through it. Yeah, that's what. Because I'm just thinking, imagine, right, you want some glitter. You want some glitter design. 
like in a bathroom or something. Oh, that's a good, I want some in my bathroom. I can't find a picture I like. So imagine you have some of that. Bubbles as well for your bathroom. <laughs> so. Now then, we've got a wow trios per pot. These are designed by um, Catherine. Now, Catherine is a really, Catherine Pooler is a really well-known and respected crafter uh, and designer. She's uh, from America. This is a bundle of her uh, embossing powders and they're all inspired by her. What you've got, let me get them out. Look at these. I bet, oh. yeah, can I show you, can I show you, can I show you? Let's have a quick, oh, we've got to be quick on this. Is it 4 99 4 for all three? Come here, you. Right, wait till you see this, okay? Oh. <laughs> now, obviously, for your, for, your, for your beautiful card making as well, look, wait till you see this, you. Hello. Oh. You could put this in the shaker. Could you put this in the shaker cards as well? Or not? Is it embossing powder? Yeah. Not, you wouldn't, no. Okay, thank you, Carl. I'm just, so I'm learning, aren't I? But that, uh, this one is your peppermint scrub. No, you wouldn't, you, but look, look. With those stencils as well. They would look well with the, 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 um, the butterfly kisses, wouldn't they? Yeah, do you want to see the last one? Let me just open it up because you can't not, can you? Just quickly, this is sage. Oh, you're all in. We can't resist a bit of glitter, can we? We cannot, and they talk about giving it the wow factor. It's aptly named, isn't it? That is £4.99 for three pots on the uh, embossing powders, okay? So £4.99, you're getting all three of those fantastic... Hello, Richard. Um, we've got people coming in at me left, right and centre for the bit of, bit of bling. You've got to have a bit of bling, haven't you? It's not a bit of bling, though. So if you actually look at the amount in those pots, that's a heck of a lot you're getting, isn't it? Yep. Right then, my lovelies, well done, well done. Do be quick on those, though, my lovelies, because it is absolutely last of stock. Good news is, after the break, I will be joined yet again by the amazingly talented Corinne of Crafter's Companion. Lots more treats, lots more demos, and lots more bundles as well. We'll see you shortly. <laughs> Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobby Maker. <gasps> I almost forgot! We've got a brand new show starting on Hobby Maker, Monday to Friday from 6am until 8am, featuring loads of new things. The Early Bird Special, a special offer only available during the Wake Up to Hobby Maker show, Who the Hobby Maker Are You? A slightly extended interview with our guest designers, Help Me Hobby Maker, encouraging you to email in with all of your crafting queries, and a sneak peek, the final 20 minutes of the show, letting you know what's coming up later on in the day. So don't forget to join us. Set your alarms, 6 a.m. until 8 a.m. on Hobby Maker. I think I'll get five more Zs in. When you purchase anything on Hobby Maker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee, meaning that you can shop with confidence. Happy shopping with Hobby Maker. Here at Hobby Maker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day you still will only be charged one p and p shopping made simple with hobby maker hobby maker are live from 1 p.m to 6 p.m every day on sky channel 670 freesat channel 807 and freeview channel 73. you can also watch on youtube via some smart tvs your computer and phone 
easier to watch Hobby Maker. You can join us on Sky, Freeview, on our website or on YouTube. So you can watch at home or on the go. Here at Hobby Maker, we love seeing what you've been making and it's our job to keep you inspired. So how does a £100 credit to your Hobby Maker account sound? Every month, we're going to be giving away a £100 credit to one lucky Hobby Maker's account. And all you have to do to enter is simply send a photo of your crafty makes to studio at hobbymaker.co.uk. We will be picking one winner each month at random and we'll announce the lucky winner on air in the 5pm show on the last Saturday of every month. So what are you waiting for? Get crafting, get motivated and get inspired with Hobby Maker. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. afternoon we're having 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 <laughs> having <laughs> honestly sometimes you just can't get your teeth in i have got in front of me here from crafters companion oh my days craft kit heaven these boxes are just beautifully beautifully put together and the variation everything you need is in these boxes and more and we've got a box that Corinne uh, from Crafters Companion, you, you've got here, and it's called Box 50. Now, it's you number 50. them all, don't yes, you? Yes, yes. And this one, Box 50, is all about paper piecing. It tells us on the box what it is. So this is paper piecing. You might, we did some paper piecing with dies recently, and this is our craft box all about paper piecing. You'll often see they follow a theme with our dies. So perhaps it's just your introduction to paper piecing, or perhaps you want to just extend your paper piecing a little bit further. So maybe, you know, this is your, your intro. And I'm going to show you lots of little bits and show you where you can get help and support as well for Could it. I Ask. So if I'm watching now thinking yes. paper piecing. Yes. What is that? Piecing is okay, not piercing. Right. Piecing. Piecing. So what I'm going to show you, this is going to be my first demo that I'm going to be making. Ooh. So look at this. So can you see this gorgeous rose on the front? Yeah. I'm going to show you how to make this in a minute. Okay. So what we've done is we've used the die to cut the black outline, like a stained glass effect, you know? Right. We'll use that. Then we've used the same die and we've cut it out of red and green. But instead of using the outline, the black outline, what we've done so that would that would look like that right. what we've then done is all the bits remember i was saying yesterday about all hold the bits and release hold and release sheet that was we've it kept all of the little pieces that normally would fall out of your die and we've pieced them back in so paper piecing oh. so you're piecing the pieces back in and it's a it's it's a bit of a way of coloring your die cuts Oh, Not everybody likes to colour, so we're going to do it like that. And I'm going to show you lots. Let's have a look. So if, let me just grab these on here. Are you going to show everything so, that's in the box as well? I will in a minute. So Brilliant. I've got some samples here that we have made with this gorgeous rose from the box kit. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? That's and stunning. everything that you might want is in the oh, kit. We've got this one too. Get sentiments as well. Uh, yeah, there's stamps in there as well. Brilliant. Look at that. Oh, now that one, we've just used our own black card to put it on oh, there. So, you know, you can yeah. use that. Colouring it different ways. Oh. Can you see how you can? And there's also the butterfly in the box as well. Now, isn't that pretty? Oh, that is lovely. So, so pretty. That's gorgeous, isn't it? So we're going to show you how easy this is to do. And the paper piece hold and release sheets are also included in the box. Enough to get you going. But I would, my top tip would be add in some extra packs. So your yes. packs, and I'll show you these are your hold and release sheets. And these are sheets, and I'm going to show you as we go through it, of low adhesive, sheets of low adhesive. Yes. So you can run it through, but you can actually then peel it back off. Ready and they're all staying in position. And they're, but they're staying in position. I'm Brilliant. going to show you exactly how it works in a minute. OK. While yep. you're getting ready, should I just show a couple of yes. these as well? Is that all right? Just to give you some lovely inspiration, just while Corinne gets, uh, gets ready. 
We've got here again from our from our lovely uh, from the design team at Crafters Companion some lovely look at that. Fluffy. Oh, the team are really loved you giving them a shout out on I the last show. That. It's already so on our Facebook on our Facebook pages. Well, so. I just think we should because for, you know for those of us that it's all very well getting these boxes and all these things, but you know yes. they obviously your designers are so talented and, and you know I, I, I'm I'm mesmerised and amazed every day at just how much how much variety and detail yes. and variation and you know it's just incredible is that the 3d glue you used earlier would that have been used no i think no? on that okay. one i've used foam but i can see down the side and i can see foam pads but oh, foam I pads or 3d yeah. glue okay yeah um just quickly as well so oh, that's the little shiny bits no that's not glue they're um they're the they're gems. gems and they're in the box yeah Dew, dew drops, we call them. Dew drops. Oh, oh, I'm really glad you took. But I think it's important, and you have to thank people because they've taken the time to put all these lovely designs together for for us, and it's important. Mm. So should we have a look at box 50? Yeah. Yeah. Right, OK, I love this. I'm going to show you. So just remember, this box hasn't been seen anywhere else yet already. You are the first people oh. to see this box. It's not even been on Crafters TV. Now, oh. if you look at the side of the box, the, uh, it says 50. All of our boxes are numbered because you said to me a minute ago, how will I know? Yeah. Now, I have mine all on the shelf at home, all like that stacked up so I can just see the numbers at the end. Oh, that's a good idea. So, yeah, they're brilliant. I would wholly recommend for a while storing everything in there. Yeah. It's all in there. It's all ready to go. So we've got some examples of sorts of things you could do on the front of the box. And as I always say, you might start out just thinking, oh, I'm going to make the card this way. Yeah. But by the time you're finished, it always changes. Yeah. <laughs> but so it's a little bit of inspiration. So then when we open the box, first of all, you've got a little bit of a foreword on here from Sarah. So you've got all that. Now, the okay. other thing you've got, and I'm going to put it down here, is you've got full instructions on how to do this. And there are a couple of tutorials from our Craig, yeah. our lovely Craig, and he's already he's made a couple of projects to show you. Fabulous. So, yes, you're going to see me do this now. You're going to see our other experts use these on our Crafters TV. But if you miss those, they're on, oh, that's great. They're on our um, website. So they'll be there forever. So oh, that's brilliant. brilliant. Now, I love... The way the boxes come they are if you want them as a gift if you know somebody that's into crafting getting into crafting or maybe you know could do with a new hobby this is perfect because look at this everything comes they're always beautifully gift wrapped they are nice. lovely so you've got your little thank you and you open it out now everything comes i've got mine out of here because it takes time but every item comes in its own individual little pouch so this says printed paper on here look you oh, can see that lovely. then you've got your colored card and you can see your stamps everything is all in little packets but i thought you might like to Love see that. right i'm going to just drop those to one side because they're my two consumer main consumables now these are the bits you mentioned these are our dew drops oh, aren't they gosh. gorgeous lovely little clear gems then you've got your not only have you got your card blanks you also have the matching envelope oh brilliant now when you look at the front of the box on here it says it makes a minimum of 16 cards it says 16 cards because that's how many cards and envelopes now dies oh, as we've talked about are your hardware dies don't wear out so these will last forever and you're going to be able to pay for piece of these as long as you keep the dies safe and well looked after okay. then you're going to be able to you're going to be able to make a lot more than 16 cards because if you're a crafter i can't believe you don't already have cards or cardstock at home now the next thing we're going to give you and these will last forever as well if you look after them are your sentiments so you've got your sentiments fluttering by just to say have a beautiful day sending you a little smile you know, dear friend hey there you're beautiful inside and out really Aww. lovely affirming messages yeah. absolutely gorgeous little pick me up yeah now we also give you three lots of three ribbon so oh, okay. you're going to see the colours in a minute and they're going to run through everything else. So you've got the, the, the minty green, the lovely yellow and the pink in the three sizes of ribbon. So you get about a metre of each one of those. So you're nine lots of ribbon. Okay. Now, this is what we've been talking about. This is your hold and release sheet. Oh, OK. So you get... Um, I can only assume you get 16 of these. So you've got, I didn't actually think to count them. So you've got these, and I'm going to show you how these work. But basically, what you've got is, there you go, lifts off really easy, even with my silly telly nails. Now, <laughs> this is, so that's your, just your carrier sheet. That is sticky, so if I show you. It's tacky, it's, is it? tacky. Yeah. Can you see it's trying to fall off my finger, but it will hold for a minute. It's low 
tack adhesive and I'll show you in a minute why that's important. And then you get your cardstock. So you get your coloured cardstock. Oh, lovely. Some lovely colours. So you, can you see where oh, those yeah. greens and the yellows and the pinks are all coming from? You also get the black because the black and the white are quite important because they're maybe what you're going to cut your main die out of. Oh, okay. And then you get some lovely patterned mm. papers. Oh, lovely. Aren't those gorgeous? Really nice. And what I love about the patterned papers, you see, this is this is crafters designing these boxes, is that the it's not font, it's the pattern size, yeah. is the right size for what you're going to do. So can you see, I've got my rows here. Now, if I had something big and blousy, mm. um, I've, you've got a paper bag down there, right at the end, you've got your vintage butterflies. This one here? Yeah. Now, I love that. It's a beautiful pat paper pad. But if you look at, if you open it up to the first design, okay, yep, first, no any problem. of the design, okay. now, can you see how big the oh, pattern yeah. is? Now, if I was to put one of these roses onto a piece of get that, lost, wouldn't it? it would get lost. Mm. Now, that's a beautiful pad, it don't is. get me wrong, and I use that all the time, but I use it for the right purpose. Exactly. So what we've done here is when we've designed these papers, we've designed them right for the sorts of projects you're going to be making. Can you see how the... the the, it's to scale, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And that's the that's where you can tell a crafter's yeah. being involved. Yeah. And then obviously, excuse that because I've already started using my box. And then here are your paper piece and die. So these have been these aren't just um, a rose and a butterfly that we've randomly thought, mm, okay, let's just make them into dice. They've been designed for paper piecing in mind. Okay. That means that we've designed the elements just right. Now, a lot of dies will paper piece, but when you actually design the die and you start off thinking about paper piecing first, yeah. you know it's going to work. It's the right size, they're not yeah. too tricky or fiddly. Yeah, or, but, yeah. You know, and you know, you know you're going to have the perfect outline and everything's going to work so well. Can I just mention as well, when, when, when Corinne's just gone through that, obviously we've got to be relatively speedy because we want demos and everything mm. else. And it's the first brand new launch. Nobody's got it before today but you. There are over 200 elements. Yeah. And have you seen your price? Are they 24 They are, yeah. So I thought they'd that? be double that. So 16 cards, just £1.50 a card, if you only made the 16 cards. But also, it's not that you've got the tutorials. You've got the tutorials, yeah. You've How much would you pay for the you've tutorials? Got the, 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 the dies forever. Mm -hmm. And the stamps, yeah. Goodness me. I know. And you know what would be nice as well? I was just thinking, sorry, you know, like it's box 50. Mm -hmm. What happens if somebody's just turning 50? Oh, yes. That would be a great lovely. gift. Yes, it would, wouldn't yeah. it? Can't be turning 200, I wouldn't think, but 50, yes. <laughs> <laughs> right, OK, so that's 24.99. You're the first person to get hold of it, but we were talking yesterday about creating experiences with people as well. Mm -hmm. And it might be a lovely thing if you know, I've got a few friends that I know, older friends that I know, you know, a little bit lonely and a little bit... But how about oh, setting up a little craft group and yeah. taking this... So, I mean, these boxes, are, I'm just thinking, there. Now, if you are part of a craft group, buy box 50 for this month's projects. And, you know, you could make Ooh. 16 cards between you. You could buy 49 for next month's projects. That's a great idea. And that idea. would be... And then 48. So you've got, an, you know, there's not usually that many people in your craft little craft group, because I go down to one in the village, and there might be about six or eight of us turn up. So we could all have a go at this, yeah. and I bet you everybody's project will come out differently. Yeah. Because you give the same items to a handful of people and they'll all create something different. But also I think since ever since, I know we don't like keep using that COVID and it's on the surge again and all the bit, but that has had a big impact on a lot of people. And I think a lot of people get more stressed, more anxious, more, you know, a lot of anxiety out there. And that's why, you know, people talk about mindfulness. But some people aren't comfortable just mm. saying, oh, well, you've got to do some mindfulness. And they're like, well, yeah, but what do I do? Because if you're busy all of the time, you're like, well, I can't just... This gives you the option of, of doing something to relax, to please yourself and others. And you've got a result at the end of, yeah. of it as well. There's something to see that you've done. Yeah. But I mean, if there's eight of you in a craft group, yeah, it's just over two pound fifty. Oh, it's just about two pound yeah. fifty per, you know, all together. But as well, if you, then, sorry, you know, to 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 all join in and do something together. Yeah, I think that's not lovely. lovely. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, mm. really lovely. What a great box. I honestly thought it'd be about fifty pounds. No. no. Wow. Wow. Um, right now, we've got two other boxes as well, haven't we? Mm. And again, we've got we've got designs from these boxes as well from your great design team. 
So far, should I shall I take the box and you can take the finished sample? Yeah, that'd be great. Right. We're going to okay. go that 49. One. I'll okay. grab that off you. Right, so this is 49. So this one is all about our 3D interchangeable scene. So our scene creator one. It's absolutely beautiful. So again, this one's going to make you 18 cards, a sort of five by five cards. And again, it's got over 200 elements. So if I just turn this around, I'll go through this one a little bit quicker. Oh, it's a wow, this is a new box. Oh, I'm going to break the seal on this one. Let me just break this. Never seal. opened. There we go. Right. So, oh, I tell you, it might actually be quicker. Right. Yeah. Can you see how everything has come together like that? So I'm going to borrow something else off you. I'm yeah, going to borrow all left? these bits. Yeah, okay. If I take these bits, yeah. it's going to be quicker go, than Blair. opening up the box. There you go. So when the box is opened up, I'll show you here. There you go. You're going to get some more of those lovely dew drops. Oh. You're going to get some pattern papers. Now, you're going to see why these papers, when, when you look with Zena at the finished samples, these are absolutely gorgeous. Oh look at that for a sky, you know, gorgeous summer sky. Look at that stormy sky. Ooh. That might be your hilly background. Then you've Very got clever. your gorgeous night backgrounds. Now, yeah, see, aren't they gorgeous? And again, look at the ribbons. So you're getting all three um, ribbon sizes. Again, Perfect for those Everything backgrounds. Everything works together though, colour Yeah, wise. it does. Then you're going to get your cardstock. So you're getting multiples of each of the cardstock, which is perfect. And then let's have a look. Oh, I think I've got more than one bit here. Right, so then you're going to have your stamps. Mm -hmm. So you've got your trees and also your sentiments. I think I've got double on here. Yes, I have. Oh, yes, it's definitely double. Oh, it's definitely doubled up. <laughs> and then you're going to get your dies. Now, this is what's so clever. So what you've got is you've got your dies that are going to cut your scenes. And then you've got this one that you put one way there and then flip it and then it will cut this lovely oh, wow. skyline. You've got the tr your houses, your smoke coming out your chimney, your clouds and your trees as well. And you've also got all of your card blanks in here, which are in here. So these are your five, um, did I say five inch card blanks? I think it yes. was yeah. just there. There you go, five inch card blanks and you'll have the envelopes as well. So Absolutely. everything, keep them in the little packets if you want to or just take them out of your packets. It's entirely up to you. So if you've got some finished samples to I have. Show, I've just so popped. people can see so what you do is you mix and match those dies around can yeah. you see on those those cards that you've got there you go and you can create these beautiful little Lovely. scenes now again you have got full instructions full tutorials on how to make things that you need to with yeah. these they're beautiful aren't they're they incredible. really absolutely lovely absolutely lovely and these are from uh, Marie Jones. Mm -hmm. She did your all design of those. Yep. She did indeed. So thank you, Marie. Lovely. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Lovely. So, right. 48 oh. next. Right. We'll do it this way again. Now, what you're going to get in here uh -huh. is you're going to get some gorgeous, gorgeous textured cardstock now i love this this is lovely because when you and it's double-sided and it's perfect for cutting your flowers out of look at the greens then you've got the pinks the corals lovely Gorgeous. lovely colors now you're going to get all of those so you get multiple sheets of those gentle you get, aren't they yeah you get these have all gone a bit skewy in the box but you're going to get all your little gems loads of little pearl gems or pearls yep you're going to get your stamps i love the size of these oh, they're a little yeah. bit bigger than previously look at that that i mean you get that whole sheet of um sentiments and you're going to see why in a minute that those sizes are relevant but look at how beautifully yeah. they stamp lovely fonts as well corinne Aren't yes, they, they really are lovely. yes now you're also going to get the um the stencils that you're going to either to cut to draw around and cut or to just draw around for creating wreaths it's going to be really okay. useful and then again we've picked out some papers now these papers have been so cleverly picked and when you see the finished samples because you've got them all lined yep. up you will see again how they are just perfect for the flowers that you're going to create because they're not going to distract they're going to enhance those back look at that look at, look at the that. wood effect behind yes. that. doesn't it work beautifully or that sort of stone effect it's letting it's putting some pattern behind without being two in your face. Yeah. Is, there's one I've just set up and I can't see from behind, but it's in a little flower box. I, I don't know. I, I have, think it might. Yeah, we'll get there in a moment. One in, second one in. Yeah, we're on our way. We're on our. And it's in a little. All the flowers are in like a little plant pot. No, there it is. Keep, keep there, going. That's, that's one, it. That's, that's it. the one. The one. No, the one with the bow on. 
the next one along. There That's, we go. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. Look. Now you might say all those flowers. So what you to be able to make all those flowers, we're also going to give you all of the flower dyes that you might need. We're also going to give you the lovely little banner die. If I lift that up so you can see oh, well. as well. Because the sentiments will fit perfectly yeah, on course. there. And, yeah. and some of the sentiments, not all of the sentiments fit on there, but some of them do fit on there. But look at that. Not only have given you the flowers, we've also given you the foliage. Now I am a bit of a stuck record, and I always say when you make flowers, you need the foliage because if you just put flowers on the front of a project whether it's a box whether it's a card whether it's home decor and you don't put any f foliage on it the flowers don't look anchored ah. they don't look right you always need foliage and it's very very rare i will do anything with flowers that i don't put some two leaves three leaves that's all you need to put on yeah. just to just anchor it down. It just finishes it off. So we're giving you the flowers and we're giving you the foliage as well. But like you say, when you you know when you get a, a, a bouquet of flowers, not only have you got the leaves on the stems, they're a big part of obviously when it goes into the arrangement. But you you well, have you ever had a bouquet of flowers from a florist that hasn't got additional foliage mm. added in? It's always there. It's isn't important, it? isn't it? And yeah. that's you know so important. Yeah. And these designs again, utterly they're so gentle. It's a mm. gentle floral it is. offering, it's lovely, isn't, isn't it? it? And twenty four ninety nine. I think these are the best, best, best gifts. And um, can we? I think I think you're going to be paying them to come to work soon because oh, you're going no. to be spending all your wages. I walked, on I walked in here with them when we were setting up, when the team was setting up. And they do a great job as well. And I saw all these boxes here, and I just went, I'm I'm not going to want to come to work. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to want to come to work. The, oh, oh, stunning. Right then, my lovely. So, can we see it? The we can, we can. Please. Right, so I've already shown you the card we're going to make and I'm going to show you how this works. So the Which first, box is this, lovely? This is 50. 50. 50. Sorry, okay. yes. The new yeah. one today. The new one, yeah. We're Great. going to go straight in with the new one. So, I've got a piece of black card. You've got black card in the box. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to pop a piece of my die onto my black card and I'm going to cut it out. So, you'll see all of the elements are perfectly designed mm -hmm. with paper piecing in mind. Now, I'm using my full sandwich of plates. So I've got all four of my plates, my two cutting plates, my magnetic shim and my plastic shim. And I'm using those completely. And you'll okay. see why I'm making that point in a minute. Now, also what you get in here is you get your um, hold and release sheets. Now, I know that this is from the pack because the font on there is a little bit smaller because we've cut it down to, they're the right size that all of these dies, these ah. two dies fit. Also on the show, we have our packs of hold and release sheets. I've obviously had this out and turned it around. So there's the packs of hold and release sheets. I can see it's slightly different because the font size is there. So these are A5 and you're going to get 10 sheets in here. Now I would say if you want anything, because you're going to get cardstock and everything, this is probably your one consumable that's going to run out. So you quickly. really want to get I would of that really, paper really piecing. consider adding in more hold and release sheets. And when you see how I use them, you'll see yeah. exactly why. And they are so clever. And you're going to have so many dies at home that you're going to be able to say, oh, yeah. Now, this is the case in point. Can you see some bits have fallen out? Yes. Some bits have stayed in my die. Some bits have fallen out. Yeah. That's fine because at this point, what I'm doing is I'm creating that, that lead from my stained glass effect. Uh -huh. Yes, if you think about it. So I don't, it doesn't matter. I don't want those. But if I wanted these, they've all fallen out. And by the time I get the rest out, let me give it a little bit of a tap. They're everywhere. How do I know where they go? Oh, the, yeah. Well, you, I think how much time it would take yeah. to put those back. Pull your hair out, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah. So, you know, there we go. I've now got, look at that. <gasps> perfectly sized. All of those absolutely wow. gorgeously sized. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to take that and then, can you remember we were saying yesterday, sticky um, dotty tape pen yes. because then I don't get any adhesive across. Although actually for this it wouldn't hurt overly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my dotty tape pen over there so I don't get, um, I don't get my cobwebs, spider webs of tape because I'm using my dotty tape pen. Really light, can you see, I'm really light, delicate yeah. touch with that. So it just does it. And you can just see that's gone all over. Oh, I can see a little bit without any dots on. And then I'm going to pop this onto white cardstock. It can be any cardstock, just a scrap of, literally a scrap of cardstock because I'm not going to see any of that white when I've finished. So if, if you've sort of trimmed other cardstock and things and you don't ever throw it away, no, keep it as spare for yeah. things like, oh, okay. So what I'm going to do then, I, I like to cut with my large scissors. So these are my um, nine inch scissors. And I'm going to come up to here and then Scissors at a 45 degree angle mm -hmm. 
and that means that I'm just slightly undercutting. Can you see? So my white won't show. So I'm just literally oh. undercutting right like that. So always, so I'm not cutting the black because the black stuck down, but my scissors are just cutting, oh, I've just come out there, underneath the black so that I don't have the white protruding. If you get any little bits that you've missed, you can just go round afterwards and just trim those off. But you can see, let me just do that. Can you see there, look, how perfect that is. Now yeah. go all the way round and you're gonna end up with that. Okay. okay, so I've got that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's my first bit. So that's my, my topper effect. Mm -hmm. So let me get rid of all these bits because what we're going to do then. So all those bits that fell out and went everywhere. Now, what I want to do is I want to put in red and green. Okay. So I've got a um, piece of green cardstock and I've got a piece of red cardstock. So these are the pearlescent, so Christmas green and cherry. Is that what we had earlier mm -hmm. when we were doing yeah. the... Centura pearl. Buy four, five. Pay for four and you get a fifth free. Yeah, yeah. Christmas Brilliant. green, cherry. Okay. Yeah. So what you then do is you then pop that on. So all I would do is I showed you in this. I take off the top piece. Come That's off the hold really, and release sheet. Yeah, hold and release. Okay. And these are the ones in the box. Take that completely off and stick it to the back of the cardstock. I've already done it to here. But I want to show you, look, even though it's been stuck on, I can still separate ah. it. Can you see? Because it doesn't grab too hold, okay. too hard. It's mm -hmm. just grabbing gently. So I can put that back on. Now, the Gemini is the best die cut, my humble opinion, the best die cutting machine on the market and it'll cut through most things that you give it. Okay. Now, I don't want this to cut through. I want it to cut through the green, but I'd rather it didn't cut through my hold and release sheet because oh, okay. I want everything to do. Uh -huh. So I'm going to pop my die back on there, um, oops, grab a piece of tape and put mm -hmm. that on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove my magnetic shim. And it's then the shim, is the, shim oh. the magnetic one. Mm -hmm. So I've now still, I've got three plates instead of four. So I'm going to cut through there. So we've made, that's thicker than normal cardstock because it's got the hold and release sheet underneath and it's got the cardstock and it's got the die. Right. So I've already made it a bit thicker, but I've taken out one of my plates. And that's what makes a difference. That's what makes a difference. If you leave the magnetic shim in, it might go through and then you almost defeat the point. Right. So you can do that. So now if I turn this over, no die cuts on the back. Ah, Can you see it yes. hasn't cut through at all? But if I take this off and go through there and then go through here, right, I'll do it this way because this is the easiest way. This is how I usually do it. Okay. What I would normally do is then take off my first layer. Now, normally I would do it so it's a little bit bigger than the hold and release sheet so you've got something to peel off. So look oh, at how easy that peels my goodness. off. Goodness. Now, you've now got your shape and I want the, I, I don't want the, black out, you know, the, we have the black outline. So uh -huh. I'm actually going to take this off. And I now, I then find I get a whole stash of these pieces oh. because this will, oh, let's make sure that one stays down. Sometimes they start to lift. And if they do, I just pop them back down. But can you see it's cut through the green? Yeah. Uh, oh, I've just caught a bit there. Let me just, let's make, right. It's cut through the green, but it's not cut through the hold and release sheet. Oh. So just, oops. If any pick up with the cover, because this is Centura Pearl, this is probably as challenging as it's going to get because Centura Pearl's got a coating on. So if it'll go through this, it'll go through anything, I can promise You've you. You've got the most tricky one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we okay. can pop this through here. And can you see all my pieces oh. are staying where they want to be. Gosh, now, it's invaluable, that holding yeah. release. Because I'm rushing this, I've actually ripped this piece, but this is scrap anyway. But yeah. very often those will just stay whole as well so you've actually got those to use on another one if you mm. want and the reason i've done that is because what i will do now i'll bring this down and i've also got it in the red which i've, I've done previously mm -hmm. and we can do that and i'll just see if i can how quickly can i get that to come off just there there we go see look at how quickly yeah this is one where sometimes being sl doing it slowly doesn't help less now. haste there we go say, look at that yeah. that's I could use that on another project now Lovely. can you see yeah that look that's just kept that's actually waste for now so I've got those two I then get my tacky glue which I've got in my little dispenser because we sell these I don't know oh, if you've brilliant. seen these these are brilliant no I've not seen these. and what we want to do is I'm going to put some glue on here now tacky glue gets tackier after about 30 seconds or so so I can put my glue on there and then I just tend to just lift them and release them. But then this is where your tweezers are brilliant. So I'll then get my tweezers 
and I can pop them in. Now, I haven't had to think, where does that go? Because I can actually bring that right up to my hold and release sheet and um, it's in the right place. Can you see? Yeah. I, if I could actually pick it up. There we go. I can see. Oh, that didn't stick to me. There we go. I can pop that one into there just like that. So that will then pay. See, those is there. So I can see exactly yeah. which ones. I'm not, I've not got, can, you remember when the black came out? Yeah. I'll just rip that, let me just get that bit off, there we go. When that black came out, how, if I was using those to paper piece, mm. how long would that have taken me to sort out? Oh. Because they were everywhere, weren't they? So again, with the red. Now, I'm only doing this with um, a single colour, but I think you had some finished samples where our know. design team had, co had coloured in the, the rows with two or three different colours worth of um, co colours worth of cards. You know, so you can actually create shading and lots of effects. There's so yeah. many. I've just I've had to put them all out. <laughs> I've just they're just too lovely not yeah. to put out. Aren't they gorgeous? So now you see, I can then come in with the reds, and then they just fit in. So I've just literally pop these in out of here lifting them up and can you see how easy they come off the hold and release sheet mm. and then we can then do that one take that one off and then pop on to there so I could keep on going with that but I want to do you a few demos today so oh, I'm yes, going to show please. can you just see yeah. that's the finished effect and so all I've done is I've just literally taken that to now this is a brilliant thing I love with these I could have cut those and had it like that mm. and I could have had them all in a little bag so I could sell those as a kit oh yeah of course. I could I could cut it out I could have you know cut out the black one I could have cut out those and I could give them to someone as a kit that'd be perfect yeah but also if I was going away I could cut these like this and I know that the pieces will stay where I want them to oh. until I get to wherever I'm going to do my crafting so, you know, if, I, if, I, if these were all loose pieces, you can guarantee that by the time I got to my craft group or yep. to the caravan or to my holiday, I would have lost pieces. Yeah. Whereas this, they're going to stay. Now, you asked me yesterday, can these release sheets be used again? This hasn't cut through, so possibly yes, but they've been designed to be used once. Mm. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to say they've been designed to be used once. If you if you choose to use them a second time, then you might likely go through, and then the pieces are just going to scatter, and then you've yeah, you've it's not lost worth the, the risk, is it? No, absolutely not. I think as well, like you said about caravans and things, if you're on like an unsteady surface and, and you're on, let's say, I don't know, a, a narrow boat mm -hmm. or something like that on the river, that those hold and release are ideal for that as well. Yes, yeah, it just perfect. Not move about, is it, it doesn't, does it? Yeah. So we've taken one of the card blanks out of the. Um, out of the box mm -hmm. and we've just cut half of the front off so i'm going to use my all-purpose glue because there's no um just got black card and one of the lovely papers because there's no um coating on my card stock so i can use this so this is actually will give can you see there look yeah. at that shiny it's um it will then um it means that when it's dry it'll be even more robust so i can pop that onto there so mm -hmm. i've just done a little bit of the matting and layering in advance mm -hmm. put this one over then I've got the same to go on the front so that will go on here pop that one just there put that there we go put that on there then I can get my gorgeous flower mm -hmm. so we can pop this at whatever height we wanted let's go like that I think I want to put that on with foam pads so I'm going to grab a couple of foam pads oh whoops Size foam pads have I got here? This will work. I think that'll look really nice. So all I need to do is remember it's just below that line. So I'm going to put my finger there just so that I've got a line. I can put that one there. Let's cut that one in half uh -huh. and put that one just there. There we go. And then we can, oops, oh, that took, came off. Didn't mean that to happen. Come on. There we go. Take those off and then we can pop that one just on here now as we said you've got stamps in the um, box mm -hmm. so sending you a little smile let's put that one on there Aww. and then we can put down here dear friend again all of these stamps are in the box and we've just you know added in a little bit of our own um, white cardstock multi-purpose and how Aww. lovely is that 
That's absolutely gorgeous. Really, really pretty, isn't it? It's beautiful. And like you said, it, it, it's, it's those little dew drops. It's the texture. It's And actually, something... I, I, I had a little feel... This sounds weird, but I had a little feel of the paper piecing on these cards. And it's got a lovely... It's very slightly... It's almost just... like uh, quilted. Yeah, it's got yes. a lovely feel to it. Very yeah. tactile, those are. Yeah. Really lovely. And I hope you've seen all of this incredible offering by, again, the crafting uh, Crafters Companion team. Just incredible. And this one here that uh, Corinne showed you earlier, she's got the, they've got the flower on there. But again, if you turn it around the dew drops, if you turn that sort of H card around... You got a message on the back as well? Yes, yeah, lovely, isn't it? Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. Absolutely. 20. I still can't get over the price. 24 99 I really can't. It's incredible. Thank you uh, My pleasure. for that demo. Um, now then, little short break, and it's going to be minuscule. But afterwards, we've got a uh, rather fabulous dye bundle offering, mm, haven't we? So we have. We'll, we'll see you in less than a minute. <laughs> Hobby Maker are live from 1 pm to 6 pm every day on Sky Channel 670, Freesat Channel 807, and Freeview Channel 73. You can also watch on YouTube via some smart TVs, your computer, and phone. Welcome to our exciting and brand new shopping channel, Hobby Maker, dedicated to crafting. We'll be working with some of the biggest brands in the industry, which means you can look forward to highly skilled crafters, demonstrations and great products at great prices. We'll be bringing you a mix of paper craft, mixed media, resin, candle making and so much more from our expert guests. So let's get crafting with Hobby Maker. Here at Hobby Maker, we love seeing what you've been making and it's our job to keep you inspired. So how does a £100 credit to your Hobby Maker account sound? Every month, we're going to be giving away a £100 credit to one lucky Hobby Maker's account. And all you have to do to enter is simply send a photo of your crafty makes to studio at hobbymaker.co.uk. We will be picking one winner each month at random and we'll announce the lucky winner on air in the 5pm show on the last Saturday of every month. So what are you waiting for? Get crafting, get motivated, and get inspired with Hobby Maker. Hello, lovelies. We've got a lovely treat for you now. Actually, we've got a lovely tweet for you now. <laughs> You'll see why in a minute. Uh, so we've still got our wonderful Corinne from Crafters Companion on the show. She's going to get another fantastic demo. We have got from the Create a Card range, um, Birds in Love. Now, this is brand new today, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Birds in Love. Now, this includes the, the dies. We've also got, um, it's a complete bundle, and it's from the Create a Card range. And if I can just sh show you these here, these birds in love. We've got some different designs coming up for you. Brand new today. Now, the hold and release uh, sheets that Corinne was just demonstrating, you're also going to get 20 of those as, oh, shall I get them the, uh, try and get them up. You get, sorry, 10 of the sheets, I do apologise. 10 of the hold and release sheets. And you've got the um, the different. Is there ten separate dies yes, in there? Yes, because it's two. The, well, not in that. In that birds one, yeah. there's, two, there's two. But you get in the other four sets at the side of you. All in this. Yeah. So you've got the sheets, the dies, oh and my. those are the four sets. Dies. Oh, hang on a second. Oh, I need more hands. You do. So each packs of two. So you got uh, radiant roses. Okay, yep. so hot, sorry about that, Corinne. I do apologise. So radiant roses. You've got happy bees. Oh, let me move those over for you there. So happy bees. We've also got uh, trailing florals. Okay. And you've also got butterflies and blooms. So it's a bundle. There's 20 pieces in the bundle from the Creator Card range. You've got all those five different dies. Uh, brand new Birds in Love and 10 of the Hold and Release cards as well. That's a heck of a bundle, isn't it? Wow. Unbelievable. So there you are. This is your... And if you notice notice there, look, it says With Love. They're having a little kissy-kissy on the front, those, aren't they? They are. They're in love. Oh, nice to be in love. And I love, look at that down there. 
absolutely gorgeous. So this is your paper pe uh, say it again, paper piecing, which is the demo that Corinne's just done with the creator card. And I love that. Just what a simple sentiment creator card. And the thing is, when you see all these lovely cards and these demonstrations that Corinne's been doing. I don't think I'll ever want to go in a station shop and buy a card again. You just wouldn't. These are so They're lovely, aren't they? magnificent. They really are. Um, so I'll just go through those again. Ten of you hold and release the larger sheets there. Oh, shouldn't help if I had it the right way around, wouldn't it? There you go. So that's what Colin's just been using. Okay, with that demo. And then the birds in bloom, absolutely brand new. Okay. Now we are going to offer each of them on their own individually, but again, if you want the saving, it's the bundle code, which is MS2068. This isn't the price you're paying today. Absolutely not. So I'm going to keep the birds in love in, in show because it's absolutely brand new. We've got the, um, that's not your buy price. Butterflies and blooms. Watch the magic arrows of happiness as they take your buy price down to a very affordable $45.99. So that's 10 dies. Yep. 10 dies. And we've popped the, so the dies, just, just so out of all of all of those components, okay, so you've all of those, 10 are forever dies, and 10 is your hold and release sheets. Mm. So that's the only sort of con consumable consumable yes. so to speak yeah all of these if i just pop up you've also got your um radiant roses and your trailing florals all of that's to keep yeah yeah that's incredible it's good isn't it isn't it yeah so all of that and again you can buy each of these components individually but all of that and split pay so if you're thinking oh is that going to cost me to pay over two two sets of months no it isn't it doesn't cost you anything extra but hopefully, because this is the thing, isn't it? When you look at all the Crafter Companion treats, I just walked in here and said, there is every single one of them I'd buy. How, how do you choose? So, but the, the way you choose, in my mind, is actually you go for the bundle deals, mm. obviously, primarily, because that's where you get more for less money. Mm -hmm. That's... Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. And, yeah, brilliant price. When you work out, you would have paid seven ninety nine for your hold and release sheet. So if you take your seven ninety nine off there, it's thirty eight pounds for all five die sets. Wow! And these should be nine at least nine ninety nine each. Yeah, so it? that's working so that's... out at less than eight pound a set. Yeah, because that's fifty pounds for the dies. Did you just say nine ninety nine for that? Seven ninety nine. Seven ninety nine. Yeah. Gosh, so we're nearly sixty pounds. Yeah. Wow. So or each of those, you bought them individually. And is it, is, it's the birds that are brand new, isn't it? Yes. yes. It's, it's exclusive here. It, You'll oh. never see it anywhere else. Oh. It's not just new, it's exclusive. Oh, so it's new launch today and exclusive. Yeah. So they've seen the other. Some, in some places, they might have seen some of the other dies. Okay, yeah. But they've never seen this bundle because they've never seen birds in love before. Oh, that's wonderful. So that, again, so if, and can people, once they've, if they get these kits and they make these cards, can they, if they wanted to, sell them? Of course they can. They can? Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Full angel policy, you can do that. But no isn't that problem. wonderful that nobody else, unless you buy from Hobby Maker, nobody else anywhere will have this design? No. It's That's great, cool, it? that is, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, I think everybody's going, because this is exclusive to all of you today, you can buy everything individually and top up on the hold and release sheets. Um, could we see the brand new exclusive? I think we should, shouldn't Birds we? Birds in Love, yeah. please. Yeah, yeah. Now, all of them work in exactly the same way, so I'll show you this. So you get in your two dies, as we said, on each set. So you get your frame on the outside, and then you get your die up for the middle. Now, there's no cutting blade going all the way around the outside, so if I cut that one on its own in a piece of card, it'll cut into my cardstock. Right. So it'll just cut lovely into my cardstock. So I could have the decoration in my cardstock. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to use my magnetic shim for its best. So I'm going to pop, let's do it that way around, put my magnetic shim down first, uh, my, mag, my die down first, and then I'm going to hold that. So I don't need any tape because I'm using my magnetic shim to hold everything in place. So then I can then pop that with those two on there. And then let's make sure it's still in line. So I've got 
my cardstock over the top of my dies and I'm going to run that through. So that's going to give me my frame. So you know we did black on the rose. Yes. I'm now going to get the white oh, for this one. So okay. you can do whatever colour you want. It really is up to you. So this is going to come out of here and that will just pop straight out along there. And then, where have we gone? Where's it? There it is. So that will now cut oh. and then I can pop this one out of here just like oh my that goodness. that piece pops out there we go oh wow and how oh my isn't that lovely <laughs> can you see that lovely lovely thing let me see if i move that one out of the way you can see it even better let's get rid of that there we go can i ask a quick question yeah of course you can um how do you know what to sort of put in sandwich wise it through the through the through the die cutting machine? When you get your book, yeah. it'll tell you that for a regular die, it's your two cutting plates, your magnetic shim and your plastic shim. Okay. So it tells you. Now with the paper piecing sheets, me saying, take out your magnetic shim, that's experience that's taught us right. that. Okay. So that's why it's always good to watch these shows. Yep. And also if you um, watch the tutorials with the um, that we've done, and I've done a tutorial for these dies for when they originally released. Right. It doesn't include the birds. I used the radio, I did it with the radiant roses. roses. Yeah. Um, yeah, I did it for the Radiant Roses and I showed on there to take out your magnetic shim. Oh, okay. So always look on Crafter's Companion because we always do tutorials. Brilliant. So I've got this here. Now, I thought I brought a piece of acetate and that's what I was just rooting, I, you know, I was rooting around a few minutes ago and I couldn't find it. So what I want to do before I start there is I'm going to come in with some of my inks mm -hmm. and I'm going to get, let's go, I'm going to come in with, I've got quite a few on here. And I haven't brought, so I'll do it with these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my inks. I've got my little daubers on the back. And I'm just going to, and I'm doing it by hand, and I'm just going to colour the, um, the paper. Oh. Now, I could have these white, but I just want to colour them in. And I want them to be, I don't want them to be like a harsh colour. I want them to be sort of a bit, so, you know, come a bit, a bit lighter in places and a bit harder. I'm going to come orange up here. Now, what is always useful is I've got a piece of this and I'll often have a scrappy bit of card so that when I'm doing this, I can cover up the bits where I don't want the colour to be. Does that make sense? Oh, so, yes, you know, you don't, you don't go over in the wrong place. So where I've got that, then I can come back in with the yellow and then I can just blend those Aww. two together. <laughs> and then I would, so let me put that one back under there. And that one under there. I always put a little um, piece of Velcro under there because I, you've always got the backing. And then I put my phone, my oh, dauber ones on there. So you know those fit onto your daubers. Oh, the green's not there. So you know those fit onto your daubers just like that. Yeah. Well, so that you've got the right one with the right ink pot. That's a great idea. Oh, that's something I've always done. So, but because I'm doing these um, smaller ones, I'm just doing it by hand. Or oh, you've got your finger daubers, and I appear to have left mine. I was had to bring so much stuff. Yeah, because I'm I'm also going straight up to Crafters TV as we finish this show or this, these two hours. So I've had to pack for those as well because I'm demonstrating on there, and oh. I've left my, I've left my finger daubers behind. I'll well, tell you why. Yeah. Because I got some new stories that I was starting to fill up and I was ah. like, oh, what can I put in there? And I was, I've obviously put my finger daubers in there and then not thought to bring them with me. But never mind. We can make it work. So can you see how I'm colouring oh, yeah. these in? I'm not going to necessarily do them all now, but just to show you. So that's going to go there. And then I want to put that back on here, a bit of pink. And I'm going to go in the flowers. And you'll see why, why I'm doing it like this in a minute, because we are going to paper piece. And we can come in with the flowers just here and just there. There we go. And pick those up just like that. Let's do that one. So I'm going to do the reverse of what I did before. And I'm going to just put that over there. And then I can colour that here. Then what I found was the easiest way with the branches is I just got my brown pen. Oh, before I do that, I'm going to come round his little feet. I'm just going to look, they've got little feet there. Can you see? <laughs> yeah. There we go. I'm just going to colour in his little feet. Just one there. And that is his other little foot just there. And this one is just here. Look, you can just see. Look at their little claws Aww. rather than feet. That's probably a better word. 
just there we go just put that like that and then with the branches I would just come in with one of my pens so this is the pen and again this is where your piece of scrap comes in really handy because mm -hmm. what I do is I put that onto there and then I can just colour up to there just like that and I do all the branches the same way okay. and I would do all of the other little bits and I'm going to show you one that's finished in a minute but we can colour down just like that now if you wanted to do this in black it would look nice but I just wanted to create a different yeah. effect what so you can see that that you're using? this is one of our classic pens right so this is one of our alcohol pens you know we were looking at the boxes yesterday yes. so this is just one of our classic pens so I've just used natural brown EB2 okay. so Thank I just you. do all of the rest of the branches that way and once I've done that and actually I think the one I this one I prepped at home I did it after I stuck it onto the acetate so I'm going to pop piece like little dots on here so we're still doing exactly as we did before Oops. and then we can pop that on there now the other good thing is when we start to put um when we put the glue on you know when I did the rose and we put the glue on to put the little pieces in mm. if you haven't got all of these stuck down as long as you've got round the edges done well I actually find that the glue from the paper piece in holds any bits down that you've missed oh, okay. so don't don't get too hung up about it as long as they're not flapping around and moving they will stick down so that's going to go onto a piece of acetate just let me just line it up with this corner save me having to cut too much and that's going to go on just like that and then I can oh. then just trim down my acetate uh -huh. to fit just like that. So I've just had to pull this off an old demo because I thought I'd cut another piece, but I can't find it. There we go. So we've got this. And can you see now? Oh, yeah. We've got there. So let's just press all of those bits down. Uh -huh. Now, we want to paper piece this. Oh, did you say you had a question? So Margaret in Kent has said, um, hello, Margaret, by the way. Thank you for your question. She says, can you use these dies with the Gemini MIDI? Or oh, you mentioned those earlier, didn't you? Yes. Now, the MIDI, these dies will go perfectly through the MIDI. Just put them inside the folder. Now, when you put your paper piece release sheets, um, I'm, it might try to cut through them. Um, hopefully not, but you can't take the pressure off. That's the only thing with the MIDI, because it's a folder system right. rather than the plates. But have a go. It'll definitely cut them. It'll cut them like a dream. It's just whether it will go through your hold and release sheets. Right. Um, that's sort of trial and error. But even if it does, it will probably hold. It probably won't go 100% of the yeah. way through. So you should be able to keep them roughly okay. where you need them to be. So yeah. So give it a go. I'm just trying to get all the bits out because I need to cut it again. This I is the thing. I tell you what, Margaret. To help everybody else with the Gemini MIDI. Obviously, if you do try it, would you would you mind messaging? back in and letting us know yeah that'd be really that interesting would be good it? wouldn't it okay so i'm going to get one of my sheets and i'm going to take this and i'm going to just cut it to the size of my die mm -hmm. so we only need to use as much as the as the die so i'm going to take lift that up and i'm going to take this there we go so remember that's sort of your low your low tack yeah and then we're going to pop this onto here now can you see i've actually made the card stock a little bit bigger yeah i find that easier actually so all i want to do now is make sure that's over the hold and release sheet so i can feel that's over the release sheet and then put a piece of tape on and i'm going to put my tape on there because that's the waste right and then i'm going to run, take my magnetic shim out like we said uh -huh. and then run that through my die cutting machine and so this is doing exactly like we did before so, you know, nothing different. And I'll show you another thing. So you don't have to use more hold and release sheets than you actually need to. So let me just get this one through and then I'll show you. So you might not, you know, let craft, craft supplies cost. Can you see it's not gone all the way through, which is absolutely perfect. It's not gone through. So we can take this off. I always go carefully in case any bits. And can you see that's held? So what I can now do is because I've left that bigger, I can peel that away. Oh. And do you see I didn't use the outside die? Because yeah. I don't need to. And I can now oh. peel. And I'm just going carefully because this has got lots of little filigree bits. But actually, what this the pink is my flowers. So I'm as I get into the flowers, I'm just looking carefully 
at the flowers to make sure that the pieces are staying on there. There we go. Just, you almost like roll it, if that makes sense. Yeah. Roll it away. And you can see all of those pieces stay exactly where I want it to be. Now, what did I say? Ah, look, keep these, because yeah. look at that. Yeah. That's perfect frame Isn't for it? another project. Exactly. Perfect. Now, I want to, I'll show you the finished one. I'm going to just, I only want that much of yellow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a piece of card. There we go. And I've got a piece of my hold and release. I can cut it right down. So I'm only using this much and I'm going to put it behind here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it just under. Can you see? Mm. Can you see that the bird is over the hold and release? Yeah. So that I'm not using any more hold and release sheet than you I actually, actually need. need. So that's going to make them go further. So don't think you have to cut out the whole thing. Because I already know I only need yellow right. in that one place. OK, so just do it over that little bit. Yeah, and don't why not? Yeah. 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 Okay. The pink, I had to do it all because I need flowers from here, here, right down here. And right, do you see what I'm saying? So yeah, I yeah. needed all of those spaces. So then when I take this one out and I look at this and peel that off, there we go. I've got all of the yellow on. Oh, I see. My hold and just peel it carefully. There we go. Oh, I want that piece too. There we go. Pressing it down. If any pieces just sort of start to come out, just press them back in, just in like that. And then you can see they will then... Oops, I'm sorry, I was holding it down with my hand then. <laughs> they will start to lift out. Absolutely brilliant. There we oh. go. There we are. So I've got all of the bits. Now, what I'm going to do is do exactly like we did before. Uh-huh. Little bit of glue. And we can put... Which, is that the... Three? Tacky glue. That's the tacky glue. Tacky actually. glue. And I don't... Don't put glue across the whole thing, otherwise it'll have dried before you can do it. Right. But two or three pieces is fine because tacky glue as we say gets stickier now that has got no adhesive on okay even though we've peeled it off the the backing sheet there's absolutely no adhesive on there at all so you could you know it doesn't matter what you how you want to use them they'll be perfect because they're not sticky at the moment mm -hmm. and then we can pop that into there and we can pop that one onto here and that's going there now can you see he's starting to come to life? And then we can also do the same with the flowers. Now, if we look at these flowers, I can bring this right up to here so that I can literally transfer them from, from one to the other. So I can go one, two, three, four, all of those. And they're here now. And I can just, just literally just bend it oh and pick God. them up. And then, can you see why I wouldn't use my fingers for this? I should have picked up one that I'd already stuck coloured pink, but I haven't. Let's just pop that back in there. There uh -huh. we go. That goes there. I'm going to just lift them with my pokey tool for a minute. Okay. It might, might make it easier. Oh, come on. Silly <laughs> little one. It's flying around. And then that's going to go in there. Pokey tool to pop that down. And just that one. There we go. We've got that just there. And can you see how we can work? Now, this is so mindful. It's such a, a chilled thing to, to do, just to do this. Now, I did, the release, I did the launch of these when they first launched. I did the show with Sarah herself. And we, she was doing the peacock. And she, was, she had one all, all paper pieced up ready. So all she had to do was show a little bit like this. Yeah. And she wouldn't stop. Oh, she was just loving it. And she ended up she? paper piecing the whole of the peacock. Oh, but can you see, her. we can go from that to, oh, my goodness. to that. And that is exactly the same process. I've just coloured all the bits in and then I've just paper pieced them in. That's, and doesn't that look beautiful? It looks beautiful. It really does, doesn't it? So we can make this and we're not going to make a card this time. What we're going to do is we're going to make a box. So I love doing boxes. So piece of cardstock, mm -hmm. really easy to do. So let me don't want to lose my pin. Let me remind myself of my sizes because it was about three days ago that I cut this. Eight inches by 10 inches. Okay. And I've scored at the two inch mark just using my box making tool. I can't wait to show you um, a show using the, the, oh, yeah. the box making tool because it's so easy. 
So this is my base. So they're both exactly the same size and we just use the different sides of the box to do the base and the lid. So we can then pop that on there, just fold that over. There we go. And that. And then I'm going to turn that round. Tape pen all around here. That's going to go just there. Now this glue in this tape pen is so strong that it can be used for construction really? like this. Mm -hmm. It really, really is good. So we can pop this in here. Now this could be anything. I made, I made this two inches deep, so you, this could be chocolates, it could be a gift, yeah. it could be anything you wanted. So that's my base. Now I always find that we, or I personally always rather decorate before I construct the lid. Right. Look, can you see I put a little out? So that I knew which was which. Okay. You can tell. Now, this paper, and I even look at this, my scruffy handwriting, all occasions, the 8 by 8 paper pad. I've learnt. People always go to me, Corin, what paper pad is that? And I, ah, so Crafter's that's Companion, that's I've got so many paper pads. I was going to say, oh. you know, I, do I don't. No. I, do, I can remember the ones that I've done shows with. Yeah. But I don't know them all. Oh, that's um, lovely. But a lot of our experts do. It blows my mind. And yeah. do you know what? Our viewers do too. Yeah. They really it's do. Incredible, isn't it? So this is just the baby blue um, Centura Pearl. And then I've just inked around the outside to sort of give it a bit of more intensity around the outside. Mm -hmm. So we can put that on as well. And it's all right using that because it's matte on the back. So I can still use the all-purpose glue. And that's going to go just there. Oh. And then that's going to go on here. Now... I'm not making it into a shaker because I'm just literally raising it up. So I've not put I've not put my foam tape all the way around. This is just literally to lift it up to elevate it. Now you'll see I've put um, oh it's time. How did no, that happen? No, Run away with us? It really did. Right, I better hurry up. So you don't have to take the back off all of your foam tape. As long as you've got enough to stick it down, the rest is just going to hold it into place. Right. So we can do... Sorry, we've gone right over. <laughs> I really didn't see what time it was and I didn't hear them say. So that's going to go on there. Doesn't that look oh, super cute? Oh, wow. And then we can then... This is two minutes and then we can get on to the next show. This is fab. But I think everybody will enjoy I wondered why Jimmy was changing over our <laughs> show. He was just... I think, God, he's keen, isn't he? <laughs> He's keen getting in while, while while I'm still demoing. That's Little did amazing. I know I should have I should have shut up five minutes ago, but never mind. Never. So we can pop. <laughs> the, oh, I've, just a minute. I've too much the, fun, Colin. Yeah. There we go. Right, and I'm just going to decorate the edges. We can use that same paper just on here. That's gorgeous. Do you know what? It wouldn't matter what you put in here. So you, I know we just, yesterday when we came in and you had the little handmade doggy treats yesterday. Oh yes. Can you imagine making a box like this? Maybe not with, thinking. you know, with, mm. with maybe the birds, maybe not, you know, yeah. with little handmade biscuits yes, in, brilliant. a little bit of tissue paper yeah. or, you know, handmade fudge or, you know, anything in there. And it turns it into a lovely, Does lovely it? gift. But it also it? elevates whatever's inside. Yes. You know, yeah. so, yeah, yeah. But that looks, um, oh gosh, I can't wait to see this actually on the top. There we go. So we can pop that on there. And then that oh. will fit perfectly on there. Oh. Just get the, there, come on. There we, ah, there we are. I'm just catching on there. There we go. That is Beautiful. How about that? Wow. Sorry, I sped up at the end, but there we go. That is absolutely fab. Thank you. Oh. I'd right, better just pop before. over and, and get ready for yeah. the next show, hadn't I? Uh, thank you so much. Just to mention, isn't that brilliant? Just to mention all of the of the uh, creator card with the, the, the um, paper piecing, all the different boxes are available right now on our Hobby Maker website. But um, with that Birds in Love there, the one that the box that uh, Corinne's just made, that's exclusive to Hobby Maker. You can't get that, that anywhere else. Okay, so they're all on the website, my lovelies. Um, gosh, 
We've got another action-packed hour with Corinne Crea, uh, from uh, Crafter's Companion. And we've got all those lovely dyes that we were just talking about and lots more. And you wait till you see what we've got. I cannot wait. See you after the break. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobby Maker. <laughs> I almost forgot, we've got a brand new show starting on Hobby Maker, Monday to Friday from 6am until 8am, featuring loads of new things. The Early Bird Special, a special offer only available during the Wake Up to Hobby Maker show, Who the Hobby Maker Are You, a slightly extended interview with our guest designers, Help Me Hobby Maker, encouraging you to email in with all of your crafting queries, and a sneak peek the final 20 minutes of the show, letting you know what's coming up later on in the day. So don't forget to join us. Set your alarms 6am until 8am on Hobby Maker. Think I'll get five more Zs in. When you purchase anything on Hobby Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee, meaning that you can shop with confidence. Happy shopping with Hobby Maker. Here at Hobby Maker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one p and Shopping made simple with Hobby Maker. Hobby Maker are live from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. every day on Sky Channel 670, FreeSat Channel 807, and Freeview Channel 73. You can also watch on YouTube via some smart TVs, your computer, and phone. It couldn't be easier to watch Hobby Maker. You can join us on Sky, Freeview, on our website, or on YouTube. So you can watch at home or on the go. Here at Hobby Maker, we love seeing what you've been making, and it's our job to keep you inspired. So how does a £100 credit to your Hobby Maker account sound? Every month, we're going to be giving away a £100 credit to one lucky Hobby Maker's account. And all you have to do to enter is simply send a photo of your crafty makes to studio at hobbymaker.co.uk. We will be picking one winner each month at random and we'll announce the lucky winner on air in the 5pm show on the last Saturday of every month. So what are you waiting for? Get crafting, get motivated and get inspired with Hobby Maker. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. us in the break just <laughs> all of the team well honestly we were all just stood it now I've got all the uh, the made up designs here from this amazing bundle um, but I, I've just stood here and I've just said how? how how can you even didn't I I was it's paper engineering isn't it yeah it, it really is I mean I was watching the thing on the telly last night about the um, the, the the telescope, right? Um, that's just bought all the some, that was it, the web, something web. Uh, but anyway, and I was watching this documentary last night, and I was f fascinated by the engineers and how, 
And they, but that's like that in, in and Paper these form. are 3D. Mm. You know, this is a 3D effect. Am I allowed to just show one? Come on then, yeah. Yeah, yeah, one. Are you ready for this reveal? I've, uh, I've got no words, and that's rare. Isn't that incredible? Beautiful, aren't they? Did you do that? I didn't make that one, no. I made the... Oh, that's the Marie again, Marie Jones, yeah. isn't it? I made the other bow. Oh, one. now then. Yeah. Can I oh, you need to show the box for We do, don't box. we? Right. Yeah. Can I show you another box? So that's, that's, how you, that's the, the true way to make the bow. Right, that's a, so we've got um, a bow, we've got butterflies, we've got, got tulips. Yeah. yeah, all included in this, in this amazing bundle. Now, this is what's just absolutely taken my breath away as well. So, like, wedding favours and things like that. But look at this. <laughs> and it's a workable, lidded box. So there's the tulip, OK, with all the foliage. We've got the ribbon. We've got this 3D effect. We've got the butterflies. And then... Look at this. See, look at I just I I've got to be honest. I assumed you put something in there. Yeah, and it's then a little electric tea light. Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah well, well people them. make their own, don't yeah. they? And wax melts and things. Yeah. You could put, but get, but get this right. Yeah, you wouldn't have a wax melt lit, obviously, you burn. But but it's still, it's a lidded box. Mm. Mm. Isn't that incredible? Yeah. Now that is sort of that is the way the stencils have been designed to be worked. But you've put your own spin on it. I put my own spin on it on a craft along I did last week, I think it was. And I thought, what else could I use the stencils for? Mm -hmm. So I used the stencils to make a 3D card. Wait, did he see this? There you go. And that was my craft along last week, I think it was. Isn't that lovely? But they still lay quite flat to the petals for posting. Yeah. But isn't that incredible? And then we've got another one here, another one of the boxes here. They're unbelievable. And then you've got the butterfly boxes just here. Yes, oh, yeah. Oh, look at that one. There you go, look at that one. Yeah. So, um, and you get all of this in the bundle, you do. don't you? You do. Now, this is the butterflies. So all you need to add to your bundle to be able to make all of these is your paper and your scissors and obviously your glue. Yeah. But that's it. That's it. No way. But all three. But all oh, well, three. Right. Well, are, you, are you at home now thinking, OK, sometimes on Hobby Maker they put the start price in and, it, you know, and then we watch it go down and we're like, oh, look at this. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm in my element here. Sorry. I mean, that. Look at this. Look at this. I mean, it just goes on. Uh, look at it. Look. Uh, the, your eye doesn't know where to go on no. it, does it? That price on there, because in the break, I'm going to let you into a little secret, and I put, I shouldn't give Corinne all, all the details away, but she went, never going to believe the price. She wouldn't tell me. No, I don't believe that price. I've got in my ear, my producer saying, that's not... The finished price. The finished price. I'm like, get off. Look, get, look. Works of absolute art, aren't they? Now, the reason these work at this price... It's because they're stencils. We were talking about this. Look at what? this. What? Twenty three ninety nine for all three. For this isn't all picking three. which one you want. This isn't a drop down, and you've got to choose one. You're going to get all three for that price. Now we were talking about this, weren't we? Five pound each, or like seven ninety nine each. Mm. It's amazing, isn't it? Now we were talking about this at lunch, weren't we? And yeah. we were saying if these were metal dies, you yeah. would be paying well over a hundred pounds because dies work based die prices are based on the amount of metal that you use now these dies don't nest when we say nest what that yeah. means is you can't you can't fit them all one inside each other so if i show you for the um the, the bow those two could nest so i could get those two shapes out of one piece of metal if you think about it one for the outside and one for the inside uh -huh. but i couldn't then out the same piece of metal get this one right so that would have to be a separate piece of metal with that one. Then I'd have to have another separate piece of metal for those two. Gosh, that cost a fortune. And then I'd need another piece of metal for the card base. Now, I could probably, ah, yeah, you see these, because it was a metal, it me, I could get those out of, I could get, whoops. Oh, you're okay. Yeah, found it, dropped it. 
Yeah. There we go. There we go. There I, we are. I could cut those out of the inside of that piece of metal. So I could actually make the most of that bit. Okay. But I would need... That's huge. But I'd need four pieces of metal. So I think just this one alone, I would be... Yeah. I think this would be... It's got to be, it's got to be over £100. Just for this one. I'm, yeah. Even on the best deal ever, it's going to be over £50, £60. Pounds, oh, right, even on okay. the best deal ever. And then you've got that times three. And that's the thing. That then puts a lot... That puts a, a lot unaffordable yes. for a lot of people yes exactly exactly yeah it's brilliant isn't it now you might have seen we were saying about this so as you might see these these are nothing new crafters companion haven't re com come up with a brand new concept so some people will have seen these before and we had a designer that used to make these oh, right. nothing to do with crafters companion right. and she, and some of our design team had these and one of our design team made the butterfly the bow the bow this, yeah this the bow. one here not necessarily this one, but she made one yeah, of yeah. these to show off some of our products once. And social media went wild. They loved it. Where did you get that? What dye is it? And so Leanne approached the lady that did the original stencils years and years ago. Oh, nice. And with her consent, we've rebranded them and we've re-released oh, them. Oh, lovely for her. So, because this lady didn't make them anymore. She wasn't involved in doing them anymore. She didn't want to get involved. She didn't want to get okay. involved. So these have been made with her cooperation and with her involvement behind the scenes. But how lovely for her yeah. to... And it's like paying homage to her. Yeah. Paying tribute, so tribute. don't want anyone to think we're coming up and saying that we've created these completely mm -hmm. and people go, I've seen these before. Yes, you might have seen them before years and years ago, Aww. but you can't buy those, those original ones anymore. But it must be lovely for her to see them again. Yes. It's come like, alive again. Yes, exactly. And hopefully so. we're doing them justice by I, I, creating some lovely I think new you designs. What I'd like to think you have, they're incredible. Mm. Okay, brilliant. They're just unbelievable, aren't they? Yeah. How adorable. So, so, they're, so they're templates. Right. So what you do, so you don't need a die cutter. So these are brilliant if you are new to crafting. So say, like the lady that he, uh, messaged in earlier oh, and said, I've, I've, got, I've got a midi. Now, these aren't going to work in your midi. They're too small for your midi. You'd need, you'd need your full-size die cutter machine. And I think they would. I think it would go through... Yes, it would just squeeze through our, our full-size Gemini. Mm -hmm. Obviously, go through our Pro. But if you haven't got a die-cutting machine, then this is brilliant for people yeah. who want to start on their crafting journey and maybe they're sewers, maybe they're needle crafters, maybe, I don't know, they make jewellery and they think, I've been watching Hobby Maker and I fancy having a go at yeah. something a little bit different, some paper craft, but I've not got all the bits. This is going to be the perfect way to start that journey. But even if you have got the, 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 the die cutting machine, yeah. if you're going away or you're going on a holiday for a fortnight or something, or you're going to, whatever, you might not want to take a piece yeah. of equipment like yeah. that. Maybe you're going away with work and you've got, you're going to be really, really busy during yeah. the day, but you know that at night you're just going to be sitting in your hotel room. Yeah. Because where, where I used to work, it wasn't that there was groups of us, so the big, big meals in the evening. I, I just You're used to go up own. and visit the office, and so all evening yeah. I was on my own. Yeah. So something like this, pop in the bottom of my suitcase some cardstock, some glue, scissors and the stencils, Brilliant. and then I would be perfect. I could Fantastic. be making these, yeah. yeah. Well, you might be sat in a, in, in a hospital or a doctor's yeah. waiting room, because you can wait for hours, can't yeah. you? You know, and then you could, you could be doing that on your lap. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Can we sit? Are you going to make it? Are you going to show us? Shall I make one? Yeah. Which one? Which yeah. one? I'm going to do the um, bow template Brilliant. first. Okay. Nice. So, ready for me to do that? Or yes, do you need to do any please. bits? Right. Okay. So, all your pieces come in your little bag. So, that you've got quite a lot of pieces, but they are all numbered. Look, A, I'm just trying to find the other one, A and B. I've got C and D, and they go together, for this, they go together in pairs. Then E and F. And then I've got my G, H and I. Now, you might think, well, how the heck do I know how to make anything out of those? Don't worry. Look, we've given you full instructions. So we're saying use template A, draw around it and then do B. Um, then put B over the top of A and stick it in place. Brilliant. Um, then it's telling you to put, turn it over and to put little, um, use your ruler and to put some little slits in. Oh, I need to make sure I've got my, my craft knife going. Where's my craft knife? Gosh, oh. that is a well-stuffed bag. Oh, it is. If I have to. It's got my life in it. It's <laughs> got my life in it. There we go. So we can do that. So it, all your full instructions are on there. Everything is there, so don't worry. So I'm going to show you how I do this. So if I'm coming here, mm -hmm. so what I would need is, let's 
take this piece out of the way for a minute. Mm -hmm. So if I've got A and B, I'm going to have A as my background and B as my foreground. So what I'm going to do is I want this pattern at the front. So I'm going to turn over my cardstock and I personally, m most of these templates are symmetrical, but I, it's a habit. I turn my template over so that it's effective of being that way up on the back. Does that make oh, sense? Okay. I just find it. It just works in my head. And then all I do is I draw around. You can draw around with whatever you want. I like to draw around with my pencil because I then know if I'm using a cardstock that's not as thick as another, it's not going to go through. I'd always wor I always worry that if I use, you know, a pen and I press hard, it might, might, go, through. might go through. And I can see the pencil. Yes. If, if I was doing it onto black cardstock or a navy blue, I might get something like my white gel pen out and yeah. do something like that. Oh, I've got a little notch there. There we go. Um, just, just quickly as well. I know there's a little bit, possibly a little bit of confusion. Now, the reason that the bow card on its own, that the one that uh, Corinne's just doing now, is nine ninety nine, is that's how much they are each. And if you only want one, then of course you can just pay nine ninety nine and get each one that or the, the one of your preference. But again, the if you get all of it, so basically, if you get the bundle deal, you'll get both of these at full price, and you're getting the other one, what, four pounds? If you look mm -hmm. at it that way. Yeah. I prefer the, you know, the fact that you're getting all of them for 23.99, but if you are only desperately want to get one, you can do, but it's 9.99. If you want all three, it's the reduced 23.99, and you go for the other code that we just launched for you. Yeah. Now. Okay. We were saying about cutting. So I'm using my large nine inch scissors. I find that easy because what I can do is I can do nice, long, sweeping cuts. And I just find that I get a neater cut because I'm using most of the blade all the way down to cut. And I just find it so much easier. Now, if you, you might be somebody that prefers small scissors. Now, if, if you were here and it was Craig on our team doing this, I could almost guarantee to have his four and a half inch scissors mm -hmm. out. It's not wrong. It's right for him. Preference. Personal it's preference. Personal preference. Yeah. And the other thing I do is clamp your elbow into your waist. Yeah. With your, your, your scissor hand, your elbow goes into your waist and then your scissors, the only movement on your scissors is that. Oh, that's a good tip. And you are actually moving your cardstock. Can you see? It's my cardstock that's moving. My scissors aren't moving at all. Oh. And that means... Cut that off. There we go. It makes it easier. It's pulling me down. And that means that then I get the smoothest cut possible. Oh. You see, I'm just moving my cardstock round and round just to fit in there and i'm going to get them personally this is you know it, it ever, I don't need to teach people how to cut but some people say i don't like doing this because i don't get a neat cut for me my top tip would be nice long scissors so that i can do long long snips even around the corner you see i can do most of that on one go yeah. and all the way around just there i'm not going to cut them all out this is the bit that takes the longest and i'm not going to like it you know it does take a bit longer but some people absolutely yeah but there are people out there that absolutely love doing cutting they find it so rewarding mm. um so you know it's entirely up to you now this paper is country garden country, country. I, think, I think it's country country garden it's, yeah can yeah. tell. It's one of the pads that I'm not as familiar with. Yeah, I'm sure it's Country Garden. I've, okay. But I've written it on one piece. I haven't. I'm pretty certain it's Country Garden. Uh -huh. So there we go. So there we are. But, you know, you will have so many paper pads. But you do, you know, they'll all go through, can cut out of um, A4 cardstock. But um, I usually tend to go, look, go looking in my 12 by 12 because you can right. get some beautiful okay. papers. So once you've got that, the other thing I've done, you can see for this one, very similar sort of position. I've inked around the edge with some pink ink oh, yeah. and then I've just glittered it as well. Oh. And it's these little things that are going to really elevate it. So you can see what I have done is I have got oh, A and B. Uh -huh. I've then got C and D. Uh -huh. And I know this because they're all numbered on my templates. And then I've got E and 
Right. Okay? Yeah. So that's what it said. Mm -hmm. So what it tells me to do next is to stick them together. Now, I'm going to use my tape runner. Uh, we're probably going to go through a couple of pens by the time I've done today. Um, if I was at home, mm. I, if I'm being truthful, even though the instructions say your tape pen is your best, best friend for doing these, I would be pretty tempted to use something like my all-purpose glue. Now, all-purpose glue, what we were saying is, is it sets... Can you remember I was saying it sets rigid? Yes. And you can... Um, oh, let me move that And it gives way. it more structure, it? It gives it more structure. I told you I'd need to change tape pen. I think it was oh. listening to you. It was, wasn't it? Why did that stop? Ah, it's coming back. I, I must have got it at the wrong angle. Um, it will give it more rigidity. But the only thing is, if you're going to use something like the All Purpose, is you need to do your bending at the right point before it's gone too rigid. Oh, well, you, yes? Yeah, I'm with you. So it's, it's about keeping an eye on it mm -hmm. um, and making sure you catch it at that perfect point. So you see, I've also put the slits in here that are on the template. It shows me on the template where to put them. Okay. And then this just pops on to there. So there we go. That's nice and there. And when I press that down, all the extra, I'm covered in glitter. <laughs> so then all I'm going to do is I'm going to get a craft knife and I've already got those on here. So I'm just going to cut through there. I'm going to go through a few times just to cut. Has that gone through? Yes, that's gone through perfectly. And then there. now don't go in and press and drag. You will, you'll get feathered edges. Just do lots of light little cuts and you'll get a much, much neater finish. Mm -hmm. It's better to do light presses and do multiples of them and you're going to get, like I say, a much, much nicer finish on there. So that's going to go... Oop, there we go. There we are. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's gone. So I've got all of my little cuts through there just like that make sure that's through and then what I'm also going to grab is my red liner tape my super sticky red liner tape so what I'm going to do is I have to come this way is I'm going to get this and I'm going to come off the edge of my table you know when you do curling ribbons yes I'm just doing that effect I personally find it because then you get a, oops we're dropping it throwing it down you get a better finish if I if I just take it and curl it, yeah. it could crease. Ah. So what I've done is I'm telling it, I'm giving it sort of a bit of memory. Can you see? Yes. See how it's starting to curl? Yeah. So I then to... when I want to curl it all the way to there... It already wants to. It already wants to. It doesn't tell you that in the instructions, but if I'm doing anything that I need to curl, I will always give it a little bit of a curl first. Mm. Just to... Get it it's going. Like a helping hand, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, perfect. And then we can pop these through here, and those will go through there like that. And that one will go through here. Now, we're not going to get through all of these. If we get through this one, we're going to do well. They yes. do take a bit longer, I'm not going to lie. They take a little bit longer. But if you go onto our Crafters TV you, and have a look, you will see so many tutorials. Wonderful. If you watch our shows, there'll be so many shows. Now, those in theory, it doesn't tell you to stick them down. But my past experience has told me paper tries to return to where it came from. So I always just put a little bit. I'm not even going to take the back off the red liner tape. Any tape that you've got, just put a little piece over there just to stop that from... It's a bit of extra security, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it just stops it from shooting back from where it came, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I just find quite useful. The only problem is I've got so much glitter on my hands <laughs> because I decided to glitter. Doesn't that make you happy, though? Yeah, but I go down to the shops and you get... You get <laughs> if I'm popped to the post office, Jenny at the post office, you'll go... Been crafting, Corinne? I go, <laughs> yeah. yes, Jenny. She goes, yeah, it's all over your face, <laughs> your top. It is all over your top, actually. Yeah, <laughs> usually the dog. <laughs> Colin will come down and he'll go, Elsie's covered again. <laughs> there we go. So that's, oops, that's because that, that glue, let me just put a bit more adhesive on there. Okay. You can see how it just tries to fight back. But that's fine, I've got that on there. There we go. Brilliant. Pop that on there. Right, so then I'm going to go to... So that was A and B, mm -hmm. C and D. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. We can do these. Again, I've done exactly the same... Come on. 
I am going to get another one. That is really not, not playing with me today. There we go. Let's get another one going. I always have... I should get them all out of the cases, shouldn't I? But I don't, because if I don't, if I get them all out, I can't remember which one's my new ones. Ah. Um, so I know it takes me a minute or two, but I just Lovely. find it easier so I can remember which are the ones I've got on the go. So we're going to do this. While you're doing that, by the way, uh, we are putting each one of the graphics individually so you can get the um, you can get the bow, you can get the butterfly, you can get the tulip individually at 9 99 each on our website. But obviously the saving is on the bundle, which is 23 99 for all three. Mm -hmm. OK. It mad isn't it when you yeah. think what this would cost if it was done in dye form oh it really is yeah, yeah. doesn't bear thinking about so <laughs> we pop that like that and then we can just come back again and just and do you know what it's really lovely because it actually takes you back to a form of crafting that's actually quite rewarding because yeah. it's it's making you craft yeah. Yes. Do you see what I mean? You're more when involved. You, yeah, it's lovely. I've really enjoyed working with these because, you know, you're really getting involved and, you know, making and actually making something and, and doing it yourself. So let's just just pop these, just curve. It's more sort of manual, isn't it? Yeah. 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 It's lovely. Actually, this will hopefully come together quite quickly in a minute. There we go. And then we're just going to poke that through the little slots that we've made. Mm -hmm. Let me make sure that's gone all the way through. I'll have to get you a builder's hat. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> it's like construction almost. All right. Isn't it? Like you're building. I thought <laughs> you can then just poke. Come on. Sometimes. Just take some. Get it. Because it's two layers. That's it. There we go. There you go. Let's just poke that. Also, you're having to do it in television time yeah and that's very different to doing it at home you can't yeah. relax you're trying to do it under, under and at the and time the, constraints time constraints, but it's at the angles as well so people can actually see what you're doing yeah and you're doing it back to front and you, you know you must have yeah. do a headstand and you'd be all in then that's it but there we go pop this one on here and then pop that one on there there we go so again another couple of little bits of tape is that red tape super, super sticky then? Yes, ah. yes. It's, I sometimes call it super sticky. Red liner is, it's a, look at this, I am so covered in glitter. <laughs> it's <laughs> untrue. I have to give you a rub down on the way out. Oh, dear. <laughs> I bet you, I'm going up to the, to uh, Crafter's Companion, and by the time I get up there, my bedroom up there is going to be... <laughs> Oh, so poor Debbie Robinson, if she's using the room after me next week, I apologise <laughs> now because there's going to probably be glitter all oh. over the place. Because we all have a house where we stay up there. I was just going to say, where's your bedroom then? Uh, we all we have a house. Oh, do you? Yeah, That's where a we good all idea, stay, isn't it? So there we go. There we go. So pop that on there. So we've now got two layers. So you can see how this is. Can you see? Oh, Straight I got you. There we go. Okay. So it's coming together. Yeah. And then we've got E and F. Let's go on here. Bring these together. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking at lots of you, Jane and Jean, crafters everywhere, Valerie, Bridget, Susan, Maria. Don't forget to check out that bundle, that heavily discounted bundle deal, will you? All three, the butterfly, the bow and the tulip, all three for a heavily reduced 23.99. Right, now this one, E and F, aren't shaped. Look at this. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just going to bend the ends because that to me is quite a harsh mm. flat. So if I just curl the ends ever so slightly, mm -hmm. to me, that looks a lot prettier. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, really does. So then all I've got is I've got the base. So what you do is you cut, that's the shape of the base. You cut two of them out. It's all in the instructions, and on one of them, you cut the tab off. Oh, OK. The tab. Yeah, yeah. Really, yeah. really easy. And actually, I'm going to put red liner on that just because it grabs really, really well. So I can put that across here. So let's just put that across here. This is that um, Centura Pearl that we were working with. Oh, the Snow White one earlier on. Gosh, when it goes that? <laughs> what day was that? 
<laughs> it was today. Again, if you go back to the hobbymaker.co.uk website, it was our first starting spotlight deal at one o'clock. Mm. And from memory, it was 50 sheets, 310 GSM. 6.99? Yeah, and it should have been 12.99. So you saved yeah. six pounds. It was unbelievable. And there were 50 sheets. It was beautiful. Yeah. I mean, it's been bargain, but galore yeah. today, hasn't it? There we go. So let's put that onto there. So that's going to be my card base. Now, one of those cards you saw was a, an easel card. So that's all that meant this was, one, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, fold that in half and then that would have folded over if you wanted it to. Okay. So, you know, you've got your choices when there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our first of our bow bits. Now, mm. really easy to position it because you've got the little bits there so I can really easy to line yeah. it up. There's no guesswork uh -huh. and we can pop... Actually, I want that that way up. So otherwise the foliage will be upside down. Let's put plenty of tape on there. Mm -hmm. Put that on to here. Mm -hmm. That's going just there. Then I'm going to get my... Go that way. Next one. Right, I'm going to do these with foam pads. Now, you will need a few foam pads. So I'm going to pop first one on here. Are they coming in all different sizes there, Yes. Corinne? OK. Have you noticed? Yes, I was just thinking... Well, I didn't know if they were pre... You'd cut them before or...? Yeah. I'll pull right. that one out. Come on. This is because it's so much glitter on it. There we go. <laughs> and then I'm actually going to pop double height foam pads on there. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. I could do as many layers as I wanted, oh. just to give me a bit more height. So I'm going to bend that over, and I'm just going to pop that, line that up there, and I'm going to pop that on here. There we go. So that's oh. holding that up there. I want to scratch my face. <laughs> I'll be glittered if I do, do me that. to come and do it? No, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. <laughs> so we can then put this one on and what I'm going to do is I've put them in such a way that on this side here and then I will actually just go cross cross hatch it makes it a bit more robust doesn't it yeah there we go put that one on to there that's going to go just there now you could if you wanted to put a little bit of glue and took those but I don't think that needs it if you've mm. used the right sort of cardstock so I've got my 310 and then just my regular 180 150 for my paper it's plenty robust enough okay. and then I've cut out the middle bits now this is where you will need quite a bit of foam pad so I'm going to just put let me just put a yeah, few it's on quite here. deep there it's is quite it's deep now up, if you it? you can flatten it out a bit if you wanted to but mm. let me just put a couple of foam pads on there now this looks really really pretty but we can it's what you do once you've got to this point to, for me that really really makes these so i have just gone through my dies now you could go through your dies all the little bits that you've got in your crafty stash you might have embellishments you know have a look at what you've got so I can put that one on there let's just put a couple on here again on there like that you'll have toppers you'll have sentiment mm. you'll have all sorts yeah. you know have a look at what you've got and for me this is where it really starts to elevate it so I can take those off mm -hmm. I can put that one on here all of these up to this point everything there has been created with a stencil so you know we, Gosh. so so easy now i've got a sentiment here mm -hmm. so let me oh, took two off there let me put that back on so i can put this one on as a stencil that's a not stencil that's um just a topper from a kit uh -huh. and then like i say i have gone through and i have just die cut some flowers and some foliage oh my goodness just cut loads of little bits and all I'm going to do is I'm going to actually I might just do it this way I might just put a blob of glue on here and, and that's then, the all purpose that's my all purpose because yep. I know I'm just the sort of stuff I'm using is fine and then yeah. I can and because I haven't stuck them down I can just can you see lift yeah. and pop and this is for me where it changes it yes. this is what really really just sorts of elevates it up to the next level just adding in all of your lovely little bits that you've got and how you know and again it's one of those it's what we were saying yesterday mm. sometimes don't overthink it just just do random just do mm. yes just try and pop them in pick it up and pop it in pop it in yeah uh, oh God. 
some just here. There we go. Pop that on there. I've got oh, some lovely some little flowers we can pop just all over and oh. just flat back pearls on there. Just popping those on. I might just again, what were we saying about flowers without foliage? So I'm going to just get a couple of bits of foliage and then we can just trim them down if they're quite big mm. and pop those. Can you see the difference straight away if you just take that? So yeah. that one that I just did, I've then cut off that little stringy bit and then that one will go there. Oh. Can you see how pretty is that? How much that changed that with just that little bit of foliage there? Yes. Let's go, nice. trying to do them all sort of a little bit different. I've got some completely, I'm going to trim, let's just trim that piece off to there. These are just some bits that I'd got, you know, maybe it was something left over from another project. It's, yeah. you know, it's entirely up to you. Maybe a little butterfly, where can oh. we put that? Just on there. And maybe one just over here but you know how wow. I mean it's not complicated is it and it's not about overthinking these things no and and doing it just looks complicated it does doesn't it? doesn't it looks really complicated but, you know you just pop in all of the little bits and pieces I think that should just about do yep. let's give that one in and then we can pop oh my that goodness that's on there. incredible there we go that is all from your templates. Incredible. Has anybody ever seen anything like that? Honestly. Wow. Good fun, isn't it? <laughs> you two could be covered in as much glitter as I am. It's just magnificent. Uh, still quite a few of you with it in your baskets. Across those three um, those three bundles there, uh, that bundle in the three, uh, three in the bundle, I'll get there in a minute, um, 64 pieces across those three packs there on those 3D templates. Brilliant. That was, thank you so much, Connie. My pleasure. Thank you, lovely. Um, right then, my lovelies, very, very short break, my lovelies. We've got some lovely treats for you here as well. You might have spotted them over there. I'm not sure yet. So we'll be back after the short break. <laughs> Call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. Hello lovelies, welcome back to Hobby Maker. We said it was action packed today, didn't we? I still can't get over that bow design. It was so incredible, wasn't it? Um, what we've got to the side here, if I just pop, I feel awful moving these out just out of sight, but uh, needs must. So if I just pop these over here, okay, I'll, that's, I'm going to put that to one side so we haven't, got to, we haven't got to move it too far. What we do have here is, do you know what? These are gorgeous. Thank you for setting it up so beautifully as well. Now these are your um, these are your ink pads, aren't they? They are. There are water reactive ink pads. So how does how does that actually work then? So if so, when you um, use these, yeah. you can then do your water techniques on these. So you could put them onto your mat. You could spritz some water. You could pick them up and you could flick them. You could blend. Oh. So if you look at this, this card, one. yeah. 
it'll take you let, let you take that. Later. So yeah. what I did was I inked with the, what the green, and I also inked with the blue, the back, um, the green and the pink on the yeah. background. And then can you see where it's mottled? Oh, here. I put droplets of water on. I put the water in my hand and then just let it drip oh, onto the card. Did it? Let it wait just for a few seconds and then blot it off with kitchen towel. Ah, that's clever, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but the water reactive are brilliant for blending. They are really, really good. So if you've got, you know, if you are wanting to do something where you're going to be blending your inks, mm -hmm. then yeah, these are brilliant. So they are excellent for backgrounds and everything, Wonderful. you know, like that. Okay. Yeah. We're doing a deal. Of course we are. It's Crafters Companions, Hobby Maker. Um, you can buy each one of these colours at five ninety nine each one, if you wanted to, and um, you can see the colours as you go through. We've got green topaz, we've got spring green, we've got jet black, emerald, frosty jade, misty morning, and friar brown. Oh, that's an unusual one, isn't it? Friar brown, I like that one. Um, so, and the good news is, is we do have the, uh, what do you call them? The little, uh, the blending tools as well, haven't mm -hmm. we? We've got those coming up. Now, the pick and mix means you get to pick whichever mix you want. What we'll do is, if you pick four from the drop-down menu online, okay, so again, if you go and have a look now at the website on the Harmony Water Reactive Ink Pads, pick and mix four for three. So you will get, you'll pay for three, make sure you put four in your basket, which means you're saving 25% on that bundle deal. <coughs> so make sure, please, if you want that incredible saving, you put four in your basket, okay? You only pay for three. So that's fantastic, mm. absolutely fantastic. Lovely colours again. If you just go in, um, and as I said, we do have the blending tool coming up. We've got the round, the square. We have the replacements for the square and we have the mini blending sponges as well. Okay, so everything that you possibly need. Um, so colours again, just to go through. Green topaz, spring green, jet black, emerald, frosty jade, misty morning, and Friar Brown. Okay, so put four in your basket, pay for three, you'll get the fourth. Uh, it's 20, well, for free. Um, right, so we've also got the these individually. We've done them as a bundle um, before the break at 23.99 for all three. But you can also have, we've already bought you the bow on its own, but you can also have the butterfly on its own at 9.99 and the tulip on its own at 9.99, okay? Now then, you've got, if I show you the butterfly, if I pop these over, it's amazing how many things you can get for free, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Add these and we'll chuck one else in for you. You're not a wicked. <laughs> so the butterfly, but, 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 but. It makes this amazing box, which gives the effect that the butterfly is coming out of the side of the box. Yep. So you've got all the templates to create the box and the butterflies on the top. You've got everything that you need in there. So, you know, so many um, templates. Um, and I love this one. So it yeah. creates that aperture as well so that you can uh, cut into that if you want that. to. Absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. So, so clever. I mean, we love making flowers. I love making flowers. I've got a whole masterclass on that tomorrow, I think. Oh, um, lovely. So, you know, it's absolutely gorgeous to do. So, so what perfect way to display them. Cut a little aperture and then, you know, a filled card. Absolutely. It's beautiful. Glorious. Look at that. All the detail. Everywhere you look, there's something going on, isn't there? So you can buy this individually. The code's on your screen there for you, my lovelies. LD2080. 9.99 on its own but obviously if you want the saving you go for the bundle at 23.99 for all three okay but there's this is the thing this is what i like we, we don't restrict you do we no. we don't say you've got to have that obviously it makes sense to go for the bundle because you get more for you bought more for less money but equally if you've got a certain budget or you're thinking well actually i just want the butterflies you can go at 9.99 the choice is yours okay now, you've got the butterfly. I have. A demo you're going to do, aren't I you? I have. And, but what I thought was, I've shown you how to make the bow as a card, mm. as the instructions, and I could show you how to make the butterfly mm. as the box. But a bit like with the tulip card that I made for my craft along, it's I wanted to show you how 
you can use the stencils in different ways. Mm -hmm. So don't think that if you buy these, all I can make is a bow card, a butterfly card, and um, a tulip box. Yeah. Because you can make so much mm, more. Absolutely. So what I've got here is I've got stencils. So if you do buy these, don't worry, you're going to get full instructions in the box oh, I'm glad you've got on how to make your butterfly card. So it tells you how many of everything that you need to cut out. You know, it says, you know, I and J, we need two of those. K, you need four. It tells you absolutely everything you need. So that's perfect. Mm -hmm. But what I'm done here, look at this, I've got organised this time. I wrote Caring Thoughts six by six paper pad on the top there because I knew right. I was going to get asked. Uh -huh. I've got this lovely oh, paper pad, isn't it? Lovely. Mm. And I'm going to draw around E, but I'm then going to take F, which is that sort of aperture one, and I'm going to put it in the middle. Really easy to line up because you can see where it needs to go. And then I can draw around that. So I'm doing this again on the back mm -hmm. because that means then that I'm not going to run the risk of any pencil lines on the front. And then I can cut this one out. So let's just see. I'm going to do this really quickly, so please bear with me. So I can cut this all the way around here. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, you would take a lot, lot longer with this to do, but we can do that. And then... But it is, it is lovely. It is really nice, like we were saying, to get back to, to doing crafting. And I mean, I don't know about you, but I have nights when I don't sleep very well oh, at all. Especially in the heat. Oh, Imagine there's the, next week as well. Yeah, but heat and my oh. age together, the two of them aren't, uh, aren't the They're most not kind. Are they're not they? kind, no, no. They, don't, they don't. But, you know... There's certain crafts you can't do because, you know, if I start getting my die cutting machine out and don't think tapping, very popular. You know, tapping the dies around, one Elsie will be up and then she'll probably go back in and decide to tell Colin that she's up and then mm -hmm. Colin won't be happy. So, you know, on one of his many trips to the bathroom, he'll then see lights on and he'll like, what are you doing? And <laughs> then my daughter might get up and it's like, Mum, what are you doing? But this is such a quiet craft. I could go into my craft room, just put the little table line on, mm. and I could be cutting these out to my heart's content without disturbing anyone. For me, be the stealth crafter. The stealth crafter, yes. Oh, we could come up with all sorts of nighttime <laughs> name crafting <laughs> handles, couldn't we? Absolutely. <laughs> but do you know what I mean? That it, yeah. It's right. There, you know, you can't always get all your your noisy machines out oh. during, you know, at, at night. So I cut that. So how I would then do this is I would then get my craft knife and I would then cut diagonal to diagonal. Oop, there we go. And that would then give me a way in to go and cut this one out to create an oh. aperture. Yes, do you mm -hmm. see? Yep. So I would then cut that out. I'll just cut a bit of it out, but I want to show you. So then we're going to really... Let me show you. So that would then cut... Let me show you on there. I'll cut that out completely, but it would cut my aperture. But then I wanted to show you these inks and how oh, gorgeous they are. This is green topaz. I'm sure I heard you say green yes, topaz. Yes, we've got green topaz, absolutely. <clears throat> now, it's up to you. Dauber onto your ink pad or ink pad onto your glass mat and then pick it up. Now, the key for me, I always find I blend so much better if I work it into the dauber. If I come like this, get it, and then come on here... Can you see? Oh, it's quite solid. It's solid, but it's yeah. also, we get that cloud effect. Right. Uh, can, you see? can you see? It's You don't get as pretty. Can you see how it's uh, a bit cloudy? Yeah. If you take it and then you work it into your dauber, really just work it all over. It can't go anywhere because that's a glass mat that's non-absorbent. So it's going into the dauber. So then when I come onto here and then nice light strokes, we can come all the way around and... Pick up a bit more if you need to, all the way around. It's a much softer effect all the way around the outside. There we go. You can see. And then you can always... Remember, you can, take, you can add more ink. You can't take it off. I know we say that, you know. So just remember, go in lightly and add more as you go. And then you can create the edges. And actually, I've done it a bit lighter on here. But you can see I've gone in here. And then you can see. Now, it's about having the right tools. And for me, the round daubers are the ones I turn to all the time. All That's a good job. We've got, we've got them here. I know. Really. Brilliant. 
So we've just popped on the on the screen that very what do you call it? Adorber. 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 Yeah. Ador I like it. We adore Adorber. It does. Uh, so this is the blending tool that Corinne is using. Um, it's three piece. So is that two two pads you get? Yeah, two pads. Yeah. Oh, brilliant! So yeah. that's good then, isn't it? Yeah. So that we've got a we've got a sort of a, a rectangular one. Well, you, yeah, well. other people use that because you get the refills with the with the re, with the rectangular one. But yeah. you can get refills for these as well. But yeah, just we might not have them on the bundle today. And that's three ninety nine. Do they last a long time? Well, that will last if I'm careful taking it off. I always pick up the black with my finger and pull it that way because otherwise you can rip it away from the black. Mm. But if you do that, they'll last as long as you want oh, them to. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. 3 is good, isn't it? Good value. Yeah. Okay, so what we've got here now is I've taken this one and I've put some acetate behind mm -hmm. just by using the template again. And then I've put some foam pad. Now, look at that. I've completely um, sealed that off. Mm -hmm. So what I've done is I've cut another one of my templates out. And let's just put some of my... Ooh, that's a little... Hello. That might be a little bit much, Corinne. Little <laughs> tad heavy-handed there. Are you so. seriously going for glitter again in a minute? Yeah. <laughs> Look. <laughs> oh, dear. I might might have to go and get the car valeted. <laughs> You're going to have to vacuum you down before you go out. <laughs> Everybody's used to it. Everybody is totally, totally used to it. So we can then... I completely sealed this off. So I can then put this one onto here. Uh -huh. And then we can line these up. Oh, we like a bit of glitter. We it's, do. It's a, crafter's, glitter, it's a crafter's glitter, best friend. Yes, it is. Just do me a favour. Got Andy on the show after the, our sales manager after the, uh, or our channel manager. Or, what's your full title? Gorgeous. Head of sales. Head of sales. Yeah. <laughs> Head of sales. <laughs> He's there over there, look. Pretending to be a teapot. He's going to get the spout out in a minute. Um, can you shake his hand before you go or do something so he gets covered in glitter? Shake him up. Yeah. Bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There you go, look. Ooh, oh, I've not sealed it properly. Why am I not no. sealed there? There we go. Oh, that's see. lovely. Now, you can see why we all say about sealing. That's not... Let me just... Put... Yeah, but you were being asked to do that in, like, minus three seconds. So. <laughs> Let's put a piece of tape across there. There we go, and seal that. I might be there. Right, so that's going to seal across there. So we've got that. And then I've got some more paper. Oh, that mint centura pearl that we were looking Ooh, at earlier. Yeah, we were. This. And then, so we can t use that. Was that yesterday? <laughs> that was today, love. Was that today? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We've done a lot of shows. <laughs> it's, 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 like, <laughs> it's been the Corinne and Zena show for the last 24 hours. I can only apologise. Oh, oh dear. It's really great to make mistakes like that when your boss is stood right next to you. <laughs> Sorry, Andy. <laughs> Oh dear, I just thought I'd put a little bit of the green just around the outside there to tie oh, it lovely. all together. And this just to show you, and I think this is gonna I might not have caught all of that, but so we'll have to we'll have to go with it. We can oh, put that on there. Mm -hmm. And the caring thoughts, it the paper pad had um it has a sheet at the back with lots of toppery elements on. So I've taken, let's come down here. Oh, then, nice. let's do this very carefully because it's not sealing very well. Let's make sure that seals across there. That will hopefully seal it. Mm -hmm. We can then put that oh, wow. on here. Mm -hmm. And then I've got lovely little um, sentiments, again, all out of the paper pad, but I'm sure you've all got oh. elements and little flowers. So we can just give them a little bit of a shape. Mm -hmm. And we can add so what I want to show you is even though this is designed to be that gorgeous um butterfly card yeah. box, if you don't want it to be a butterfly card box, then you can make whatever you want. You've got the templates to use as you desire. Mm -hmm. So you know Is that the three D glue? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I do love a little bit of three D glue. And again, just remember, look at that flower. Then when we put a bit of foliage behind there. Oh. And then we've got wow. our gorgeous butterfly. Just something a little bit different. Just to show you that the templates can be used in lots Doesn't of different ways. Doesn't have to ways. just be the box. Or, yeah. Yeah. Wow. That was wonderful. Thank you. In Thank very, very quick, but we got there. 
That was absolutely fabulous. Thank you. So that was the uh, the dauber as well. We put the bundle code back on at twenty three ninety nine, which takes these should be nine ninety nine each for the uh, tulip, the bow, and the butterfly. But again, another fantastic bundle by today, saving at just twenty three ninety nine for all three. And I, it, what's lovely as well is when we see Corin in action and we see it being made and it, the cars and all the alternatives, it's so rewarding to then see our call screen, which tells us an, a, who's ringing into the call centre, who's buying online, seeing all these wonderful people, then thinking, do you know what, I get it now. And actually, yeah, I want that. And everybody comes in and it's just lovely, isn't it? Sometimes you just need that, oh, I get it, don't yeah. you? Because if somebody just gave me a bag of pieces like that, I totally understand that you could say well, what do I do with it? Yeah. Or oh, it doesn't stimulate your no. desire, does no. it? You, sometimes you look at something and you think, mm. and then somebody doesn't, you think, oh, it's like one of those, isn't it? Yeah. And that's exactly that. So do please make the most of the bundle deal. Thank you. It's been a We've pleasure. worked too hard today, haven't we? <laughs> you in we? next Sunday, week on Sunday, hopefully. Am I in a week on Sunday, well, boss? <laughs> <laughs> if so, you are, I'll see you then. Oh, wonderful. I need to, I need to, I need to, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I hope so. I hope so. It'd be lovely. Um, right then, my lovelies, those of you with it in your baskets, if you, if you don't actually give, you know, give us your credit card and your debit card, um, then we get to keep it all, which is a shame. It needs to come to you. So just remember to check it out. Okay, my lovelies, I know you probably get to see. Oh, Dorothy's just come in. She's just come in from Swan. She's on the phone to our call centre. Okay, lots of it. I mean, look at this. West Yorkshire, West Midlands, South Yorkshire, Dorset. You're all over the place. But please make the most of the saving while you can. All right, lovely. Um, so thank you very much, my lovely. And we'll Pleasure. see you next Sunday. Yes. So that's wonderful. Uh, thank you for your time. You've been brilliant. Loved it. Now, after the break, there's a, we're going to let Corinne go because we've worked her hard enough <laughs> and she's got places to be. And uh, we're going to be in love with our next guest, aren't we, Andy? Mm -hmm. So uh, you've got me and Andy for another hour, so we'll see you in a minute. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobby Maker. When you purchase anything on Hobby Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee, meaning that you can shop with confidence. Happy shopping with Hobby Maker. Here at Hobby Maker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one p and Shopping made simple with Hobby Maker. Hobby Maker are live from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. every day on Sky Channel 670, FreeSat Channel 807, and Freeview Channel 73. You can also watch on YouTube via some smart TVs, your computer, and phone. This is Gemini, one of the fastest, quietest electronic die cutting and embossing machines on the market. Its industry-leading high-pressure system delivers fantastic results from intricate dies and folders, all at the touch of a button. Its oversized opening and platforms provide for edge-to-edge -edge cutting of US letter and A4 size with thin metal dies, allowing you to cut materials such as thin cardstock, vinyl, craft metal and fabric. No cranking needed, as it will move the plates through automatically and quickly, which means you may spend less time on preparation and more time on inspiration. The Gemini has optical switches, making it hands-free and fully automated, with a built-in auto-reverse function for protection. It's easy to use, so you're always in control. Its sleek, low-profile design makes it a superb addition to any craft workspace. It has built-in handholds, meaning you can easily take it anywhere. 
The Gemini is a universal die cutting and embossing machine that works with the majority of all leading brands of thin metal dies and embossing folders. All of the platforms that you need come included in the box, as well as a thick rubber embossing mat for intricate detail work on your dual purpose cut and embossed dies. The addition of the metal cutting plate allows you to cut intricate dies in a single pass through the machine and enables you to cut multiple layers of fabric. For a perfect cut every time, you need Gemini, the electronic die cutting and embossing machine made by crafters for crafters. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. The big cheese in today. The big cheese. The big cheese. Yeah, technically, I think Scott's gone. Scott's gone home now. So yeah. You yeah. are now the big cheese. <laughs> the most no important. So lovely. <laughs> oh, uh, you didn't say. You are though. Do you know what she actually said that when you weren't here? I as did. Well, so. Yes, I did. Have, and I told the big group MD today how lovely he was, and all the team. And they are. You're all lovely. Oh well, thank you. you thank are, you. You're all lovely. Thank you. How you doing, everyone? Hope you're okay. Um, my name's uh, Andy, in case we haven't met before. Um, I am the head of sales here at Hobby Maker. If we have met before, you'll recognise me as a presenter for many years on a, uh, another uh, mm. craft channel. I've been in the industry for, well, in the shopping TV industry, over 20 years now, but <gasps> in the craft industry, um, approaching eight years oh, I've been working okay. in the industry now. Ooh. So how are you finding it? It's all quite new to you. Oh. Not this realm, this industry, but the, the craft I, is, right? I, I didn't... I, I wish, in fact, I spoke to a young girl yesterday, she's 23, and she did, she works with the um, really old die right. presses, you know, the big sort of mango oh, yes, ones yes, yes. at university. And I said, I wish my mum or my nan had got me into this world really? earlier. I feel right. like I'm 51 and I feel like I've missed out. Well, I really it's do. It's never too late. No, well, thank goodness, no, but just standing, and, and my, the, all the guests that I'm working with are saying, I love your enthusiasm, and it might seem mm. as though people are thinking, oh, it's a oh, bit Oh, no, it's much, genuine. But... I can tell you right now it's genuine. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> I've never enjoyed, and I've loved Jewelry Maker, I've yeah, loved yeah, all the yeah. channels I've been on, but this is, and I'll, and I'll put my hands up when I first... Yeah, yeah. You know, and um, saw it being launched and things. I was nervous, and I did think I didn't know if no, I, no, no, no. you know, I didn't necessarily want to come mm -hmm. and do this. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I've done three shows, including this is my third, and I've never enjoyed anything so much. Well, we're very, very never. pleased to have you. Oh, We've enjoyed joining you. Enjoy I, love as well. I love um, it. Now, listen. This is your first show with me. Now, generally, yes. if I'm ever on your screen, there's one of two reasons. Number one, someone's ill. Ah. Number two is that we have some genuine bona fide bargains for you because it's one of the things that I am able to do is that I am able to change prices if I feel that something if we wanted to clear some items for new make some space for new mm -hmm. stock coming in I have the power now he does he's the Jedi now it's a, but it's one thing I've got to be honest with you, it's something that we do differently here through the whole Gemporia craft group mm -hmm. it's the one thing that's really impressed me is the amount of empowerment that the team had yeah. to ensure that you get a the products you want but also at the prices that you love as well the fact that you've got a UK-based free phone number, yep. that's unique in the industry. Mm -hmm. The fact that you also have a one-day postage and packaging of £3.95, that is unique within the industry. And when you look at shows like this, that I should say as well, very quickly, for those of you who pay attention to the EPG or the website, it is officially called the Dave Electric Loves Bargains. That's the programme guide. It is. Very good. Okay. Um, then it is officially called Dave Loves Bargains. Uh, Dave wasn't able to make it today, oh, no. uh, but he'll be back with you tomorrow, mm -hmm. all right? And okay. Sunday, and Monday. Sunday, Monday. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. See, yeah. then Dave did a swap on Monday. There I know where Dave's you're, you're finding out everything <laughs> that goes on behind the scenes. And he's been nominated, hasn't he? He has been nominated for the Class Beautiful uh, Male Craft Personality of the Year. Please so vote big congratulations for him. to him. Please vote And for him. we as a channel have been no yes. nominated as um, one of your, or your favourite craft channel. We thank you very, very much for your nominations. You can now vote for us yes. as well. I'm sure we will not be shy in coming forward in the breaks and telling you exactly I voted how you yesterday. About that. Did you? I did, yeah. Oh, very good. Did you vote the right way? I'd, oh, I don't know. Well, I voted. <laughs> well, I guess we'll find I out. I don't know. We'll find out. Right, now... I voted for Dave. <laughs> no, good, good, good. Right, now, listen. Um, genuinely, I'll tell you exactly what the, the story behind this particular show. 
We have a lot of items at ridiculously low prices. If you joined mm -hmm. uh, Zena earlier on today, there was, in essence, a clearance show. It's called £10 and Under. This show is not called £10 and Under because not everything on the show is under £10. However, what I did do earlier on with my producer, Alex, we have a relatively new producer. He's still training under us, so he's flying solo on this show. And I went through the show with Alex and I saw the prices and I basically scribbled out some of the prices, mm -hmm. and added lower ones on there. So a lot of the prices you'll see in this show will not be repeated. We're doing it today because it's a Friday, and to all intents and purposes, I'm in charge, so what are they going to do? <laughs> um, so it's genuinely one-off prices available for you. Some of items you might have seen before, some of which you haven't. But my advice is this. Get in early, because if it's like the earliest show with yourself yeah. at 2 well, p.m. Well, think how quick that storage box went speaking of which mm. i'd like to start with some if okay you may, um because i don't think i'm calling this one early i don't think this is going to last the show i don't all right um now we'll bring those details in fact so i'm saying doing your job what, no, what okay. the details no, it's fine it's lovely the, your toes. the reason that we love this one though is, and that's what i said to andy in the break is some of the other storage units that we've had were specifically ideally made yes. for um, seed beads or mm -hmm. jewellery stands. We had a lovely, we're going to call it uh, Helpful Susan. Helpful Susan. A helpful Susan, mm -hmm. turn around uh, jewellery uh, stand earlier. What we like about this one, this is um, MDF. Yes. Dead easy to assemble, takes you seconds. Mm -hmm. Okay, no tools required, no nothing, no hammering, no anything. But the reason we, we like this one is because... It's flat, it's open, it's deep. And the great thing is, if you do any trade shows or anything like yeah. that, you could practically put on there anything. anything. It could be cards. Absolutely. You could put your cards, you could put your mediums on there. We've got some fabric paints yep. coming up for you. That'll fit in there. In actual fact, um, our producer had, he had some notes on an A4 um, pad of paper. He did. They will actually fit into that slot rather nicely. So if you did want to yep. um, put your A4 in there, you can do just that. Now, it's officially, as you quite rightly said, officially called a trade show display unit. Well, something is made for the trade. Invariably, it has to be something just a little bit more robust. It has to be easy to put together, and it has to be portable. Another thing that's also portable is that price, because you can see the price you've got there on your <laughs> screen at £20.99. pence. Yep. So we have to do a nice price for you today. We're pricing this to clear... Nine pounds and 99 Ooh. pence. Now, I want you to think about where else today, right now, you could pay nine pounds and 99 pence and go for this kind of quality MDF storage. Now, my advice is this. Take advantage of that cat post and packaging. Uh -huh. Go for two, maybe three of these. Nine ninety nine each. Only one post and packaging charge of three pounds and 90 five pence so we've gone down to there we go i thought it was oh, there nine oh, i did panic then i was thinking <laughs> it bogged out a bit said our producer there we go that's what can happen it's the heat i think the no do you know what it is system. do you know what it is sorry even i know this bit on this on the system with the yeah. producer a massive big red flashing screen comes up saying are you sure you want oh, to go that is. low? There it is, it is. Because <laughs> they're not allowed to. That's Our producers, right. they joke about it and they say that whenever they see that flashing red sign, <laughs> like... somewhere in the building, a printer prints off a P45. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that will not happen, Alex. You're fine. Yeah. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> can I just say, there's no metal involved. It's purely MDF. It just slots together. I'm just thinking as well, right, let's think outside of the box. This is like a three-step lovely display unit. Yes, and yes. again, we were saying, if you saw Sandra, uh, if you've ever seen Sandra oh, with the yes. sand tangle, you could sand tangle this to, to, to your heart's delight. Mm -hmm. We uh, Again, paints, markers, mm -hmm. all the Perfect things that, that we do. You could put, do, you know, bows. Mm -hmm. We had the ribbonly yesterday. <gasps> you could have Perfect bows on, couldn't you? Now, if you all check out they're yes. gone yeah. one last thing as well i was just thinking imagine the thing is a lot of us don't have an enormous amount no. of space no. No. so if you this is stacking everything isn't mm -hmm. it so instead yeah, of absolutely. yeah so and it's accessible it basically means that it's in terms of floor space or desk space it's only yeah. about an a4 pad that could go on the windowsill it could go on the windowsill. It'd be perfect yeah. for that. Um, you've got more, as our producer said, more real estate on your desk. I like where he's And on your craft stalls, I like that as well. Yeah. Kitchen yeah. shelf, all your herbs. There you go. All Great your herbs. Grow your own herbs. But listen, that is probably going to sell out. Yeah. No wonder. £9.99. There's Thank AJVL03. You. AJVL03. Now, if you missed the earlier shows, we have brought mm -hmm. back a couple of items yes. that have proved very, very popular. It could be last chance to get oh, hold really? of them. Thank you, Steve. Number one, thank you, Steve. Um, number one, I want to bring these in because these are something... One thing I've discovered since coming here at uh, Hobby Maker that there is, there is obviously a lot of crossover between what Jewellery Maker have bought in the past mm -hmm. and what we know that Papercraft has absolutely loved. 
Bought this back at the same price. Yeah. Now, you showed it. John, you're doing yeah. Can I get it you, over? Because you started to show these in the 2 o'clock show and the phone lines went crazy. Oh, so I want to give everyone a chance to get hold of it. Three pots of incredible quality uh, embossing powder, or glittery embossing powder, um, inspired by Catherine Paul. Now, those who've been crafting for a number of years will know that Catherine Paul is um, one of the leading lights, a pioneering American craft mm. designer who, of course, has designed and influenced a number of different American craft companies. Um, now, to get... So, this works out £1.50 a jar. Now, <laughs> I know that not many of you would have woken up this morning thinking, oh, I must get more embossing powders, OK? But this is one of those offers that once it happens, why wouldn't you? If you've already ordered something today, if you've gone for the, the it, Centura Pearl, maybe, for example, yeah. the Craft Spotlight. Um, yeah, I mean, that Snow White shimmering yes. silver, this would be perfect. Actually, worth I'll get Alex to check whether or not we actually have any of that left, no, um, the Craft mm, Spotlight. I always wonder if that's gone. Massive difference. Anyway, brilliant value for money. And do you know Looking. what? For someone like yourself, starting a crafting journey, what a, a nice price, four ninety nine. It's a no. Th it's a no thinkable. You know when you get to the to the checkout mm -hmm. and they put all those chocolates and teasers and lovely, lovely sort of drinks yeah, and yeah, gift yeah. cards and yeah. all the things that you just go. And we all do it, don't we? There might be, you know, it might be fifty p in a pound, and it's mm -hmm. this and it's that. It's those things that you think I can't not. Yes, it's rude now, not to almost. It is rude mm -hmm. not to. Mm -hmm. So this is, I mean, they, they, they're they aptly named because they are going to give anything you do the wow factor. You know, as it's a Friday, how do you feel about, let's, I'm just wondering whether or not we should try and tip some of this now. Oh, go on. Yeah, go on. Tip just it, so you it, can it. see. Now you'll note, the one thing oh, I yeah, about this, I don't know how close we can get, is that this is obviously comprised of a number of different sized elements and different colours. So what you're not getting here is a block of colour. No. What you're getting is, is a myriad of different colours within there as well. And the sides of the granules are slightly different in here as Four well. Four different sizes, apparently. Absolutely. And the one thing you can tell, just as a general rule, when it comes to good checking the quality, you mm -hmm. might think, OK, it's all the same. Good, good quality, um, I like embossing powder. Is if it's a little bit heavier, it's a little yeah. bit more durable. For example, last... I can't believe it was last week. I'd never seen it before. And mm -hmm. considering, you know, I've been working in the industry for a long, long time, yeah. we actually had embossing powders made from... Gemstones. Oh yeah. Oh, because ah, because you can do you can do the gem art. Yes, it Quite, would have been, you could do yeah. art with this, yeah, couldn't yeah, you as yeah, well? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'd, never seen, I'd never seen that before. Oh yeah, yeah. That's huge, isn't it? Wow. Well, that used to be years ago, didn't it? That's yeah. what. The, yeah. So it I think it sold out. I think we just had a small yeah. amount available. Um, but listen, this is possibly going to go the same way. So it works out one pound. This isn't each pot. Yes. That's all three. All three. That's all pounds all and three. For all three. And they're just that the blues in there. They're very sort of mermaidal. That's got more greens in there. That's the sage. OK, three quarters of the availability is gone already. Blimey. OK. So you can't afford to hang around. Do you know, one thing I love about working with Zena is the immediate... The, the fact that you can communicate with us straight away. You can yes, email can you? us. Yeah. You can also, if you go to the website... Actually, Alex, would you mind showing the good folks at home how they do that? Because, again, it might be quite new to a, lum a number of people. Um, oh, the, our website's crashed. OK, if you go to um, hobbymaker.co.uk, just on the right-hand oh, side, people. you'll see... Oh, there's... Oh, blimey, a lot of people. Hello. Um, <laughs> you'll see there's a box which says Message to the Studio. Please. If you put a message in there, it goes straight through to our gallery mm -hmm. um, and, they can, um, and they can pass it on to us. Um, but we can't do it at the moment because apparently our producer's PC has crashed. It's the heat. Oh, it's no, this, heat. Ha this happened the other day. Oh, really? Well, we, get, we got to demo for right. the last... For the last sort of almost, I think it was like it was from our, from our, from your point of view, it was okay. you know it was great because we we got to demo. It okay. was wonderful. But Let me just check. Does that, Alex? Does that mean that some of the prices might have even been affected? <gasps> have we got any left? There's some kind of gremlin there, so it could well happen. Well, Look that's all paper. still working because Gillian and Jeanette have just got them, and Susan's just got them. Good steez. <coughs> oh, you're excuse right. me. Yes, thank you. Got something to drink. <coughs> oh, oh, excuse excuse me. Oh, by the way, this is what you're wondering what this is. This is um, a screen that shows us, the, your presenters and your guests here at Hobby Maker, exactly who's ordered um, and who has items within their baskets. And I think it's a nice touch because it means we can talk directly to you. We can see. Well, we were exactly showing who's earlier buying. on that milliput. On the milliput, we had, which is, we'll show you in a minute because that is. Oh, yes. Every household That's on its needs way. this. Yeah. Every household, <laughs> honestly, if you haven't got any milliput in your house, it's like we've all got WD-40. Mm -hmm, we? mm -hmm. We've all got sellotape. We've all got, you know, that's an, it's, it's like, it's like if you, you need toilet roll in your house, you need milliput. Let me explain it. <laughs> don't to confuse the two, though. Oh, Whatever my you do, goodness, don't you imagine. Honestly. But, but that there, what we did earlier. There's some things you don't want to seal up, let me tell you. <laughs> 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 right. 
I told you he was cheeky, didn't this I? This is why I'm not allowed now as much <laughs> anymore. But this is why we showed the screen earlier, because there were people getting sevens of these and tens of these. And I, I was saying, if you were at home and you said, she's got ten, I'd think, she hasn't. She's no, that, and this is, yeah, and this and is that, what we're we show. don't do that. Can we quickly, um, sorry, Alex, can we bring in the details for the millipede? Because it's just something very quickly I want to mention with this. There are, so, I think, hundreds of you picked up um, Ooh, the yeah. millipede earlier on. We've kept the price the same as we did earlier today. Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. This is six ninety nine. It's currently available as a special offer. Oh, go on, wet. Um. On I'll a well known. I'll explain what it is. Oh, how much? So there it is on that well-known website. So that's five pound ninety, but that's thirty-one percent off. So they've got special offer thirty-one percent. Should it be? Oh come in, gosh, at thirty-one percent. Yeah, but so on a well-known website, the one that everyone checks because the day ends in ma Mazun. Um, they have it for. In fact, we've got it here. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go. They just got it for five pounds and fifty. Yeah, five pounds fifty. Five pounds and fifty. That's current. That's current. That's on Amazon right now. Yep. We have it at two pounds and 99 pence, exactly the same product. Now, if you're someone, I know we asked for this earlier on, but if you're someone who has used Milliput in a creative sense, there is, of course, the everyday application as well. Mm -hmm. It is an epoxy resin. Um, and actually, if you go to the Milliput website, uh -huh. you, you put us onto this earlier on Yeah, today, absolutely. There's all different types, but this is the super fine white. Right, OK. It's a two-part mix, and you do equal measure, and it'll tell you. So if you click on the, the one in the middle, I think it is the super fine white. Mm -hmm. Now, you might be thinking, why on earth have they put a bath? Why have they put a radiator? This Milliput, yes, it, on Jewelry Maker, again, if you want to see it from a jewelry making point of view, you can go onto the Jewelry Maker website like Hobby Maker and you can re watch the shows back or on YouTube and you can actually just put in Jewelry Maker Milliput and you'll see demos from our guest designers. Mm -hmm. Okay? However, when I said this is great, if you've got a little crack in your bath, yes, in your sink, in your shower, in your radiator, in a vase, in porcelain, um, if you uh, do modelling, and if you look at the list, so ceramic restoration, uh, picture frame um, restoration oh, as right. well, yes, they use yes. it for that. Mm -hmm. uh, modelling, sculpting, uh, you can repair and fill in your UPVC as well, nice. so any damage there. Mm -hmm. uh, now, if you've got a swimming pool, you're very lucky. Yeah, particularly at the moment. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. You might, I'd say it's swimming pool repair, mm -hmm. but you can all get these blow up jacuzzis now, can't you? I've seen those. Yeah, they're good. They're yeah, always good. Yeah. Oh, then I've got one. Uh, so, chips, scratches, imperfections, um, your white kitchen appliances. It's, there's literally, th that you can do every, anything. But if you're a crafter, mm -hmm. first and foremost, which you probably are, the one thing that amazed me about this is think of this as a more durable air dry clay. Yeah. So the idea is that you can actually use this in conjunction with your silicon mould. So if you have those and you maybe look at you... The problem with something like an air-dry clay is it's wonderful to work with, but if the air gets to it, you've had it. It yeah. just dries out straight away. The benefit of utilising something like this, it's a two-part mix, so you cut off as much as you want, you rub Equal it together. for seven minutes. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Oh, well done, you've done it before. Yeah, um, and then you put that into the silicone mould. And what it does is it dries hard. Dries hard enough that you can actually drill into it. So Zena's absolutely right. It started off as something almost like a plumber's friend. So you would, it's been a mainstay of shopping oh. TV for a number of yeah. years, the idea it's that you spring story. a leak, and I've used it myself as well. But... Obviously, what these guys have thought, they thought, well, hang on, there's an application here, which means we can actually utilise it in a crafting sense mm. as well. Just think of it as a modelling clay in the same yeah. way, but a modelling clay that dries really, really hard. Still nice and light, so if you do want to incorporate within your card making, you can do. But you yeah, can paint it yeah. afterwards as yeah. well. You can start out, we yeah. talked about adding embossing powders. Didn't we, we did. You well, I was just saying, can you imagine doing a ring, or a not, uh, doing a ring, yeah, putting, mixing your, epo your epoxy putty together in, in equal, and again, all the instructions are, are in the box, mm. and on the box, actually. Mix it together, and then put it into, because we do, again, bezel sets on Jewelry Maker. You get some bezel set rings or pendants, put in your epoxy, Epoxy putty, which is your milliput, mm -hmm. and then you could pour some of those embossing powders that on it. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? In. That's Very it. Nice. Um, how are we doing? Now, this, we've already had sound. I know in terms of the storage. How are we doing in terms of those um, embossing powders, Alex? If you don't mind. Is there any left? See how are they doing? I great. can see how many of you are going for the milliput <laughs> this afternoon. My and look word. at the multi buyers there again. Someone's gone for seven. Um, when it says craft on the screen, it's someone who hasn't registered with us as yet. Um, so it could be somebody brand new. Could be someone brand new. If you are brand new, welcome. Very warm welcome. Yeah. I'm still relatively brand new to um, uh, this uh, this channel that's just yeah. started. We are I'm super new. We are just over four months old now. Yeah, oh, is that all? So we're the new kids oh, on the gosh. block, as it were. But absolutely. But, um, but what happens as well if you've got like a, a builder friend, mm. a builder husband, yeah. a plumber? 
Build a husband. They won't, they the won't be out. Oh, no. <laughs> build a husband. We invite you I to build a husband. I could do with one of them. I have never had one. My sister-in-law bought me a key ring that was a remote control boyfriend. She thought it was hilarious. A remote control? It did... just got lot like things oh, that a boyfriend but would what say. It... She thought it was funny. Can you say on that? No, I can't that? possibly. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, anyway, right. joking aside, if you know anybody that wants to basically repair anything as well as make and craft and yes. model and everything else, Nobody, I can guarantee you now, you can't go to any DIY store, you can't go to any catalogue store and get Milliput and Superfine White at 2 .99. No, absolutely not, absolutely not. Um, so, that's uh, MJG512 at £2.99. pence. Remember, of course, you can multi-buy and only pay one post and packaging charge mm -hmm. all day. Yep. Now, um, I understand that there might be some messages for us. I presume ah. they're positive, Alex. Um, is there any way, is your computer up and running yet? Um, oh, he's going to show us the positive ones. That's but do you nice. know what I like about, joking aside, do you know what I like? There's always the odd exception, but that's the great thing about craft, the crafting world. It is the odd exception. What I have noticed is nobody will accept anybody not being kind. Mm, and that's yeah, unusual yeah, on true. social media. And I love that about this crafting envir environment and community. Everybody's so lovely. Do you know what? It's one... I, I'll tell you, I've told you many, many times. It, the crafting community generally has got me through some very, very hard times, through um, some really, really good times as well. And I genuinely feel really privileged mm. to be part of yeah, it. Yeah, totally. Um, and again, for all of us, thank you so much for your comments and also the support you've given us yeah. um, online as well. Because you're right, because the one thing I do know about craft is if something ain't right, you'll let us know. And yeah. absolutely right, that's exactly. why that's I'm here. It's part of my job. Yeah. Um, but so far, um, the response you've given us have been superb. So that's hopefully. Isn't it? We're continuing Lovely. to give you what you want. I think there's a message oh, for you. Oh, hello, Dawn. Zena, you're one of the nicest presenters I've ever seen on TV. That's oh, nice. Dawn, what there you go. Thing. Oh, don't you set me up. I hope you stay with the best craft show there is here, here. I hope so, Dawn. It's up to him. <laughs> You're doing okay, kid. Dawn. You're doing okay. Oh, <laughs> kid, I'll have that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oldest presenter much, on the John. channel. <laughs> <laughs> well, Thank there you very much, John. That's over here for me. Right. Right. I... Those, those are nearly gone. Yes, you, absolutely. Dawn. Yes, do go for those. Right. Those are nearly gone. There's only, there's only a few left to so grab your... And that's all three for £4.99. Mm -hmm. Now, I wanted to share something with you that I'm really excited about. In fact, Ooh. I'm going to say quite a bold statement here. I think currently there isn't anything that we offer here on Hobbymaker that's better value than what I'm about to reveal to you or share with you. What? what? So. Oh, I know what he's going It's just over here. Okay. Now, I know you know what this is. I know is. what it is, but I don't know okay. what you're doing. All right. I've got one of, uh, no, I did have one of these. My, okay. my dad nicked it. Now, um, now, I'm going to bring it in a little bit. Unfortunately, it's plugged in, so I can't bring it over too much, but I shall move it over a little bit. We can do oh, nothing nice. but be adaptable. Oh, yeah, so wash it. Like we'll get to that in a couple of seconds. Okay. Now. It looks bizarre, but it's so clever. This is a portable photography light box is yep. what you are getting here, OK? Now, the, all the way throughout this scene, huh? OK. Because I know you would have sold it to some point. Now, you see, I we haven't put the price up. But I'll I'll always have it, and I want you to play along at home and ask yourself how much you think this is. I'll tell you what it does, and then ask yourself how much you Brilliant. think this is. All right. So, this is um, a portable photography studio, OK? A... Paul, a studio like this is not too dissimilar on a much, much larger scale. Whenever you see a photo um, here on Hobby Maker or certainly on mm -hmm. Jewelry Maker, mm -hmm. for Jewelry Maker and also for gems, it's a huge, huge, hugely important part of the process. Getting good photography of items, make yes. them more desirable and hopefully encourage people to buy them. Now, you'll know this on a smaller scale. If you make and sell anything, mm -hmm. you'll know that going online through websites like eBay, Etsy, all these different websites where you can make and sell your wares. Facebook, You'll know... Spock, any of them. Absolutely. Yeah. A good photo is worth its weight in gold. it is. Now, take a good photo. If a lot of digital cameras now on mobile phones, they're really, really good they're cameras. They're amazing, aren't they? But how do you make it look professional? What you need to be able to do is you need to be able to stop the interference of light mm -hmm. and you need to be able to change the background. You need to create an isolated Absolutely. area that you can take a photo in. Hence why light box is well worth going for. So what you have here, you have a light box. Now, if I can just move this across here, so I'll step out of view just for a couple of seconds. Okay. This all folds down flat. I'll show you that at the end uh -huh. of the demonstration. Um, so the idea is you have a USB lead, it comes included, mm -hmm. and what you do is you simply introduce that, it's like a USB-C, and you slide that into the top. Now, I'll never get this the wrong way around the right way around the first time. Manage. I'd probably made it more difficult by turning it away from you, Andy. That's all right. There we go. Oh, there you go. Now, can we bring the lights down just a little bit? Oh. Across 
the top at the moment, what you have, you have a strip of LED lights. Now, LED lights is light emitting diode. And what that's doing, that is basically projecting. Thank you. Perfect. That's projecting light down from the top. So if you want to down light onto yep. something to create something a little bit kind of moody, for example, mm -hmm. you can do just that. However, very, very simply, if you want to up light something, <coughs> ah. go the other way and then you'd what move that, that background like down. I'll get to that in a couple of seconds. It is a little bit. Yeah. And you can put anything you like in there and you can start to make it look a little bit better. Now, if we bring the lights back up. You'll see in the background there what I had was a black background. Yeah. Now, all of these are interchangeable, OK? Brilliant. So that is a black background. So if you were shooting something that was white, yeah. you probably would use a black background. Now, it comes with a variety of different backgrounds. Clever, isn't it? OK, yeah. so you can play around. Now, the most exciting one of these is the green. Mm-hmm. Because with green screen technology now being available now on most people's computers, yeah. it means that you will be able to turn that background into virtually anything, anything. you like. Now, I don't know if you've been watching recently in the, in the promotional breaks that we have here. We had them just before um, our launch of Christmas. And there was um, a, a VT of Dave yes, and Father it. Christmas. On the beach. On the beach. It? Yes, now, I saw it. I don't want to break the magic of TV for you here, but they weren't me. actually they weren't on the beach. They weren't on the beach scene. I'm sorry, they weren't on the beach. You're not going to tell me Santa wasn't there. Santa was there, oh, of course. Santa was there, God, absolutely. <laughs> but that was all shot against the green screen. So this is something that's been used in TV and film for a number of years. You can now do that with your photos or even your videos. Now, I want to go one step further. The last time we brought this to you, I remember we got a, a message from a couple of people mm -hmm. who actually were married to or indeed were collectors of figurines, oh. be it Star Wars figures, ah. be it... Oh, um, there's, my mother-in-law collects them. Oh, the Ladro. Uh, that's or it. Like that's that. it. Yes. And you're looking to sell, or you just wanted to protect your collection. Okay, this is ideal for doing that because it means you can create the create the best light to capture that moment of that figurine that you're looking to do. Model collectors will love something like this. But if you are someone who makes and sells jewellery, which is why oh. this started out on jewellery yes. maker, uh -huh. or if you're someone who likes to make and sell your cards, this is going to be your best bet to ensure that you get the best possible photo if you're looking to make and sell. Now, everything you need comes to you in this bag. Mm -hmm. This is the bag in which you put the background. Mm -hmm. The actual anything. light box itself, oh, this I'll is show you. Brilliant. So you don't have to worry about storage, do you? Just false day. So you've got poppers mm -hmm. either side. You simply undo that side, Yep. undo that side, take out your, your background. background, put those in the bag, and this folds down into something that it's brilliant. you might even fit into that storage that Ooh, I showed yeah, you earlier on. Just mind. So, bearing in mind that this is a true portable mm -hmm. photography studio. With six backgrounds. With six backgrounds. And the lights. And the lights. With the functionality of USB power. Mm -hmm. So, you know, USB um, power banks are widely available and what have you. What kind of price would you expect that to be? I'd say, honestly, it's difficult for me because I remember launching yep. it. I would say between 40 and 50 pounds. OK. When I first saw this, that's what I thought. I thought 40, 50 pounds. And it's pounds worth it. It is worth it. Now, the price that we first, or jewellery maker, first mm -hmm. had this available at was 39.99. It was. OK. 39.99. Now, this, of course... And it was popular. It was very popular. Massively popular. Now, this is a... Um, a, a one-off show, this is a, a sale show, so you know there's going to be a deal here. So, £39.99, so half of £39.99 is approximately £20. If this is £20... You can't do that, I totally agree. That would be incredible. What price at home do you think? Can you do £20? You're not going... Oh, no, do you know what? Do you, I, okay, I, okay, okay. Do you know what? I, I must apart, we can't... You're right, I'm not going to do £20. Alex? What price can we do on this? He hasn't told me, by the way. Has he told you? Do you know? No. Oh, you know when you're in trouble when he starts stroking his beard? Let's go for it. Now, I know what price I wrote down. Let's see if it lets us. Oh. 11.99. Now, oh. genuinely... Oh. Genuinely, folks, this 
can't be repeated. This is genuinely a bit of a one-off. I would say, do you know what? I've talked a lot about crafters there. If you know anyone who is creative with their photos or their videos, and you know, when someone's really into that, it gets quite specialised, doesn't it? It gets into something that, you know, you don't know what to get them because even if you know someone who's into their, DS, um, their digital photography, what lens do they want? What light source do they use or anything like that? This is genuinely, I think, a stocking filler price that you can get your son, your daughter. You know they love their photography. If they are always talking about the gram, and as far as you're concerned, that's just a unit of measurement, then get them this because it's something that they'll be able to use, and I guarantee you they'll use this every single day. Eleven ninety nine. I'll stand this. I've said this before. I generally think pound for pound, it's just about the best value. It's ridiculous that we bring you here. I've got another reason why this yes. would be brilliant. Yes. And excuse me if you're not all as um, as naughty as me, but the the other day I've got a white kitchen surface. Okay. Right? right. I wanted yes. to photograph something to send to somebody, but it, it was in the shop where you got my kitchen floor. Okay. Right. It would have fitted in there. And I actually actually didn't take the photograph because I hadn't cleaned the kitchen floor. There was dog footprints right, all over yes, it and yes. I was embarrassed, so I stopped me taking the photograph. So, so actually, <laughs> I'm not being rude, but if you've got no background or nowhere in your house that's... Because yes. you're either photographing against a wall or a mm -hmm, door mm -hmm. or the kitchen door or the wooden floor or the tiles or the this, and if you've not got much space, you know, and again, it's not lit, you haven't got the different backgrounds and you can't make it look nice. So if you're making your cards, your crafts, you're using your milliput, your jewellery, your whatever it might be, with all those different backgrounds and that containment and the light, that will transform... If you have a business, that will transform. Absolutely. I think if you, no do, if you do have an online business, and listen, there are larger ones available, but obviously there's a premium for that. Yeah. But if you think of what you make will fit inside here, and you're absolutely right, if you sell online, yeah. so I don't think you're going to get a better deal no. than everything in there. By the way, there's nothing to install. The lights are already there. Already They're there. inbuilt. Folds All you have to do... Flat. Pop it in as you did, did, just did before your very yeah. eyes. Plug in the USB lead, you're ready to And go. that goes in your desk drawer because I had this, I had it, I got to take it home, I got to work with it and uh, my dad does loads of promotional things for, for the village around the corner, the town that he lives in and he stole it. Oh, did he now? So I'm going to buy another one. My dad's, <laughs> my dad's, oh, I'll have that. Oh, you will, will you, Dad? <laughs> and, I've, and again, I've never seen it again since so I couldn't even buy another one. Do you know, I know it's not the most important thing <laughs> but the fact that it comes with a bag. Yeah. It's a small thing because the one because what you're going to lose from this it's going to be the lead. The, the lead. It's going to be the lead, isn't it? Mm. So again, the fact that it can all fit in there and you know, add a push, you, you might be able to fit this in there as, as well. well. Yes, it does. Yeah, clean. absolutely. Because your fingerprints all over it keeps it clean. Brilliant. Longer. It's brilliant. If you are looking, if you've got, you know what it's like. If you've got like a younger member of the family, their birthday's coming up, and mm. you don't know what to get them, but you know they're always taking photos yeah. on their on the phone. Get them this for eleven ninety nine. I think it's fantastic. It's value. fantastic value. Yeah. You can't make it for eleven ninety nine. You know what? You can't. I thought of it like that, but you're you probably can't. right. You're probably have, right. Have we got many? Can you save me one, please? All right. So listen, loads of you. Lo look at all um, the places not checked orders. out. Do you know if you're someone? I'd, I know we're kind of halfway through the show, but if you're someone who's already got one of these, because it's not the first time that we've done th th no, this particular. I've um, done it for studio. a while, but they're brilliant. If you're someone who got hold of one, yeah, and you've taken photos with it, yep, we <gasps> would love to see. I've Oh, sorry, yeah. I'm so sorry. I, I, I'm so sorry to, um, to, to to say this as well. I'm just thinking, share your makes. Oh yes, so of course. You, That's another thing as well. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So when you send in the photographs of what you've made across any of our mediums mm -hmm. into the studio at Jewelry, uh, studio at Hobby Maker. That's habit. Mm -hmm. Studio at HobbyMaker.co.uk. Every month. You get the chance to win £100 credited to your account. That's happening at 5 pm on the 30th of July. It happens on the last Saturday every month. Last Saturday at 5 every pm month. is when we announce the winner. Yeah. And um, it's not a competition in the sense of we choose what we think is the best. We just want to see what you've made. And yeah. what we'll often do, we won't show every single one, but we'll do our best to show as, as many, many as, as we, we can. can. But they all get all, entered. They all get entered, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Um, so, yes, it's a £100 credit that goes directly into the winner's account. So the next winner will be end this month, the last Saturday of every month. Brilliant. OK, yeah. fantastic. Um, we've also... We, we've got... A, can we do the... Can we do the mobile Yes, we should talk about these, absolutely. Because I'm just thinking if you're photographing, oh, yes. those are awesome for the back. You... Zena got very excited about I did. These, I have to say. I, I did. Say. I did. All right, so, um, now, these look rather innocuous. We've actually got two sets They're available nice. for you. So I don't know which set um, we're going to bring in first of all. That is down black to our producer. Black and white. Let's go in the black and white. Why not? Let's Thank go for you. those. So, if you don't know what, if you know what these are, you'll recognise these. They're ice. 
Um, now, I remember Lowen, who says hi, by the way. Um, she... When that's she your good got, lady wife? That is my good lady wife. Oh. She, um, when she first got one of these, it revolutionised... Because the one thing she struggled with was to take selfies. She Which really, it, yeah. really struggled to take selfies, OK? And as soon as she got one of these, there was no stopping her. Mm -hmm. There was no stopping her. Um, and we were looking earlier on, weren't we? Because I thought, OK, I, I have no clue how much these kind of are. And we looked online earlier on. They were sitting about six ninety nine each, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, the, yeah. They were roughly yeah about six six fifty six ninety nine for the and that's the one. I'm not being rude. The cheapest mm -hmm. sort of plastic. Yeah, absolutely. And you might be thinking, what on earth is it? But it's the grip that pops up and down on the back of your phone. If or you've your ever tablet. if you've ever struggled to mm -hmm. take a photo while your arm is extended, yep. I would say this it's is going to slip out your hand and, and, absolutely. and break. Absolutely. How do they work? Well. They're brilliant. I've actually got... Now, this isn't the same one. It's a bit of a posh one. Right. Uh, this is a... I, I just said to... And it was great, because I said to, to the crew before we came on, I said, who's got a phone with one of these sockets on the back? And all you could hear was, me, 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 me. They'd all got them, right? These just fit onto the back of your mobile phone or your, t or your tablet, and it's stopping <laughs> you drop your phone. And I'll explain how. So this... Fits onto your phone, other phone manufacturers are available, and it pops up and it pops down. So it folds flat, pops up like that, so that you can literally do that. Right, okay. You do that. And it's as simple as that, right? And then you pop it back down again. But again, depending on where you store, you stand, put yes. it on your phone, it can act as a stand. So, you know, if you're following a recipe or something... Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, and you put your phone... You put that there and then you actually... You'd need to put... You can still work there, but you'd put it a bit further down. Mm -hmm. And then it stands up... And it looks, and you can still watch your, your recipe. Okay. If you did it that way and you turned your phone round, you can have it that way. And you can uh, watch, see. let's say you're doing a keep fit video. Right, nice. You're doing a keep fit video mm -hmm. or you're watching a video, mm -hmm. um, then, because uh, like my, my, I do an online fitness with my trainer lady. Oh, right. And uh, she does like live classes online every right. day and we all follow it. Right, and it's okay. brilliant. Uh, dog thinks I'm going mad, but you just, that then, it's on a stand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now, with regards to uh, how they're fixed, very, very simple. Um, it is a pad, a super strong pad mm -hmm. that goes onto that. Now, notice you've got yours on the outside of a case. Mm -hmm. So this is obviously connected to the case or yeah. the phone. Most yeah. people have their phones in a case. Yep. So it makes sense to adhere it within there. It's just um, money case. And the idea is when you're not using it, you pop it in, so it fit into your handbag or your pocket. But obviously, when you extend it out, that is where your fingers can fit behind, and then you are able to. And of course, some you can use it the other way as well. Some people can use it almost like as a handle if they are looking to film. It will stop you doing well. this. I'm hiding the brand. It'll stop your phone oh, right. doing that. Right. That's an expensive thing to happen, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Because I haven't got a phone grip. Oh, I see. Now, uh, two of those for three ninety nine. Yeah, well worth going two for. Two quid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two quid each. I could have stopped that. Yeah, that's true. It's worth it then, <laughs> isn't it? Um, now, listen, we've got two different options for you. First option, we've got the black and white. There's the details on the screen for that. Again, at £3.99. That's brilliant, that's that is. BKG. That's for both. That's that's, you get two. You get two of them, yeah. So that's working out at £2 each. Mm -hmm. Anywhere else, we saw them sort of... I'm direct saying sort of six to eight pounds. We saw them for about six ninety nine earlier yeah, on today each. each. Kathleen uh, we... just had three. Kathleen, sorry. See, they're good little little. You know, for Christmas, you could just buy everybody one of them. I think. Do you know what? They're, they're one of the things they fit into that bracket of. You might think, oh, do I really need, need one now? But my word, can't live without the it. The first you time you drop your phone, <laughs> when you're trying to take a photo, or you're just holding it at a distance. Mm. You'll be so glad that you have one of these. We do have another option available for you, which is the white and the purple. Yeah, that's nice. Um, we'll bring the details in for those, different details, but it works in exactly the same way. Mm -hmm. um, that's BKGP27. BKGP27. I get £3.99. Certainly well worth going for. And do you know what? Here's a, this is where you post some packaging. We have oh, yeah. Hobby Maker comes into its own. Because let's be honest, right? I don't know if you're the same. They may well be a great price, and they are, but I would not spend three ninety nine totally then an extra three ninety five to get them delivered, because to me, that's an extra 100% that I'm yeah. paying just to get it delivered to me. In principle, I won't pay it. It's one of those items, it's one of the great things about shopping here. If you bought, if you joined Sherilyn this morning at 6am, right, and you bought something during that show, you have got up until midnight tonight yeah. to buy something else. And you won't need to pay any extra in terms of posted and packaging. And another thing as well, in case it's not immediately clear how it works. So, basically, we don't charge you anything until midnight. No. 
Uh, that's why we're able to charge $3.95 for your entirety of your order, which is why you can buy with confidence. Let's say, for example, um, you go onto the website and you see something's launching and you think, I really definitely want to get hold of that, mm. and you buy it. If that price changes, because the price only goes down, it doesn't go up. And you all pay the lowest price. Then you all pay that price. So you could go about your day. Let's say, you, imagine you have to work for a living. And you have to, and you go to work and you might think, oh, you know, I went in early on that. Oh, what if they've dropped the price? Does, it doesn't matter. If we did drop the price, it doesn't matter. Then you are able to enjoy that lowest price. Because I said, it only goes one way. And that, of course, is down. Do you know what? I think we've, we've, a lot of people, I wonder how many people who've, who've um, ordered already, how many of you have broken phones and you're the people who are thinking, do you know what? I've always wanted... Or Best maybe two quid you'll ever spend on each one. <laughs> always wanted one of these or just great. forgot about it, for example. Yeah. Uh, just well worth going for. You know, your phone is... It occurred to me the other day just how much I use my phone yeah. for now. Yeah. I mean, it really is. You should joke about it. But my word, I, I think yeah. if I... If it, I don't know if you're the same when you lose your phone. And I do make a conscious effort not to be on it all the time. Yeah. But I do get kind of anxious when I don't know where it is. And if I ever thought, if I ever broke it and I was out without it for like three or four days. Yeah. Well, it's like, I, I know I need to buy a new phone. Mm. Because it doesn't help. It's all cracked on the back and I've dropped it down the toilet twice because I put it in the back of my pocket. Always so, the danger of that. It, Always a danger. And it doesn't help when it's all cracked. Mm -hmm. But that, what I like about these is that you get all different sizes. You can get gemstone ones. You can get every kind of these phone grips and sockets you might have heard them called and whatnot. But what I like about these is they're not too big. Mm -hmm. And what I like is they actually fold. That, that, that sort of slot flat, folds as flat mm -hmm. as, I've, as I've ever seen. And they, get, they can be on your tablets. And yeah, absolutely. Different. I mean, it's a, it's a 3M adhesion. Brilliant. You know that this is a, a well-known brand name when it comes to adhesives. Um, mm -hmm. All you need to do is make sure when you do put it onto a surface that that surface is obviously clear. Mm. Um, clean, I should say. Make sure yeah. it's a clean surface before you adhere it. Because yeah. um, Not that they're impossible to get off, but they're difficult they're not easy. <laughs> to get off. <laughs> Um, so it's £3.99 if you do want to go for the white and the purple. Listen, while our time is working against us, um, I think, can we talk about... Now, I'm so pleased, actually, oh, we've got these needle, needle facing. Melting. If you are a needle felter, these are absolute bargains. Mm -hmm. Absolute bargains have got available for you here. We've got four available for you. I always think that these are really, really nice gifts. And again, if you are someone... Now, I'm well aware that it is... Blimey, it's not even... Oh, and we've got to do the rhinestones, and we've, we've got, got the tape, well. and we've got the hot And I've got loads more to do. Loads more to do. Um... We've got some really, really nice price me uh, needle felting kit. Have you ever done this needle felting? I've, I've not done it myself. Right. I've had the good fortune, uh, again, on Jewelry Maker, Melanie Green, our guest designer, she is the queen mm. of needle felting. And I've got had the joy of filming several DVDs with I her. I see, OK. Watching needle felting, and it okay. is brilliant. Well, listen, do you know what? Um, for those of you who know what this is all about, I want to get straight to the price we've got here. OK, yes, genuinely, please. they're absolutely superb. So which one shall we start with? Blue tip. Is Let's it? go in the blue tip. There we go. That one just there, as you can see. So you get everything you need included in the bag yep. to make that blue tip, as you can see. Um, if I open him yes, up, yes, please. Yep. We'll, we'll see what exactly it what it is that you get in it. Look at that. No, you no, get everything that's, you need that's in all. There. That's all the uh, the wool that you use for your needle felting. In and there, there are also instructions. Mm -hmm within there as well. Now, needle felting is something that's very, very popular. You'll be able to find lots and lots of very inspiration. Very therapeutic. Um, on, uh, online um, to uh, show you the basics, but obviously it enable you to um, utilise the instructions you yep. can see just Absolutely. here. So again, that's um, £4.99, and pence, which is really good. It's fantastic for all that wool as well. But you know what? Because it is the weekend and you've all been very, very good. Yeah. Let's make this a pocket money price. It already is. It already is. I know. <laughs> Blimey. I was thinking, do you remember that? How much are kids getting pocket money now? I bet it would blow my Ooh, mind. £2.99. £2.99 for <gasps> everything you need in that kit to make the um, felting blue tip. And do you know what I'm going to do? Because I'm well aware we're low on time. Yep. We're going to do the same price. On all of them. On all of them. OK. On all of them. So you could go for all four of them, and that would come in at just under £12. For four 
complete sets. They are different item numbers, but because you don't pay again on your yep. postage and packaging, it's well worth going for. There's the details for the blue tit. Um, which one should we have a look at we've, just next? We've got the fe well, we've got the festive angel. Yes. We've got the penguin, and I think particularly here as well, you've got the. I mean, there's so many, so many things out there with dashens on them. Yes. My neighbour's got a dashen. You're talking about dashens. Yeah. Yesterday. And my neighbour's got one. So how nice would that be for me to just pop that on her doorstep? It's two ninety nine. She's not going to think. I'm you know this is a dog owner. Did you meet? I don't know if you're watching yesterday. Zena brought her little dog in yesterday, who was the best behaved person in the building. <laughs> she was. Um, Sorry. You know when someone gives you a gift that centres around the breed of dog you own? Oh, it's it's. It means so much more, doesn't it? Of course it, it does. Yeah. Of course it does. So if you do know a dash and owner. Um, then, again, £2.99, pence. whether you make Brilliant. it for them or you give it to them as yeah, a yeah, gift, yeah, yeah. Um, a £2.99, pence. that's absolutely superb. And I bet you know people that, if not yourself, that do needle felting. It's very popular. Mm, mm, very much so, yeah. It's something but, we have bought a little bit of here it's really good. Um, on Hobby Maker. It's We're really hoping to bring good. a little bit more into the future, but certainly not at these prices. Yeah, no. um, right, a couple more to tell you about, and then we'll have a look at a couple more messages. Which one have we done? We haven't done the Angel as yet, have we? No. Let's go to the Angel, shall we? Because, of course, let's not forget that Christmas is... Is kind of coming back on Hobby Maker here next week, Christmas in July. Um, lots of brand new Christmas items coming Brilliant. your way. And actually, one other thing I should tell you about very yep. quickly, just behind you, Zena. Yes, this. The Gemporia Craft die cutting machine, okay? Mm -hmm. This weekend is coming back, kind of our first weekend wonder. That is coming back at an incredible price. Is this. Saturday or Sunday? Saturday and Sunday. Oh, oh! Oh, so Dave's going to have these. Dave's going to have these. So that. So make sure if you are in the market for an electronic A4 die cutting machine, we've got a market beating price on ours. Oh, brilliant! And this is a limited edition. And listen, I'm well aware you'd have heard that before, right? I'm telling you now. Once this is sold out, that is it. We are not making any more or anything like okay. that. What we got those made to tie in with the launch of Hobby Maker, okay? Oh, brilliant, did we? So, okay. once wow. they've gone, that is it. We and that's a full size one, it's not a midi one. No, no, no that's okay. full size one, so it's A4. That'll work with any of your thin metal dies. I mean, it won't work with your large steel edge dies, but mm -hmm. if you're a paper craft, that's well worth going for. Check out Dave tomorrow. I think the first show's at 2 pm and the second show's at 5 pm on Sunday. It'll be too hot to go outside, so it why not stay with Dave, who's really cool? Right. Right. Everybody, don't mean that rudely, but Everybody is screaming out for the hot fix. Oh, are they? And right. they're going to need the, the rhinestones as well. Fine. So now, this is your wheelhouse. I must admit, this is a new one on me. Right. So, if I don't let me forget to give that to... I just want to make... For, there we go. So, what we have here is a hot fix starter kit. Yes. And I will be bringing you those okay. quickly. Okay. So, in this lovely bag, in here, you get... Oh, well, you wait till you see this. You get... What you need, my lovelies, to start hot fixing. If you're never hot fixed, you will not be able to start once you start. Okay. okay? So, what I'm going to show you here is you get your little tri tray as well. You get all, everything that you need. You get your brilliant precision tweezers that could literally pick up a, less than a human hair. They're amazing because you're going to need it for these. You've got your tweezers. You've got your heater with a little stand. You've got everything you need. You've got your little pencils as well. So. Hot fixing, you get these little rhinestones, okay? Yeah. And with your hot fix, basically, they're, they're loose, shimmering crystal elements that you can see. With um, They've got a flat uh, side on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah? And what they do, that has then been pre-coated with a glue. Okay. So you don't have to... You know, we had all those glues on with yes. the from yes. Crafters yes. Companion and all those different... The glue's actually already on the base of the, of the rhinestone, the, the crystal elements there. All those different colours that you've got. You get to keep this storage box as well. So you get the storage box in there, you get the bag. And basically what happens is that glue is then activated by the heat. OK. You can then fix this to fabric. You know, like when you see people with jeans and they've got colourful like, yeah, crystals yeah. On, the, on the edge of their back pocket or yeah, the side yeah, pocket? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see the people with them on their shoes, on their flip-flops. You see them on... Yes, you do. I've seen them on trainers and stuff. T-shirts, scarves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You think about prom dresses, bridal. Right, okay, okay. You think about th those storage boxes we just had. You know, the stands we oh, had. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hot fix that. Right, OK. You will... Once you start hot fixing with all these lovely colours, honestly, you, you can't stop. I'm going to admit something to you here. It's brilliant. I've priced this incorrectly. <laughs> you have, because you didn't know what it was, did you? <laughs> They're ace. <laughs> Look at those. I think the original price on this was about £60. 
Um, and well, it will uh, be. Uh, Fourteen pounds oh, and ninety-nine. I haven't got a for everything. I didn't. See, I hadn't even seen the price yeah, then. I know. I think. I, yeah, I definitely. Sixty pounds. <laughs> I know. It's a P45. <laughs> yeah. Somewhere in the building. But oh it's Friday, my days. We'll, we'll just close the studio down. We'll when you six. speak to our hot fixing guest designers, Sheila and Linda, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna, you, you're gonna there have a name on your and thing the value in your head. Craft, my word. Okay, well listen. It goes on practically anything. The rhinestones, okay? I prop it, it, and you just heat it up. It's all the bad boys. Please don't buy too many of them. <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, great Christmas gift, my goodness me. And you are going to, once you start hot fixing everything. Yeah. Again, absolutely. think about like, you know, like glassware. Oh, you yes, that would look good. Yeah. You name it, you can do it. Vases, all sorts of things. If you want the extra, because we're just conscious of the time as well. Oh, yes, if you want yes. the extra rhinestones, we've got that coming up for you as well. And again, you do get to keep all these, but that'd be. That'd be a great little pillbox as well. It would be, it? actually. Great, yeah, yeah, nice. Um, so we've got this coming up as well, but the starter kit there, um, you, 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 you generally... Oh, I think about festivals as well. Can you imagine there's loads of I said, Sorry, I know. Yeah. Please, yeah, dog don't lead. buy too many. No, no. <laughs> What's this for? Your dog, imagine your dog lead, right? Or your dog, oh, yes. you know. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's a good idea, yeah. yeah. Your dog collar as well. Yeah, as long, yeah, because you can go on your phone. Yes, of course you can. Who's hot fix and what have you? Pencil cases, books, journals. Is it just it's... generally non, not non point So, for example, could you do some cards? Yeah. Things like that. Okay. Oh, good. oh, I need to check that. I wanted to. I couldn't get hold of our guesses. Uh, our guesses only because I wasn't sure about once you heat up whether I would have thought so because a lot of our card stock and things. Really I would thought as long as, you, as, as, as the edge of the iron isn't touching the card, I imagine yeah. it might be okay. Um, oh, let's have a look here. Oh, you go on then. You have. Oh, Patsy, hello. Have you done cards, Patsy? Let us know. Sorry. Um, hot fixing is great. I've sparkled phone cases, purses, scars, photo frames. This is a good one. And floral arrangements. Oh, it's right. fun. Smiley face Patsy, with hearts for eyes. Do you think you could put it on cards? Can I show you what? Sorry. Oh yes. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, that's... that's our director asked. No. <laughs> Sorry there. Uh, yes, this is the hot fixing tool in there as well, which will heat the base, which is the glue that's already on the back of the hot fix. Uh, little crystals and they're crystal elements. Um, flat crystal on the one side, so that, which is again once you heat it up. Patsy, I know your experience, lovely girl. Mm. Do you think it could go on to card making as well? Oh, I can't see why not. Because if you think about it, I don't know about the parchment that we had earlier. No, the, possibly not. But the card, because we've had like 310 GSM today, so it only melts the glue. I, I can't think, see I why, can't see why not. But listen, if you know any different, please let us know. Yeah, we are learning from each other. It's yeah. part of the craft community, isn't That's it? That's great. You know? You've got... 14 19 It should be £60. I know, I know. Look, we've got three true. minutes. Can we fling this on? While yes. You, while you're in this daft mode. If, I think if you're going to go for the hot fix kit, listen, do you it's know what? Brainer. Please go for these as well. Yeah, there they are. Look, all those stunning colours, 12 of them. Yeah, they're all, they're all hot fix. They've got the... You do have to have the hot fix. That That is the glue already already on there and it gets activated by the heat. OK, all right. Now, you put me into a quandary here because it's... Uh, this should be 20 .99. Oh, I don't even want to... I'm not involved. He's the boss. Oh, <laughs> it's got 14 okay. right. .99. I, No, because I... I already wrote down to Alex what the price is going to oh, be. Oh, come on, let's do it. Come on. <laughs> Four ninety nine. The whole lot for twenty. The whole lot for twenty pounds. <laughs> who are the guests who are normally who do the whole thing? Linda things? Brumwell, Sheila Davis, off jewelry maker. Honestly, to you're going to be in so got, much trouble. I've got to avoid them. Blimey. I oh, wouldn't mind, but in that packet as well, you get. I mean, how much should those those tweezers are? Let me show you. They are the most fine tweezers. They've got to be at get. least five pounds worth right there. But aren't you, they? honestly, if you flung, I mean, I won't ask you to, but if I pulled a, a hair out your beard now and flung it on the table, I won't, don't worry. You, I could pick that up in, in less than a millisecond. Okay, well, there you go, that's a show idea. Put it in the mini put. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now Patsy's got back in touch and said that she's also. Oh, MDF, good job. That show, stand, that'd those be stands that. we had earlier. Yeah, they'd be perfect for that. Or oh, any of the MDF that you've gone for today. Wrapping. Oh, my days, can you imagine? Okay, do you know what? Yeah, a lot of you. Okay. <laughs> surprisingly, are going for both, um, obviously, the spare gems, but also <laughs> you are going... Well done, everybody. Well. well done. Thank you so much. Oh, you've um, gone again. No, yeah, there you go. Well, listen, <laughs> that, just, I, love, I love coming on, on air with you, and it's been a pleasure working with you as oh, well. Oh, it's dude. been lovely. So thank you very really much. Really enjoyed it, and thank you for your lovely messages. Uh, obviously, all of these things are still available while we have stock. Indeed. OK, but hurry up on the milliput, and we've nearly gone on the um, embossing yes, pizza. indeed, yes. OK, 
uh, again, the MDF stands... Photography studio is going crazy. Oh, um, the MDF, I think, has sold out the stories we had earlier on. But quick heads yep. up, if you are on the market for a brand new die cut and scene, do check out tomorrow 2 p.m., Sunday 5 p.m. Be too hot to go out. Do check out the sizzling hot deal. Like it. Thanks. Like that it. we have on the Gemporia die cutter machine. Absolutely. That'll be with Dave and also I think Keith is with us tomorrow as well. But yeah, it's going to be a market beating price. It's going to be a wonderful week. And we'll have our lovely Dave back as well. Yes, so absolutely. that'll be great. And he's on with you Saturday afternoon, Sunday afternoon, and Monday afternoon. Lovely, as well. So well. you can have a lovely weekend with Dave. Uh, sorry, award winning nominated. Nominated Dave. There yes, we go. Yeah. Dave. We've got my badge and everything. Yeah. Oh, that'll be so we're nice for you tomorrow. Yeah. So thank you ever so much for your company. Um, now, we, we start at six in the week, don't we? Yes, absolutely. So at so the weekend, you get a lie in. Everyone gets a lie in. Right. happy with that. So we're back with you at 1 p.m. Absolutely. So uh, bright and breezy from 8 a.m. with myself on Jewelry Maker tomorrow morning, actually, with Alison Terry. So that's going to be wonderful. And uh, Dave back at one o'clock on Hobby Maker. Take care. Stay safe. All right, lovelies. Bye. Bye. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the okay. TV guide. Yeah. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Hobbymaker.